<laughs> Jason Manzukis, our old friend, is here. No one else will interrupt us. I promise you that. Bro down. Ho down. Cupid's arrow, straight and narrow. Cupid's peen, shaped like a bean. Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang. Thank you to Reese Makes Words for that catchphrase submission. I don't believe he's ever submitted a catchphrase before. Do you go to the same people often? Well, you know what? I go to whatever. I don't look at the person uh, before I decide. Oh, you don't uh, look I, at the name? No, I don't look at the name. I decide on it, and then I, uh, I say, oh, that's a good one. And then I look at the name, and I say, oh, it's by that person who's uh, been doing it a is lot. Is there somebody who by far has the most? Is there, comp- is there competition amongst the listeners? By far sounds like Klinger's autobiography. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think <laughs> moving on from this discussion, <laughs> what we need to do. Is Cupid a child? Is Cupid a child? I mean, traditionally... Like, is that catchphrase referencing a child's penis? <laughs> I don't know. I don't believe so. I, uh, Cupid is over 18 as far as I'm concerned when it comes to this show. I guess so, yeah. <laughs> he, he's not even barely legal. He's just, like, strictly, strictly legal. The subtitle of this show used to be called Barely Legal. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta cease and desist. It's, it's, okay. Well, uh, uh, speaking of ceasing and desisting, we are not doing that with this show. We continue apace. We this will is- start and persist. <laughs> we will. What's up, hot dog? I want to welcome you to the show today. My name is Scott Ackerman. I am your host for the, well, for the hour, hour and change. I was going to say for the afternoon, for the evening. Who knows when you're listening to this? If it's on Indie 1031, hey, I'll be your host for the noon hour. If it's anywhere else, <laughs> go fuck yourself. Oh. Um, did I say what's up, hot dog? I believe I did. Yeah, yes. you didn't okay. thank Reggie Watts. Oh, Reggie. Hey, Reggie bud. Reggie bud. What, what did a, I just say Reggie bud? He's already in the parking lot by now. <laughs> Who am I, Bob Marley? Hey, Reggie bud. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, he's in the park. Man, he took off. He was pissed, he was too. He pissed? You didn't I thank went, him. I forgot why. I forgot to thank him. I forgot why. What is happening? We're, I, haven't, I haven't done my brain calisthenics. What are those? <laughs> I think about pussy. Really? Yeah. Just, and that works your brain out. Yeah, it just stretches it out. Because I'll be honest with you, that's what I call my dick calisthenics. <laughs> See, in the brain calisthenics, you're looking for more wrinkles. In dick calisthenics, you want to eliminate all the wrinkles, I would imagine. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's how the brain and the dick respectively work. Inverse. <laughs> Fans of this show uh, will probably know Prefer his work. Prefer to have me as the host. Nope. <laughs> Uh, they'll know your work from such films as Nothing But Trouble. Is that something? Sure, why not? Nothing the But Trouble. The Disorderlies or McOrderlies? What was the that Mick called? Orderlies. The yep, McOrderlies. Why not? And uh, King Kong Up Into Butt. <laughs> Right? That's coming out in yeah. March. It's weird you have all these written down. I do. You could have done better. And that is a, that is an exploration of little tiny humans going up into, into King Kong's, King Kong's rectum. Yes. Yep. Fantastic. I'm yep. looking forward to that. Yep. His... It's a lot like inner space. <laughs> the most inner of spaces, some may say. I don't know if that's... I don't know. Yeah, I guess the, would say that. I guess the vagina is also very inner. I don't know. I mean, those are the... I mean, there's tons of inside of the body. You don't need to go through one of the few canals that connects to the outside. You know what? The mouth is probably the one that can, you can I get into the farthest. I would say inside your heart is the innest of inside okay, the body. you're gross. I don't want to talk to you anymore. <laughs> okay. There's the, the way, door. I'm fine with that. <laughs> Good luck. I have to say, and I'll introduce you in a second, uh, he is a pinch hitter today. That's exciting. You are, uh, you're in because we had a guest cancel last minute. Doesn't that make me feel great? (laughs) It certainly does. And you know that. It's not like I'm springing it on you. But you know him from his own podcast in his own right and his own comedy. Uh, How did this get made? And he plays uh, uh, Rafi or something. That's true. Who do you play? I play Ralphie on the... (laughs) Ralphie. King Ralph. (laughs) I play King Ralph in the King Ralph prequel series. (laughs) Pre-cum series. (laughs) (laughs) What? <laughs> Nobody enjoyed that more than you. Look at you. Your face is ah. red. Hello. Hello, uh, Scott. And now, nobody and all, else. All the ships at sea? 
and all the ships at sea. Okay, yes. good, good. Got to mention them. Yeah, remember, guys, seriously, eat your citrus. Don't get scurvy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> vitamin C, very important. Or just take a vitamin C tablet. Eh. You know, they didn't have those you back in pirate days. That's cheating. You know, like, if you're on the open seas, like, eat a goddamn orange. <laughs> you scurvy cheaters. You, come on. Uh, my friend, it's great to see you. I, I love having you on the show. This is your... You still have not said my name. I will still not say not. your name, nor will I, I ever. I'm like Voldemort. <laughs> my name will never be spoken. <laughs> uh, and I am the boy who lived. <laughs> uh, he plays... Uh, he was in The Dictator. He played uh, <laughs> Sasha Bubo Gubu's best friend. Yep, yep. Sasha and- Bubo Gubu's. <laughs> Best friend. He is in um, a show called Enlightened. I, I am, believe, a, yeah. Which yeah. I had no idea you were on until apparently we heard uh, uh, my my wife. Oh boy, <laughs> <laughs> my wife <laughs> is nice. Oh my god! Speaking of Sasha Boo Goo Boo, oh, flawless. Uh, he has been on this show for uh, uh, it's almost eleven years at this point. Uh, the entirety of the, I mean, not every episode, obviously, but uh, he dips in and out. But uh, please welcome back to the show. The Dink Dink Man. America's favorite co-host. America's favorite co-host of America's podcast. You know, last <laughs> last year, yeah. uh, it was the show where we talked to interesting people and we graduated to America's podcast. Yeah, and I am America's favorite co-host America's favorite co-host. America's favorite podcast. Although I don't consider you to be a co-host, though you have strong co-host energy. I do have to say that. Oh, I've got big co-host energy. <laughs> you have almost uh, uh, kind of crossing the line into Over, host. Overwhelming co-host <laughs> energy. Please welcome back to the show, Jason Manzukis. Hello. I'm thrilled to be here scott welcome back bro down ho down willkommen bienvenue official bro down ho down uh we decided to do it you you saw that i had the uh the solo bolo sonic olo uh a few months back so uh and that was number i feel like that was number seven that we've done that and we've never done a bro down ho down so we decided to do it how here dare today. you how dare you the, though i will promise absolutely no singing <laughs> Thank Absolutely you. no I believe, singing. Were you not on uh, the musical podcast that we uh, do here in this very studio uh, off book about a month ago and you did not sing during Did not it? sing during the musical podcast. <laughs> that it, is your commitment to. It is how much I'm willing to follow through. Is it because you cannot sing? I cannot sing. You, what, uh, why, uh, what do you mean? Have you tried? Yes. <laughs> What if you just every never year, tried? Every and suddenly year, it's like, oh, shit, I got to try this. <laughs> every year for whatever, you know, there's always an, an episode or two of Big Mouth where there's a group, like an ensemble Oh, and everyone song, has to sing. And everybody has to sing. Were you and, not? Yes. And, and, sorry to interrupt. And, and so we uh, there's a, a, a man named Mark Rivers who writes and sure, does all Mr. the- Sure, show back in the day. Oh, was he? I didn't know that. He did uh, a lot <laughs> of the music for the fourth season, which I worked on. Oh, great. Yeah. He is a true genius. He's written so many amazing songs for the show. And and I go out to his studio to record my thing, and you know I see him, you know maybe once a year. Out or there something. off the uh, <laughs> off the ten? Uh, maybe no, okay. no, no, it's not off the ten. Off the um, two? E- maybe. Hey, you know, right, let me ahead. look up his exact street address <laughs> right, and, and then ahead, give it out ahead. to the listeners. <laughs> um, anyway, so I go to his house and I go in the studio, and every year I'm like, Mark, I want to remind you, I can't sing. This is going to take longer than we think it is. Right. And he's like, Well, what are you talking about? This is going to be great. All I've got is like eight lines for you. You're <laughs> you're great. It's going to be fine. And then it takes us like four hours, and oh. in the middle of it, he's always like, You're right. This is much harder than I remember. <laughs> <clears throat> Weren't you also in the musical episode of what was that show called? Overdressed or what? What was it? The Guy, the guy, uh, the 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 guy from Arrested Development. That uh, he, what are you thinking about? Uh, the uh, Hank Hank uh, 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 from uh, uh, Hank Azaria. No, not Hank Azaria. Hank from uh, Larry Sanders oh, has a show. Rick Torn. No, no, Hank. Hank, the co-host. The, oh, uh, oh, I'm sorry, the Jeffrey guy Tambor. doing your job. I'm sorry, you're talking about yeah. Transparent. Sorry. Oh, okay, sorry, <laughs> that was overdressed. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I cannot think of titles of things sometimes. Uh, anyway, uh, I was in the musical episode of that, but only in a dance. I was dancing. Overdressed would be exactly as punny as, what is the real title again? Transparent. Transparent. So, because it's a transparent and overdressed, he's wearing a dress. I mean, it's like uh, over his body. It's exactly the same. How so? <laughs> What's the play? It's exactly as wordplay-ish as transparent is. Oh, God. 
Anyway, uh, so you were in that, you said? Anyway, yeah, I was in that. I didn't sing in that. You didn't sing in that. No. Did you tell them beforehand? Like, no, they didn't ask me to sing. They didn't ask me to sing. Is it because of your raspy voice or what exactly uh, is? You know, I'm, I believe myself to be, if not tone deaf, like okay. somewhere in because that. Because anyone with a voice can sing right uh but if you if you truly are just tone deaf you cannot find your pitch within I, that's what i can't do like I even can't, if someone's going la 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 can't do it mm. can't do it i can like get close but it doesn't exactly i'm missing some connective right. tissue or something so when that, you hear a chord like dun 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 which is a nice jazz chord i think oh, uh God. you don't know you couldn't hit any you remember of those. when i said no singing right <laughs> I'm trying to so go you into So don't try and sneak singing it, you <laughs> motherfucker. So are you some sort of Rex Harrison type who who just like talk sing? I'll, I'll, I'll talk sing all day, mm -hmm. all day, every try day. Try some of that then. I mean, you, do, maybe you don't remember me saying no singing. Do, do, uh, I'm not even going to talk sing, Why sings, can't God. a woman be more like a man from no, My Fair Lady? I don't even know what that is. Why can't a woman be more like a man? I said no singing. <laughs> Wait, that, that includes You can't me? sing either. This you is, can't, you can't this extend is an your no singing sphere bubble. This is an out episode to me. for the fans who don't want singing. Okay. So because you think there's there's too much singing on the show as is with uh, what percentage of the show this would you show say is, is becoming off book? <laughs> Practically, it is. <laughs> Which, by the way, I don't. I mean, I love Jess and Zach. I think they're geniuses. You wanted to be on that in order to help them out, but uh, did you tell them in advance that you would not be singing, or did yes. you spring it on them? Well, first I turned down the show many times because <laughs> right. I was like, I don't sing. I'm sorry. And then they were like, What if you didn't have to sing? And I said, Great. Oh, I'll be wonderful. there. Jason, uh, you and I, uh, we know each other pretty well. We do. I would, I would, I would consider us friends. Uh, I wouldn't. That's so weird. That is weird. <laughs> All right. I was being generous. I would say we are, we are good acquaintances. I was thinking of the day I, I guess I met you or the first time I ever talked to you. Um, this is in a, a city called New York City. Ah, New York City. City of dreams. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The Windy City, also people call it. City of Brotherly Love. Yes. A lot of people call it. All of those. Shicky yep. G. Yep. And, City uh, of Big Shoulders. Yeah. City of uh, Standing on the Shoulders of Giants. The Big Peach. Yep. <laughs> James and the Giant Peach. Rolled Doll. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I was, love this game. <laughs> I love it. I Let's love keep just, going forever. Just word association. <laughs> Yes, but I, okay. So this is U, the UCB New York. Oh yeah, okay. Um, we're doing ASCAT, uh -huh. and I don't think we'd ever had a conversation before then. Probably okay, not. But probably you're, not. You're a brilliant imp improviser. Thank you. You're very a brilliant much. imp as well as improviser. <laughs> I'm an incorrigible imp. <laughs> I remember you on stage and watching you do something, but I don't remember what it was. But it was great. <laughs> okay. And we spoke, and that was fun. You were doing monologues. I was doing monologues, which is always my pleasure. You were in to do. town, I believe, writing the Onion movie. Was that the trip that I? That was 2006. Then. I don't know. I was writing the Onion movie. Uh, I, I ended up not writing any of the Onion movie. Really? You see that Onion movie Didn't and see blame it. me for it. Uh, do not I, blame I, I'm me. glad you mentioned that because I haven't seen it because I was like, well, what am I going to say? What am I going to say to Scott? I don't know. Ooh. I was brought in after it was made already to because they they wanted to really? refilm the entire movie. For real? Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. And I was brought Ooh, this in. This is some Hollywood insight. Ooh. Ooh. No you, scoop for you? Get ready, people who like to jerk off to Hollywood insider information. <laughs> You've got a boner. <laughs> <laughs> and the wherewithal to deal with it. <laughs> unless hands. you were in a unless you were in a horrible accident and don't have hands. Those are the worst accidents where they chop off your hands oh, coming God, out of them. It's usually not an accident. It means you are involved <laughs> in either you are either part of the Hooties or the Tootsies. But uh you and I know each other. We've we've worked together for the last year or so, yes. side by side. Oh, brothers in arms. Joined at the hip. And uh we've had we've had a great time. Um, uh, wait, now wait. Was there a? Were you going? Was when we met in New York City? Were you going to say something about that night? No, I was just oh, trying. Okay. To, I guess I was just trying to picture when it was. But 2006, you say it's. You know, it doesn't seem that so. long ago. But it's I guess like you five know, years ago, isn't it? Six yeah. years ago. And uh, then we run on the MTV Awards together. Oh yeah. And we got even closer. And you oh. almost died. I did because you almost ate a Dodger dog. Oh, that was bad news. Yeah, I'm yeah. violently allergic to eggs. For those listening. Violent, like to the point where you have to carry uh, have heroin. I have, a, I have <laughs> on you <laughs> in case the cops stop what you if, on the way. What if, what if, what if a violent food allergy to eggs was my cover for being a drug addict? <laughs> I have to have this heroin in case I eat eggs. <laughs> it's a preventative measure. I take heroin. <laughs> Three to four times a day in order to prevent <laughs> me from eating eggs accidentally and having an anaphylactic reaction. Keeps me skinny. 
Um, no, I do. I carry an EpiPen with me. Uh, and, and you, we were working one day, and they, and they sell Dodger Dogs at City Walk where we were working. Oh, for those of you who don't know, it's like the worst place on earth. <laughs> it's terrible. We had to go there every day. Yeah. And um, yeah, and so you one day you were like, you know what? I'm going to treat myself. Oh my God, by the way, such a good impression. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, you're like, I want to dodge a dog today. Oh. And then, right, and you told me the split second before you ordered it, or before you put it in your mouth, did you actually pay for one? Did I, you have I it? I did not pay for one. Okay. So the split second before you ordered it, you, you were wrestling with your conscience yes. and saying, should I ask him? Because asking everyone you ever meet are there eggs in this? It must be a drain. It is you. exhausting. Yeah. So you, the one day you decide I'm not going to do it, I'm just going to like I'm gonna roll with gangs it. away. Yeah. Well, because I had had a Dodger dog at Dodger Stadium. Great story. So <laughs> we're sitting you. there. Because <laughs> let me tell you something. I've eaten hot dogs before. You know what I mean? It's like It gets better. I put a hot dog in my goddamn mouth and I know what it's like. And I'm like, this is just another goddamn hot dog in my mouth, isn't yep. it? Now, to be fair, you could have eaten the actual hot dog itself, the wiener. Tree, the, true. The frame. True. Oh, true. Yes. It's not tree or true. It's, it's actually true. <laughs> it's true. Okay. Uh, but it's the buns, oh, it's as they buns. said in the 70s. It's eating them buns. <laughs> those bready, bready buns. <laughs> mm. Those eggy, bready eggy, buns. Eggy, bready buns. Um, yeah, almost killed me. <laughs> almost killed you. And yep. and at and you would not have taken your uh, epi shot. You I wouldn't have. I would have. I would have let me. I would have let myself go out that way because I had long felt that if I ever managed to get myself to Universal Studios, <laughs> onto the lot, uh-huh. just City Walk, on working the on the MTV Movie Awards, <sighs> that would be my dreams will have come true, and yep. I could die at that point. Yep. So knowing that I might die, I mean, you could argue. That trying to eat a Dodger dog might have been a suicide attempt. <laughs> yeah, you know, one could argue that. I could have been like, it doesn't get any better than no this. No matter if you're allergic to eggs or not. I've currently written some of the most legendary pieces of comedy that will ever exist on the MTV Movie Awards. The intro to Anna Ferris and Chris <laughs> Pine. Yep. <laughs> which that was a great intro, by the way. I don't remember it, that one. It well. ended up not being on the show. Oh, because, what was it? Because of the contractual... Now, a lot of people don't know, don't know oh, when it, people are on that show, when they're presenters or whatever. Just quick note aside, yes. just to, not to distract you. Okay. Okay. But when you talk about the specifics of the of how this show gets made, the yes. MTV movie, or does that ever get you in trouble or anything like that? I already was fired the next year. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I can talk about whatever I want because okay. they've burned the bridge with me. Okay, I okay. was... I after After it all happened... Uh, I let some information out that shouldn't have been put out. I was very uh, uh, sorry, apologetic. Mm-hmm. I yes. apologize to everyone. And then uh, I was hired the next year mm-hmm. to be Aziz's head writer, yep. and they fired me a few days in. And so, fuck them. They yep. burned the bridge. Was it because you didn't bring me in? Do you think that was it? <laughs> That's probably it. <laughs> okay, so. Yes, go. Uh, everyone on these shows uh, agrees to be on them as long as, uh, the, and the studio pays for it, mm-hmm. as long as they uh, uh, mention whatever project they have coming up. And that ruins the intros that you write. Correct. Because you have to say, from Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Great film. Yep. Bad for an intro. Yes. So our, our wonderful intro for Anna Ferris and Chris Pinetree, who were presenting together, <laughs> was her last name is the name of a carnival ride, and his last name is the name of a tree. Please welcome Anna Ferris Wheel and Chris Pinetree. <laughs> So terrible, and we got paid for this. I we want the audience. Paid. I want the audience to understand we got paid yeah. for this in your face, people who don't oh, work in show business. So terrible, shame <laughs> on us. Think you can write a better joke? I believe you. Oh my god, I'm trying to think of any of the other ones we came up with, and now I can't remember. There, any uh, of them. there, there was the uh, there was one about <laughs> the, is... people who went to the same high school or something. Really? Oh boy, I can't remember. It was classic. really, it was really funny classic. though. Yeah, really it was, fun. It was a fun room. It was a, yeah. We had fun. We had a great uh, Paul Rust was there. Neil Campbell was, don't uh, know those guys. Forgotten about them. <laughs> on your way to the top. Yep. Left them all behind. Yep. Um, well, it's a it's a great pleasure to see you. It's and, terrific. Uh, Thank you for it's having. It's been me. it's been a fantastic podcast. Okay. And thank you so Click much for coming. Click. Screech. Boom. This is happening. <laughs> <laughs> People are taking off their earbuds. Is that what you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Saying, "Ugh, good." Ugh, that guy. Too loud. Just <laughs> too loud. We'll equalize that, I hope. EQ if, it. If not, let us know. Oh, boy. Yeah. Um, like, we need to let people know to let us know if something is off with the show, right? If everybody could let us know 
how the show is going on a moment-to-moment basis, <laughs> that would be phenomenal. Could we get a minute-by-minute review yep. yes. one of these days? Could you know? somebody, has anybody ever live-tweeted an episode of the show as they listen to it? That's what I want. This is the episode to do it during. Every minute, there is going to be an exciting twist and or turn. And <laughs> there will be a lot of cliffhangers during this show. <laughs> a lot of to-be-continued. Oh, I just fell off a cliff, by the way. Shame on you. <laughs> um, I was referring to Cliffhanger the movie, Sylvester Stallone. I just watched it. For real? For realsies. I got the Blu-ray and I watched what? it. Okay. Everything you just said depresses me. <laughs> I know. What is wrong with my life? Was it so crisp? Was it just spectacular? Oh, You know what I was really aware of was how bad titles were. No, I don't mean the literal title of the movie, but I mean the uh, fonts that they used for oh. titles back in 1992 or 1993. Yeah, I'm sure. They look terrible. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That's the opposite of you look marvelous. Oh, boy. Is that really? Is this <laughs> what we're doing? <laughs> we has, has Billy Crystal... <laughs> Get your live come, tweets out. Has Billy <laughs> Live tweet it, people. Live tweet it. Has Billy Crystal come back so much because of the Oscars that you are now just inserting his catchphrases from the 80s Ooh. into the modern lexicon? Let me just tell you something about Billy. Oh, boy. He hosted marvelously. <laughs> he, I'm going to be honest with you. He didn't. <laughs> what? He did not. It was garbage. <laughs> Come he, on. Has a shrunken, he has a shrunken apple head. He literally has a shrunken apple head. He is depressing. <laughs> it was sad. I felt like he was apologizing for himself the entire show. Live, live tweet it. I don't buy anything what you're saying. He's a national treasure. I felt safe in his hands. If he's a national treasure, Nick Cage should go and find him and eradicate him, okay? <laughs> is that what Nick Cage was doing in that movie? Eradicating, was eradicating national treasure. Eradicating treasure. <laughs> Oh, I have, a, to, I have to find the back of the Declaration of Independence and blow it up. There's a secret message uh, uh, <laughs> on the Magna Carta. I have to eradicate it. Is that what number two is about, the Magna Carta? I have no idea. Uh, but you, uh, speaking of movies, you have many loves. Many. Chief among them, comedy. I love comedy. But love film it. and cinema has got to be bringing up the rear. Oh, film, so comedy... These are your categories. Comedy, <laughs> film, and cinema. <laughs> film slash cinema is number well, two. Well, I mean, like we just saw in the Oscars this weekend. I mean, like best oh, cinema. <laughs> by the way, if you're listening to this, uh, I know you're listening to this quite some time after the Oscars. I, I am ta- I'm going oh. to South by Southwest very soon, so I'm taping this before. Got it. You may be getting this while I'm at South by or the week after. I don't I know. should have known that. <clears throat> That's quite all right, but... Um, uh, no, we, I'm we were blaming talking about, you. You we, should have told me that before we started, bro. <laughs> that was a criticism. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we just watched the Oscars, and boy, what a night. Oh, well, let me just say we that, watched them together. We did, and let me just say that the Holding night hands. of the Oscars is Oscars' primary primary night to shine. The night that the Oscars happen. There are twelve nights I of Oscars. Don't understand what you're talking about. There are twelve nights of Oscars. Okay. Let's count them down. Number sure. one. Number one, we're counting them down yeah. from one. Yeah. Okay. Number one. <laughs> okay. The Oscars. The Oscars. Negative er, zero. Negative one. We gotta go to zero. Okay, we're going to zero. Twelve nights of Oscars starts on night number one. Okay. The Oscars. The Oscars. Zero. Uh, zero is the Oscar nominations when they're announced. Okay. All right. Yep. Negative one. Negative one. You have when the <laughs> issue of Entertainment Weekly comes oh, out Oscars that issue. predicts what the Oscar nominations yep. will be. Yep. Okay. Negative two. Mm-hmm. You have the issue of Entertainment Entertainment Weekly that announces what the Oscar nominations were. I feel like Entertainment Weekly might be sponsoring this show. <laughs> okay. Negative three. Yep. You have the issue of Entertainment Weekly that predicts who the winners will be based upon those nominations. Yep, yep, absolutely. Negative four. Yes. You have the issue of Entertainment Weekly (laughs) that wraps up how the Oscars actually went down. Absolutely. Negative five. Five. (laughs) You have the night that the Oscars wins an Emmy for Best uh, Variety or uh, Award Show, whatever that is. Okay. All right. Mm Mm-hmm. That's Twelve seven. Nights. That's seven Twelve nights, nights so of far. Oscars. Here we go. Uh, negative six. <laughs> and negative down six to negative six. Come on, help me out. Huh? Oh, of course. <laughs> negative six is the uh, is when the Today Show follows actors who may be announced to get an Oscar mm-hmm. live when the nominations are announced. Mm-hmm. There we go. Right. 
Negative seven. The issue of Entertainment Weekly that takes a comedic approach in the list to what the Oscar nominations may be. Great, great. It's a piece of comedy. Jim Mullen gets uh, which, in Which, by there. the way, I love comedy. Comedy, is- film, and cinema <laughs> are two, three of my favorite things. Okay, keep going. Negative eight. Yep. Uh, we have, oh, of course, the the issue of Entertainment Weekly that talks about the snubs. Yep. Oh, yeah. Snubs and flubs. Snubs and flubs, guys. You know, and then, of course, negative nine. Yep. Our 11th night of Oscar, we have the issue of Entertainment Weekly that talks about the flubs. Yep. In relation to the snubs. The snubs and the right. No, we it's talked about the snubs it, on the other issue. because no, we said snubs and flubs. <laughs> yeah, they, <laughs> no, they talk about the snubs and, and how the Oscars flubbed when they snubbed. But what I'm talking about is the issue that talks about all the flubs in the telecast. Uh-huh. Two totally, totally separate different issues. And then, of course, the twelfth night of Oscar, which Let's, is just the night that commemorates all the people that have died. Ah, the in memoriam. It's a an issue of Entertainment Weekly. It's the issue, the is in memoriam issue of Entertainment front Weekly, front to back, dead people. I think there needs to be what I'm trying to say. There needs to be more issues of Entertainment Weekly. You Guys, know? can we-, we talk about Entertainment Weekly right now? <laughs> it is a publication that is focused on three things I love the most. Comedy, uh, comedy, film, <laughs> film cinema. cinema. And you know, it's relatively cheap now to, to subscribe. A lot of people don't know that. Oh, a lot of people don't know about subscriptions. A lot of people don't know about magazines. You can get 54 issues for as low as 98 cents an issue. Now. Really? And a lot of people, most people do not know it's that low currently. I had no idea. To be honest, I had no idea. You just have to buy I'm them. I'm genuinely shocked. You have to buy them in advance. And that's what a subscription <sighs> is. Oh my God. Is you are paying a down payment on your entertainment in the future. At this point, people are live tweeting, please stop talking about <laughs> Entertainment Weekly. Is this for real? You guys are out of your minds. It is for real, unfortunately. Uh, we love Entertainment Weekly and uh, they are a big sponsor of the show, as well as Google. Reminder, if you're going to Google something, don't go to Bing and try to Google something. Go to Google. Bing That's, it. Why don't you Bing it? No, 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 no. That's the exact opposite of what, what? we're trying to trying to get across here. Are we trying to promote Google? I'm still, yeah, yeah, they're I'm still sponsor Netscaping the, things. No. I'm still Alta vista Google doesn't power that? Huh? Google power? Google? I don't think so. They do, Google doesn't power your, your browser? I'm searching with web crawler right now. <laughs> is that weird? That is weird. Just make sure to go. If you're going to Google something, don't go to Bing. Go to Google. Um, so go, go to Google, but search via Bing. <laughs> Here's what I was wondering. Okay, the internet is supposedly infinite, right? How do we contain it on Earth? What is ostensibly a finite place? What? Yeah, exactly. That's, we'll that's, be right back. <laughs> I don't th- are we taking breaks? <laughs> I don't think so. We're going to take some breaks. Don't you worry. We're going to. I don't want to take any. Breaks. We're going to get some ads. Don't worry. We'll take ads. some breaks. Are from we this. doing ads now? We're doing a ton of ads. First of all, we have Entertainment Weekly. It's as low as ninety eight cents, and that's only if you get it for three years, though. Like, really? Yeah, three years is quite three, a long time. Yeah, but that's how you get it down low to ninety eight cents per issue. I would like it if Entertainment Weekly had like some like straight up nude centerfolds. That would yeah, you know what like, who, I feel like I, I do genuinely feel like I don't read magazines as much and mm-hmm. what would drive me to an Entertainment Weekly is just titties. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I, just fucking titties. I really want to, and I've wanted to do this forever, especially when, like, you know how when you go to a festival, a comedy festival, quite often they'll put you on the plane with your comedy friends? Of course. You know? I really want to get, like, just a hardcore porn magazine in the airport and then casually flip through it on the plane just to make them laugh. I They're, think that'd be really funny. I, would they, I feel would, like you should do that when you travel with your wife. Yeah, you think I feel so? like you should kiss your wife. You should be like, "Oh, babe, I love you," and then you should pull out just like Beaver Patrol. <laughs> That's the magazine where they go on Beaver Patrol, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a magazine about guys, uh, park rangers who are responsible for policing the beavers of the forest, and, and uh, all these naked women get in the way. Naked of women their get work. in the way. Beaver Patrol it has to like bust the naked ladies who are no doubt having a picnic. Bam! All these guys want to do is they want to have sex with beavers. Yep. And then these naked ladies get in the Son way. Son of a of it. bitch, right? Yeah. Well, a lot of times the guys are looking for beavers and they see like the naked ladies' private parts and they're like, uh-huh. there's a beaver right there because it's like in the bushes or something. Oh, wait a minute. I'm just realizing something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Na- naked ladies' vaginas. Well, here's the thing <laughs> look like actual beavers. They don't anymore. They oh, don't that's anymore. True. Like, what would that what would that magazine be now? Because here's the thing: beaver patrol, like big giant bushes, mm-hmm. made it look like a beaver or a porcupine, depending. 
<laughs> oh man, that would be a true. That would Among be your loves are beavers. By the way, we should. That's, Me? Oh, yeah, yeah, you have comedy, comedy, film, and cinema. Beavers. And beavers. Yep. And and the porno magazine Beaver Patrol. <laughs> yeah, those are which good. which I bought thinking it was a magazine about beavers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, it was not, but I discovered a whole new thing that I loved, which was just which is beaver her vaginas, just what? But just, big hairy bushes. Speaking of hairy bushes, yeah. And, and are are you disappointed now that ladies uh, aren't rocking the basically what is on your face <laughs> down there? Um. Oh my God. Like a downstairs beard? Yeah. A giant downstairs beard? Are you disappointed? I mean, we, we're old enough that we've seen the fashions come and go. We have. First of all, we grew up in the 60s. It was a, it was a wild time. Yes. The, the fashions of we the love. day were anything goes. Yeah, yeah. The music was revolutionary. Back around 1967 through 1969, things started to happen in this country where, oh, yeah. where we started to question, hey... Is our government really in yeah. charge, or yeah. should we be in charge? Are we going to get out of this war in Vietnam, man? And then the 70s happen, and all of a sudden, you know, you have people like Richard Nixon. You have Watergate. Yeah. yeah. You're starting to say, hey, hey, look, guys. Yep. Are the people in charge, should they be in charge? Holy shit. You know? Gerald Ford. Gerald Ford. Should he have been in charge? I we, don't think so. We don't if know. If you are live tweeting this show, it is fully off the rails. <laughs> Full blown off the rails. But what I'm trying to say is from the 60s to the 70s, yeah. not a lot of wiggle room in what's going on down there. No. With the ladies. I would say probably almost none. I don't think people start grooming that shit until the 80s. You think around the 80s. I think porno in the 80s is the first time you start seeing like truly like trimmed up beeves. And is that because we saw more beeves then and people were like, hey, we got to take care of these beeves? I don't think. I don't know. It's like I feel like uh, we got to take now that care we're of these now that beeves. we're showing these beeves everywhere. But they but no I mean, people were showing beeves all the time. No. I don't think somebody was like we're no. so, we're seeing so many beeves. We got to trim them down. Absolutely not. I'll disagree with you. In fact, let's agree to disagree. Currently, fine. <laughs> but I don't know how this is going to happen. But because, go ahead. Because look, you didn't see beeves in Playboy. Until you didn't see pubic hair in Playboy until the seventies, sure. So and it was big hairy beeves. Yeah, but and nobody I'm, was like, we got to trim down these beeves. So for like a decade, you saw giant fur pies in a in an issue of Playboy. Nobody was like, holy shit, we got to get control of this situation. No, but things take ten years to change. That's what I'm saying. You know, don't ask, don't tell. It goes into hey, you know, it's okay. You know, but it, it's, you're, you're change you're takes com- time. I just want to make sure you're comparing. <laughs> You're the change in the change in female genital <laughs> hair manipulation to <laughs> don't ask, don't tell. Yes, of course. There's a lot of parallels there. Break and it down, buddy. Things Break take it time. Down. You can't just get into office and say, you know what? Hey, anything goes. You got to br- step by step break it down. Listen, buddy. Pubic hair was not a decree of the president. So this is not. This is a cultural. You thing. are way off base at this I point. Right honestly, now. I don't. The think live so. tweeters are, are. They are. Livid. Oh my goodness. Well, that's that's best live tweets going to win ten thousand dollars. I hear that is true. That Supplied is one thing. By that, Entertainment did we, Weekly. We mentioned that, didn't? No, we didn't mention that at the top of the show. No, yeah, the best best live tweet of the show wins ten thousand yep. dollars. Of course, just send them with the hashtag Entertainment Weekly Rock CBB. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> So um, that may take up almost all of your 140 characters. I'm not sure. Well, that's the thing. That all the tweets, all the live tweets can only be three characters because the hashtag is itself 137 characters. Yeah. You're just going to see a lot of live tweets. Dumb, D-U-M, <laughs> gay. Ugh. <laughs> Fags. <laughs> oh, no, too long. That's too long. Four. Son of a bitch. Uh, well, Jason, you're one of America's great lovers of comedy, oh, lovers of film, lovers, lovers of cinema, cinema, lovers of beeves. Lovers of beeves. And uh, for the ladies, let me just say for the ladies, you know what? I hope I hope you don't mind that we've been talking about beeves. You hey, know la- hey, ladies. You know what? If you're live tweeting the show and you're a lady- mm-hmm. Just twit pick a picture of your beef. Come put it on up now. There. No, could Jason, win you ten thousand no, dollars. No, it's not that kind of show. It you will. Win. Yes, you will win ten thousand dollars for that. <laughs> but it's not that kind of show. I don't want to broadcast that. We don't that out there. No, would, there's I, a lot. I would like to broadcast it. I would like lot, to put it out there. There's a lot of wonderful women who listen to this show, and yeah. I don't want to make them uncomfortable. I just like I. Think, I you don't. I want to objectify them. <laughs> I want to look at their business. <laughs> Come on. Jason. I want to see before and after beef shots. No. Trimmed it up, grown out. That's, no, we don't do that on this show, and we ladies, don't? I hope. 
hope I hope you don't find this kind of talk offensive because it's not that kind of show. I, we're an inclusive show, and just because we're we're talking about beefs because we're I, bros, this is we're what bros. we talk like exactly. This is That's what, what I'm trying to like. say is we're we bros. talk like this. We're bros, so ladies, we hang you're included. Out. We but drink we're beers. Bros. We're bros. We talk about boobs and beefs. Twins. <laughs> Um, a very current reference. Ladies, I apologize for the last 15 minutes. Uh, you're going to enjoy the show. The rest of the ladies, show. Ladies, I don't apologize. Yep. And I'm single. <laughs> Are you single? Uh, yes, I am. What's going on down there? I'm s- down there? <laughs> oh, my God. Not much. Um, but uh, not, not my, not plenty in terms of uh, hair. Not I didn't mean to say not much in terms of like I trim. What's your approach my, to my to my pubic hair? No, no, no. no. I mean to a lady. Like to what, m- if a lady was interested in you, what what should she expect? Like uh, what what is she wooing? She's wooing. at the bar. You, yeah, you've, you, you've exchanged a couple of like, oh hey, yep. uh, this is what happens. Ready? Okay, here we go. She's at the bar. We exchange a flirt with flirting, uh-huh. chit chat, chit chat. Uh-huh. I'm using some of my comedic skills, some of my cinematic skills, <laughs> some of my filmic skills yeah. to really 24 frames per her. second. Yeah, 4K projection. That's uh-huh. the future. No, oh. I don't do 30 per second or 29 point whatever <laughs> it is. That's for TV. Mm. Then at the point in the evening where it looks like it's gonna go, it's gonna it's gonna jump off. Uh-huh. Like I'm walking her to her car, or sure. we're exchanging numbers, or whatever. You're trying is, to extend the evening yep. a little bit. Usually, when she tells me she lives with her boyfriend, <laughs> is that is that true? Oh yes. Oh. Uh, at which point I become a deflated nightmare, and I'm like, wait, 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 what you, wait what's happening? Oh. What's going on here? And I become like a little whiny baby. That happened to me once. I talked to a, a, a girl at a bar, probably for too long. That's the problem. Yeah. I talked to her for four hours. Like there yeah. was no, it was all of our friends were there. It was a bar populated just by everyone we knew. But I started talking to a, a, a nice woman for four hours, and at the end of the four hours, I was like, "So, should I get your number?" And she went, "Nope." <laughs> 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 the worst rejection. Of, uh, wow. Just, nope. <laughs> Oh, that's brutal. Yeah, it was brutes. Uh, brutes, At two brutes. Uh, Jason Manzoukas, my bro forever. What's here. up, buddy? Matching tattoos. We have a myriad of topics to, to cover, beeves being foremost. Beeves. <laughs> and then Boom. people's problems. Guys, Whitney Houston is dead. She's dead. She She's dead. I finally heard really about dead. that the other day. and I was. You like, finally heard about it? You'd yeah. been waiting to hear about it? I'd been sitting been there wa- awaiting the news. Expecting it. You know what? And David Jones, he's gone too. David Jones. These monkeys are dropping like flies. Andrew Breitbart died today. <laughs> These monkeys are dropping like flies. I wanted flies. to tweet that and then realize people do not like when you make jokes about a celebrity death mere hours after. They, they really happen. don't. But now it's been a few weeks. We can all laugh about it. No, but I was a huge Monkees fan. What about you? Huge Monkees fan. I had that problem of not quite understanding why the Monkees were so similar to the Beatles and weren't the Beatles. Mm. You know what I mean? Like that. I was young enough when I saw the Monkees that I was like, I think this is the Beatles, oh, but it's not, and I'm confused. Wow, you were stupid. I was like, a, oh my God, I was such a fucking dumb dumb. Did you ever get smart? I also thought Scooby-Doo was real people. He hasn't gone on to star in too many things. Scooby Doo, he's in a bunch of stuff. What's he been in lately? Uh, Scooby Doo is he's the alien in Alien versus Predator. Oh no way! The dog Scooby Doo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Scooby Doo's the alien in Alien versus Predator. He was oh. in a room with a view. Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> he's like that dude uh, who plays Gollum. He was in he's Captain Sir- Corelli's Mandolin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lover of cinema. We're here in the lovely Earwolf Studios. There's posters behind us of all the wonderful Earwolf uh, Which you'll get to see podcasts. if you go to YouTube and uh, look up what we're doing right now. You go to the Comedy Bang Bang, YouTube.com slash Earwolf to check it out. Check out the magic in video form. I think you need a better web address for that. I think you, you think need, so? I think you need something that just goes zap straight to it. Like zapstraighttoit.com. Zap straight to it. <laughs> By the way, not bad. zapstraighttoit.com <laughs> is a fucking home run yeah. web address for anything. Oh, believe you me, I have already <laughs> bought it. Zap straight to it? Yeah, I have an app on my phone that anything I say just you you buy the domain I buy name. Buy the domain name. Yeah, oh, every single solid. thing that I say. I read everything you say. Well, that's yeah. gonna get expensive. Hey, you know, and you know it's right around the corner. The in a couple of, March. of weeks. No, the tenth day of Oscar. Oh yes, of the course. The tenth day of Oscar oh, right God. around the corner. <laughs> Out of the twelve days of Oscar. <laughs> We mm-hmm. have the 10th right around the corner. The actual Academy yes, Awards. Yes, is, is actually, yeah, is days away. Just a couple of weeks, I couple believe. Of weeks yeah, away, a couple sorry. of weeks away. A couple of weeks away. 
And, I'm uh, so beyond excited. Oh, so we've had the nine days of Oscar before us, oh. and we have the tenth right around the corner, followed by the eleventh. Have course, we had snubs and flubs yet? No, that that well, we've had snubs and flubs of what was nominated. Right, right, right. But uh, the eleventh day of Oscar is when the Entertainment Weekly wrap up issue, uh-huh. including the snubs and flubs, of comes course, out. Of course, of course. And then, of course, we all know the twelfth day of Oscar. When the telecast wins the em- the Emmy, yes, yeah, oh, so, so it Sancho. is it is my favorite time of year. Oh, Oscar! Time. I have an advent calendar for it where every day I open up and uh, it'll be a little chocolate, a little uh, chocolate a, a statuette, little chocolate, <laughs> chocolate statuette, a little chocolate Steven Spielberg. <laughs> a little. There's also a little. There's a little chocolate EW magazine. Oh wow! There's a little chocolate snubs and flubs. I wanted to say you've gained two hundred pounds. Yeah, no, since no, no. I've I am it. well, and it's weird because the advent calendar is only. <laughs> 12 de- well, only 12 it's days only 12 long. days, yeah. Right, right. but, but <laughs> each chocolate. Each, each door you open is actually into a door of your house that is filled with chocolate. Filled with chocolate, yeah. yes. Check it out. God, what is wrong with you, Jason? Sorry, I have had aggressive diarrhea and a little bit of a cough. And Describe aggressive diarrhea. Aggressive diarrhea is the kind of diarrhea where you are like, oh, no, I have to shit immediately. And the diarrhea is like, hey, man. Yeah, hey, man. Hey, <laughs> coming hey, through. Hey, man. Something's it's, about to happen to your body. It's like when you're waiting in line for a restroom at a bar and some guy just yeah. like makes a beeline yeah. like pushing oh, yeah. you out of the way. That's what aggressive diarrhea it is. is. It is. There is absolutely. I, the minute my my the, the diarrhea is like I'm coming out, I have maybe a minute to get to a bathroom. <laughs> really? That yeah, long? Yeah, yeah. Maybe a minute. Otherwise, it is just watery, brown, disgusting, pouring out of my butthole. Ooh, tell me the truth. Yeah. If you have aggressive diarrhea during yeah, yeah, the program, yeah. Yeah. will you excuse yourself or no, will no, you just no. do it right the here? The show must go on. Have you ever heard of that? Have you ever heard, heard of a little of phrase called I didn't realize the show it applied must go on. to this. Oh, yes, and we are in a very small, very I hot room. I don't think that P.T. Barnum, or whoever coined that phrase, actually meant it when it, when it came going to aggressive to be disgusting. diarrhea. <laughs> All right. Well, so uh, and you can smell that, by the way, at Zap Two Straight Zap Straight Two dot com with Smell Vision. Yeah, of course. Smell Vision. Why didn't that take off? Oh, why not? You know what I, I mean? mean? Come on, guys. All the other 3D, senses. Three D, four K. We can do all this visual stuff. Why can't we just make a TV iPads, smell? iPads, iPhones. I don't know anymore. Oh boy. That was, but that was not good. All the other senses are taken care iPads, of when you see a movie. These iPhones. Yeah. You I heard don't it. know anymore. All the other this sense- doesn't make sense because the I in that sentence makes it. I pat you can't put an I you put an I before a consonant. You don't it, uh, a consonant? A cons incontinent? Oh, <laughs> Speaking, bringing it all back around. Oh, oh, oh connections. Yeah. But look, all the other senses are taken care of when you see a movie. Number one, you're seeing the movie. Okay. Correct. Number two, not, they use and sound. by the way, I'm going to tell you right now, not all of the other sentences sure they are. are taken. Okay. They, use, they use sound. <laughs> yes, okay. Okay. That's uh, sight and sound. Sight and sound. Okay. A terrific film magazine. Uh, feel. You're getting a handy. Who? Wow. By, from, everyone. Everyone? everyone get, have, come on. Everyone gets hand jobs no, in the movie. No, I have never Every gotten a hand job in a movie. Every single movie you ever go to, I someone's can, getting a hand I job. I can probably name the, hand, the, the, the movies I got a hand job during. <laughs> name that movie. <laughs> Please. I, I, believe, I want to see how old these I movies are. I believe Rocky Four was one of them. <laughs> Rocky Four. So what? Drago? I think so. Comes out. Dolph Lundgren, right? Right. I'm pretty sure I got a hand job during that movie. He comes out draped in the... Yeah, yeah. Russian yeah. flag. And I'm hard. You're rock I'm solid. Hard you ice. are thick. I am engorged. Okay. And, and who's giving this? this don't the, mention her by I'm name. I'm not going to mention her by or, name. Or, or, uh, well, I, I don't know what you're going to do. It was a girl that at the there. time I was I was involved with. Oh, you were involved with her at the time. I was involved with her at the time. Oh, good. We were That's seeing good the movie hear. together. Sure. Oh, so you you didn't come separately. You no, actually came no, together. I didn't okay. run into her okay, at the movie. All right, good. All the trappings are there. Oh, my God. handy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were so, involved with her? You yep. came together. I bought, I'm sure I bought her fucking popcorn. Sure. Okay. And goddamn soda. All right. Next thing you know, her digits are wrapped around my unit. <laughs> her digits are wrapped. <laughs> and this was a surprise to you during Rocky Four? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you... I mean, like, we were, like, making out and stuff, but, oh, okay. like, like, shit went down. What's the most aggressive making out you've ever done in a movie? I mean, it's obnoxious when people are making out during a movie, isn't it? Oh, it's super. It's uh-huh. it is, but in a relatively empty movie theater. Sometimes it's okay. Yeah, I did get a blowjob once. <laughs> <laughs> is this the same theater that Fred Willard was at, or is no, this? no, no? This okay. was just a regular movie theater playing a regular movie. Okay, regular movie time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, it's just like hanging out. The movie was um, uh-huh. um, shit. Uh, oh, oh, uh, 
Describe Matthew it. Dillon, Kate Hudson. Uh, Matthew Dillon. Ma- Ma- Matt Dillon. Matt we, Dillon. We, as he's known. Matt Dillon. <laughs> <laughs> Do, is Johnny Drama's brother. Oh, oh. Johnny Drama's oh, brother. Oh, okay. John, Drama's brother. Sure. Um, hey, Johnny Matt Drama. Matt Dillon, Kate. So the you, Me, and Dupree. You, Me, and Dupree was the movie. <laughs> that's not even that long ago. <laughs> it's not. What is happening? This is, that's like something a 16-year-old does. I agree. I agree. You, Me, and Dupree. The girl was 16. <laughs> You, me, Dupree, you, my me, penis, your Dupree, mouth. You, me, Dupree, let's do this. <laughs> uh, I The most aggressive making out I think I've ever done was during the ice storm. <laughs> oh, no! Yeah. Oh, my God. It was just, like, full on. It was first date, just blah. First date, you went and saw the, the ice, ice storm? storm? I know. Oh, it's one God. of those things where it sounds like a good I idea. I had pretty mind-boggling sex to the sweet hereafter. Really? No! It's a movie about a, a busload of <laughs> children, children dying. dying. Yeah. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Spoiler alert. This is for the sweet for the sweet hereafter. Spoilers for the sweet hereafter, guys. No, the yeah, the ice storm, just the most depressing. Although, you know, the key parties, I don't know, maybe something There was something sexy yeah, about something it. Something sexy happened. You know, definitely. I don't know. But, uh, but not the, really. At the end I remember we were making out much to the uh, detriment detriment, I guess, or uh, no one liked the fact that this was happening. Were you with people them. or you mean just the other no, people? No, just around. the other Okay. patrons yeah. of the theater. No one liked it. Were Although you in the was, middle? We were in the middle of a row. Oh, okay. Although it was relatively empty. So the only time I've ever like had anything happen in a movie theater mm-hmm. like was uh, like the uh, movie theater was virtually empty. Virtually empty. And we right. were seated behind everybody else right, who was right, there. Right. This was not even that. It was yeah, it, people real. could see. People were yeah. behind us. And I remember Just the, the very end of the movie, Kevin Klein is like shattered by everything that's taken place and he gathers his broken family around him and we did not care and we like whispered, let's go get ice cream. <laughs> like that was what Kevin Klein was saying. Oh my God. <laughs> to his kids and then uh, we got out of there and fucked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. That sounds amazing. I so seldom tell uh, now, stories of my life same. because I've been with Kulop forever but now, the ice storm gives you some idea when how long you, If was. you and Kulop are at home and you are flipping through channels and Mm -hmm. the ice storm is on on flipping through flipping through channels with one hand and flipping through something else with the other you mean close vagina (laughs) yeah maybe (laughs) you know i don't think girls like it when you refer to it as flipping uh, how about about i flip through your vagina for a little while can i flip through you hey How'd you like a little flip through before we go to dinner? <laughs> By the way, the show is not this dirty most <laughs> weeks, but something in Jason brings this out of me. Um, when you, if you come across the ice storm, is it awkward because she knows this story, or is it? She, sexy I don't think she for knows you? that story, and I hope no one tells her. Do you have a Pavlovian instinct to be like, "Let's go fuck"? <laughs> oh no, it's just the same with you and you, me, and Dupree. Oh my god! Anytime Owen Wilson's dumb nose comes on the screen on any movie, I'm like, "Let's <laughs> get <laughs> it <laughs> done." I'm usually alone. <laughs> the Royal Ten Bombs. <laughs> <laughs> Drill bit Taylor. <laughs> Little Doppler effect. I really love that. You're Thank right. you so much. A lot of people don't know you're a very accomplished Foley artist. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Dave Foley, he was the first one. And then I took up his... Mm-hmm. Mick, uh, Mick Foley. <laughs> Sure. Man, the wrestler mankind. Matt Foley, uh, who was a motivational speaker, the, and then he was went a character, into actually. Yeah. character. Yeah. <laughs> um, Jason, what else is in the news? <laughs> what else is in the news? I'm kind Wait of a wrestling. Second. With- Wait a second. Yeah. I literally just saw you get to a point in the show where you were like, "Uh, we're down a real rabbit hole here. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, well, I gotta, re- with, I gotta recover I, this. Do I take a break? Yeah. Do I continue talking? I, instead, to you? I don't know. you looked away. Went, Jason. <laughs> no, what, what else is in the news? <laughs> like, Just purely putting today, the onus on you. February 11th. Yeah. By what the way, terrible improvising. Yeah. Terrible improvising. Hey, what, what else, else is, is in the news today, February 11th? <laughs> That's how I like to initiate scenes, by the way, <laughs> is I bring someone up and I go, hey, what else is in the news? Why don't you tell me what's going on? Sure. Ugh. Um... What else is happening in your life? Uh, what else is happening? Uh, you know, not you too had a much. birthday. I, had a, I just turned forty. Yeah, great. just turned forty. Pretty intense. This is forty. This is forty. About you. Popular movie. Very much about me. Mm-hmm. Me, my beautiful wife, and <laughs> your two my kids. two beautiful grown children. Trying to get away from them by shitting in the bathroom. Yep. Oh, oh yeah. With my aggressive diarrhea. <laughs> um, yeah. All's well. I just uh, all's well that ends well. well. You're dead. Well. <laughs> 
Um, I don't know what to tell you. Same, same old, same old nothing. Uh, you have a podcast. How did this get How made? How did this get made? Um, we just did a bunch of live shows in New York. Mm. Fucking fun as shit. Great crowds, New York. Great you know crowd. what I mean? You did it again, New York. I love you did it again. Broadway. You know the what great I mean? White way? Oh, I love it. Other than all the theaters there, I just oh, it's so great. Oh, that's wait. my one so complaint. Other than all the theaters, my there. one complaint is all the theaters, Too many theaters on that street. Yeah, but I love that street. I love Sbarro's. Uh huh. The pizza place, of course, <laughs> yeah. famous oh, New York pizza place. Such Sbarro's. a great street. Such yeah. a great street. So the, I know what the you're Hershey talking about. The Hershey M M&M and M store. Hershey M M&M. and <laughs> M. Yep. Mm. Yum. What do those M's stand for? Are they ever going to let us know? Uh, Mike and Matthew, I believe, isn't it? Mm, or maybe Mounds and Mars or something like that. I don't know. Mm, we'll, we'll probably never know. We'll never know. We'll never That's what know. I'm saying. Oh, God, Do you have your lip balm, by the way? Oh, yeah. Get it out. Let's put on some lip balm for the, for the nice gonna, folks. Are we going to balm it We're up? We're going to balm it up. We're going to flip through some lip balm here. You know what I'm saying? Where is yours? You have more pockets. By the way, Jason is wearing a nice white uh, uh, button-up shirt. And uh, he surprise. he also has uh, uh, some sort of jacket with a lot of pockets because as I found out when I went to your house recently, you carry the most stuff in your pockets I more do, than any person I've ever. I do I've carry ever. an aggressive amount of stuff. It's a lot like your diarrhea. How it is <laughs> aggressive diarrhea. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, let's put our bomb on. Mm-hmm. That's for the viewer at home. Oh, yeah. That's for the viewer at ZapRightToIt.com. ZapRightToIt.com, which, mm. uh, which now half of the people are actually trying to use. <laughs> sure, why Because not? we've said it 12 times <laughs> more than we've said the actual address. Let's redirect. Well, well let's buy it. Um, it's only eight bucks. Let's buy it. Is that really? It's yeah. only eight bucks? I, I thought know, it was like probably. expensive to buy domain names. Buy domain names? Come on. Where oh, are you buying really? your domain why names? so high pitched? Who are you buying why your domain so names from? I mean, Look, like, bring you it need down. a domain, come to me. Bring it You need down. a domain, hey, bro. Man. Come to me hey, next man. time. Keep it cool, bro. I can get you a Jeep domain. Oh, a Jeep domain? A Jeep domain. That's I would what I'm love it if say. I could get www.jasonmanzukas at... Uh, uh, at jeep.com? At jeep. <laughs> no, dot, dot jeep. Dot jeep dot net. Remember a friend who drove a Jeep? Remember that guy? What was his name? The guy who drove a Jeep, he uh, he wanted to be the mayor of Hollywood. Chip Gardner. Oh, Chip him? Gardner. Of course I remember or Chip Gardner. A, he he's, had a Jeep drive over he his scarred our entire face. He scarred our entire lives. Oh, my gosh. Remember that? Remember, remember how we, we were driving that Jeep? <laughs> we were driving. Yes, that's remember? what I'm saying. Do you remember how it at seems, the end we revealed, we realized rather that we were driving that it Jeep? It seems like I would have said that first. Remember that Jeep we used to we drive? Used to drive <laughs> but instead I remember said, th- remember our friend. <laughs> we used to drive the Jeep? <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. was... That was, that was a real times. shocker. Those that was a real times. shocker. Those yeah. were great times. The, what I remember of them, I mostly have Blocked had my them mind all out. erased. Blocked them all out, but they yeah. were great times. Yeah, yeah, great yeah, yeah, times. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Great times. Um, got uh, drinking a uh, drinking a Diet Coke out of a Dr. Pepper glass. <laughs> you're, drinking, like, you're drinking like a homeless person. <laughs> Like a what giant, way? a giant plastic Dr. Pepper glass. They're like, oh my god! I watched it. Okay, okay. I watched this. There's something going on in Los Angeles right now with homeless people. Okay. Um, I feel it. like a, a a a a building that housed them closed down, and they're now all in the streets. That happens. I watched a man the other day in front of a coffee shop. And this is heroin. Normal activity for you? Watching men outside the coffee yep. shop? <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. Just trying to decide whether or not I want to fuck him or not. <laughs> um, okay. Um, go because through that the garbage. Oh, God. <laughs> go through the garbage can in front of this coffee shop. Pull out every half drunk coffee mm-hmm. and finish it Ugh. for I don't know maybe ten minutes. Ugh. For maybe ten minutes, he just he just crushed the last Ugh. third of coffees. Ugh. It was disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> and then at the end of it, did he? I just... jerked off. <laughs> All right, good, <laughs> yeah. good story. That's where it went. But uh, I've never seen a homeless person with a large soda before. Oh come on! I don't think I ever. That's have. like the exact kind of cup, like the homeless grab out of the trash. Let me like... describe this cup. It's basically oh, I, I mentioned it's a DC out of a DP, but uh, it's got a big DP on the lid. You know yeah. what I'm saying? A big yeah. Dr. Pepper insignia right there on the Is list. Is this show brought to you by Dr. Pepper? Like, what's <laughs> going on? Well, it's actually brought to you by Diet Coke. They want you to start drinking it out of Dr. Pepper glasses. Interesting. I'm seeing Diet Coke oh, out of God. Dr. Pepper glasses. Oh, God. Um, this is already one of the worst episodes of the year. <laughs> it may be. It may be. <laughs> so what's, let's set the scene, okay? Sure. It's, first let's of all, it's it. the afternoon. People know that. 
That much already has been heavily I mean, like, established. Let's literally say it is twelve forty nine at this point. It, it really twelve forty nine is the is is what I've got. That is not a metaphor for twelve forty nine, by the way. How could it, it be? Literally, is twelve forty nine. When how, you say twelve forty nine, you're not speaking some grandiose. I don't think I don't think numbers can be metaphors for anything. I don't oh, think really? that I. Is it possible? Uh, she's right there at twelve o'clock. Is that a metaphor? No. It, I think it kind of is because she's not literally standing on a clock at twelve. No, but the twelve, the twelve is not a metaphor for something. That you're talking about a double entendre. No, I'm not. Oh my god, I hate you so much. We, we'll get to the bottom of this by the end of the show. Don't uh, you worry. But can I, no, it, I think can numbers be a metaphor. I think both of us are wrong. Brett, and we're going to engineer Brett at this point. Can numbers be metaphors? Google that. Google, can numbers be a metaphor? Just and see what comes up. See what let's kind just of see, weird let's just crack the case. Up shit comes up on the internet when you put number and metaphor in. What do we got? Engineer Brett, you got to get on. Come on, mic. what's Here happening? Metaphor, metaphor number nine. Number nine. Is that a metaphor? What? what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> okay, now you're just talking about a Sylvia Plath poem. <laughs> Brett, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck shut up, shut man. The fuck up. What are you doing? Why did we ask you? You're ruining my show. Show ruined. <laughs> <laughs> so let me set the scene. I'm drinking uh, a soda, and <sighs> that's about all we have to I'm drinking a coffee. Point. You're drinking a coffee. I'm drinking right? a coffee with soy milk and sugar. Okay, so people kind of know because where I'll be we're honest at. with you, uh, dairy at this point in my life makes me like really gassy and farty. I don't think I've ever imagined you farting until now. Really, it's not a pleasant. Oh no, it's it is not cool for me. It's like real, like it's real wet farts. Your farts smell, bro? Bro, my farts smell not cool. <laughs> not what? cool at all. How do the ladies in your life feel about that? Uh, but I do want to hear about your dating life. Of course, of course. Of course. How do, f- the dating all, life of an, of an anonymous guest. <laughs> <laughs> Gassy guest. Um, oh, I. Um, the ladies in my life, I mean. They have to I cool usually can play it off pretty well and make a real funny joke about farting around. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what do you got? I usually blame it on them. <laughs> First, you did that. First move, <laughs> gross. I can't believe you just did that. <laughs> Second move, hey, did you just see a duck walk through here? <laughs> oh, dear. Adorable. <laughs> yeah, well. Adorable. Third move is to just scream and like drop to the ground and scream, I shit my pants. I shit my pants. I need to be changed like a baby. <laughs> and you do all three of those in succession? No, or no, no. Over the course of, back. you know, yeah, like every once in a while, you <laughs> okay. know, hope that I don't repeat. <laughs> if you do, hey. If I do, hey, you know, if you somebody know? Ch- winds up changing my dye dye, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jason Mandukas is here. And what uh, uh, what is your dating life like? You know, you have your own podcast, How Did This Get Made? People I have my own back. dating podcast, too, How Did This Get Dated? <laughs> it's just a picture of your face. <laughs> but, but, and interviews with women who've gone on dates with me who are like, and I'm just like, why did you do it? I know a little bit about your dating life, okay. but I but, but not, not not on Mike. Oh, I would love sure. to I would love to hear some stories. Let's not. Let's not. <laughs> what, people have a uh, uh, first of all, you're not on Twitter, you're not on Facebook. No, no, I'm not on any of those. You you keep it low pro. Keep it low pro. I don't like people knowing a lot of personal deets about my stuff. And that's the thing. That's why I want you to open up here on yeah, this podcast yeah, yeah. a little bit and and give us some dirt because uh, people don't be you know I mean you're a ma- people imagine you're a magical personality is what I was oh. going to say but people <laughs> um, people imagine you to be a bit of a mystery. Oh, I love that's great. Yeah, but like tell- mystery the the guy from uh, yeah from the from the dating what do you show on it? VH1, the yeah, game. The game. Um, I'm trying to think if I have any good date stories. Yeah, well, I mean, we heard last time you were on the show, we heard about a jibber jabber you got during a movie. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> That was a long, long time ago, though. A long, long I did have time a, I had ago. a terrible date. I can't remember. I, uh, I don't think we talked about this ever. I had okay. a terrible date once, and it wasn't really a, an honest date. It was like we were supposed to have a date, and then uh, it got canceled, and so she was like, hey. How does a date get canceled unless oh, one of you cancels it? What is it? it oh, sounds- she canceled it. No, no, no. Oh, okay. She canceled it. Okay. She canceled yeah, when it. When you say it got canceled, it just Sorry. sounds like schedu- there was a scheduling no, snafu. No, no, no. Situation normal all fucked up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, we had a date ca- uh, scheduled. She canceled it Bill. because something came up and said and asked and said the next night though she and a couple of friends of hers were going to be at a bar. Come and hang out. And I was like, sure. Mm-hmm. 
I like the sound of this already. So I go to this bar, and it is pretty much an unmitigated disaster front uh, to back. Oh, what happened? First, <laughs> first, they're there with a friend of theirs, uh, a girlfriend of theirs that just got cheated on by her boyfriend. No! And so there is a there is a very healthy, like, guys suck vibe. Oh. Then, in the middle of it, the girl that I'm there to talk to gets a text saying that her ex-boyfriend is at a party with another girl, Ooh. which sends her in a downward spiral of insanity. Yeah. Uh, and she excuses herself to go... I don't know, make calls about this situation oh. and disappears for a solid 20. I don't I don't wait for 20. Leaving me I with... I give her 17. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I'm out the door. <laughs> Leaving me with a, a group of friends, one of whom is some dude who makes a joke, makes a remark about something, and then I try and do a bit with him. I try and like like participate, mm. like I'm, I'm funny, you know, blah, blah, blah. And this dude doesn't, not just doesn't get the joke I'm doing, but takes personal offense to the joke yeah. I've made. So he starts going. Use the N-word? <laughs> he starts using the N-word a lot. <laughs> no, no, he just starts going, I don't get your stick, bro. Uh. Is that a joke? I don't get joke. I guess I don't get what, you, what your joke is, man. Explain it to me, man. Yeah. And I was like, oh, sorry. I was just trying to, you know, trying to make a joke or whatever, trying to, trying to do a bit. And he goes, what's a bit? What the fuck is a bit? And he's turning to everybody else going, do you guys think this fucking guy's funny? Who oh. the fuck is this guy? Who fucking brought you here, bro? And it escalated very quickly. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and I had nobody there to protect me. Um, and, and nobody there to, to because like, yeah, the only person on I knew. Behalf. What if someone stood up and said, I know Jason Manzoukas <laughs> and he is funny. How, how dare you? Anyway, uh, this went on for quite some time. The way you act on this show, time. by the way, that's how I feel. Yeah. You know what I mean? No. Nope. The way that you're constantly shutting me down and saying that I'm not funny on this show, that's how I, you make but me this feel is a like show, this guy but made this, you feel. Please understand. How do you fucking like it? Please understand, this is a show where you're supposed to host funny people because you yourself are not. You fucking <laughs> asshole. <laughs> How dare you? Why do I keep inviting you back? Isn't that why you started this show? To what? surround yourself with funny people? To buy to, association? To, yeah, lift to lift yourself, myself like, up into like, the upper uh, echelon? The waters lift all boats? By the way, Jason, yes, I have to say, you said this happened to you the other day. I've been hearing this story for two years. No, no, that happened to me a long time ago, I said. I didn't say oh, this okay. happened the, the other oh, day. Okay. It's an old story. For real. It's an old story. I've heard this eight million, and it's new to the it's listeners. It's new to the microphone. To you the know listeners. what? Like, You're a real me, piece of shit. Give me something You're a new. real piece of shit, buddy. I've been hearing this for- You're a real <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> Get some new stories, bro. Is all I've got I have new to stories. Say. I've got new stories. I'm just not. I'm not. I'm You're not telling, telling them. them on I'm not Mike. telling. I'm not Give telling them on Mike. One thing on Mike, like a, a story. It doesn't even have to be dating. Just a story of something that happened to you. Give the listeners a little glimpse into your like. What do you do all day? You know what I mean? I mean, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I told you the story about watching a guy drink all those coffees. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> but what are you doing while I mean, you're... That's, that's pretty interesting, right? Wait, well, like you get up in the morning and you just wander around? Like, what, what, what do you do? I, oh, I, this, is a, this is not a recent story, but I will say this. How, well, I, I want did... to take, take bets or take odds on whether I've heard this eight times. Oh, okay, right. I don't know that you have. Oh, okay, good. Okay. Um, have I ever told you about the time that I was making out with a woman in her house and she stopped making out with me to breastfeed her son? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it. It's new to me. This, this was pretty weird. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was out with this woman Lovely, delightful time Hanging out mm -hmm. She invites me back to her uh, apartment We are like making out She's a she, renter She's a renter She's not a, She doesn't own um, and she and, and I knew she had like a newborn child. She's like a single mom, newborn child. But that's hot to you. Uh, she just was cool. I was enjoying hanging out with her. Is I, that what your your type is though? Yeah, my type is like uh, like single single moms. The recently fucked. <laughs> yes. Because you know why? I know they're into unprotected sex. <laughs> yep. I get that. Or at least condoms breaking. I, I know they're into unprotected you. sex with people they are not married to. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyway. So we're like messing around and, and blah, 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 blah. And her shirt comes off. Boobs are amazing. Oh. And I'm like, holy cow, these boobs are fucking crazy. A plus. A, a plus boobs. And then at a certain point, her son starts crying and she goes, oh my God. Hey, she's like, I'm so sorry, but I have to deal with this. And I was like, oh yeah, of course. Of course. You have so a she son. goes, brings the son out and like this beautiful, like, like the, the woman that I was like completely sexually objectifying mm -hmm. walked out of the room. 
and walked back into the room with a baby nursing and I and it was like the opposite of uh. being sexy. I was like, this is like the most beautiful, like normal, not sexual thing at all. Yeah. Like those the boobs that I was just looking at like covetously are now like feeding a baby and, and you, that's wonderful. And you don't like that because you you when a woman is humanized you yeah, yeah, yeah. Are, I can't. are immediately turned off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, my animal brain doesn't want to destroy her anymore. Your lizard brain. Yeah. You're a real fucking piece of work. Me? Lucas, yeah. Me? Okay, now tell everybody about have sex stories with Kulop. <laughs> Never! <laughs> Tell, tell everybody how you give cool up the sex business. <laughs> I just think, you know, for me, that's a beautiful thing, and that would make me more attracted to her. And, and <laughs> you, you, and the, the re she felt comfortable enough to step out into the room with you and to show you that and to reveal I that. I thought it was beautiful. Because you were intimate. I, you're 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 framing this like in the wrong way. I thought it was beautiful and and amazing. And immediately your boner went down. My boner disappeared, and I have not attracted. had one since. <laughs> what <laughs> guys? Something's wrong. This is why all your stories are if old. Anybody knows a doctor that I, that I can talk to? It is not cool. <laughs> Well, Jason Mandzukas is here. He's been on the show many times. Scotty Ock, what's happening? Oh, my God. So much stuff, my friend. Um, and uh, too much to talk about, I yeah. think. You know, at this point, you know, we may as well move on. A lot of people have probably turned this off already. I mean, maybe, but they know that something great is coming. I, let's we, hope. We wouldn't put this out if it weren't great, right? I would assume so. Sure. So they. Well, I mean, like, well, to be fair, we do know what happens during the rest of the show. Oh, of course. This we're segment is the one we're recording last. Yeah. Yes, we so, do it uh, sequentially All the other backwards. segments have been recorded, and we know they are home runs. And we have recorded several podcast episodes that we've never put out, because there they're are, not up to our standards. There are at least five or six episodes of Comedy Bang Bang that mm -hmm. uh, we have recorded that have been put on the shelf. That they're terrible. And the, oh, they, well, you know, some are not good. Some mm -hmm. are, you know, there's a couple that are just weird. Yeah, yeah. Um, but if you're listening to this, then we think that it we've is deemed it worthy. A plus boobs. I would like to put out A plus boobs. Oh my god, <laughs> it's the name of my production company. <laughs> a plus boobs. Um, but then it sounds like A it plus like boobs asses plus boobs. A, a plus boobs equals. It sounds like an equation. You know mm -hmm. what? I hate that name. Um, Anyway, I'm I am now saying. the funny host of Comedy Bang Bang. Okay, go ahead. Let's hear what you got. Oh, getting at it right now. Oh, Comedy Bang Jesus. Bang on the dial. 92.9 coming what? at you. That's hot not hits. even accurate. Call in. 1-800-Comedy-Bong. Right, no, no, I'm taking it back. Take the take a toke. I'm taking it. See, take a toke of the Comedy Bong. Listeners, as much as you complain about me being the Ooh, host, this is what it puff, could be. Puff, puff, pass. Comedy Bing Bong. What? Come on. All right, let's switch back. <laughs> switch uh, back. Although, Jay listeners, write in if you think I was a better host of Comedy Bang Bang. <laughs> switch back. Good band. Even better thing to do in the middle of a podcast. <laughs> a terrible bit. <laughs> I feel like the last time you and I got together, um, and not, not just in a social setting. Oh, yeah. Because we've never seen each other in a social setting. I don't no. know how you act in a social setting. What do you like Oh, much when you different. go to a party? Really? Much different. Yeah, yeah. I mean, mostly uh, I am a very quiet and reserved person mm -hmm. in my social life. I do a lot of book clubs, you know, mm -hmm. like very, very I – don't, I don't go out. I don't, you know, drink. I don't party or anything like that. So these book clubs are at your house? Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, home home based book clubs. Home based book clubs. Yeah, an HBBC. Okay, and what books are you reading lately in your oh, HBBCs? Well, <clears throat> right now, I'm reading the Divergent series. Mm. I, it's all young adult. Oh, I read oh really? Only young adult. Why is that? What? Oh, I just I just feel like it gets me. Yeah, you relate to that a little more. You know, than... like like both TV and literature that is aimed at girls who are about 15, <laughs> 16 years old. That seems to be my sweet spot for where I am emotionally <laughs> as well. So, uh, what's going on on the dating front? Speaking about emotions. Oh, and bro. the emotion of love. <laughs> The emotion of love? I, I don't know. Scotty, I don't know right really? now. Really? All up I mean, in the air. It's uh, it's up for grabs right now. Really? Yep. Angels in the outfield? Ye yep. Angels in the outfield. Yep. That's what we call it right now. <laughs> got, got angels in the outfield. Yeah, just anything goes. Uh, in times, a glimpse of stocking was looked on as shocking. Yeah. Uh-huh. 
And now anything goes, right? So, oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. So just... Uh, I, I couldn't get there. What are you out there? You're out there at nights? I'm just out there mixing it up at nights in, in home-based book clubs. Asking, pe- asking people about, you know, The Fault in Our Stars and if they've read it. Yeah. What's your, what's the best YA novel of all time? Would you say? Would you say Wrinkle in Time? Got flowers in the attic. You got your flowers in the attic. You That's got your... a sexy book. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Mm-hmm. Isn't that crazy that like for people our age, that was young adult fiction was like a brother Incest. and a sister <laughs> fucking each other. <laughs> That, in detail, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you out there, if you haven't read Flowers in the Attic, there is probably five chapters about just one sexual experience that they have that oh. just that talks about every thrust and pairing. No, I want to jerk off. <laughs> okay, wait, well, hey, feel free. Well, we are both nude. Yeah, sure. Maybe episodes from now on will just be totally nude and just totally masturbatory experiences. You yeah. never know. And why wouldn't they be? Why How about you? Be? Any uh, any ladies? Any dating? What's going on? You know, I got my side pieces. Yep. <laughs> But uh, you got your side piece. I got my main squeeze, of my course. side pieces. Yeah, yep. You gumar. Mm-hmm. Um, what, by the way, has there ever been an uglier word than gumar? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, you, you know, uh, you, you know, Patrice here, my gumar. Ugh. Ugh. I would hate to be a woman and be called a gumar. I would love to be one. Yeah, but I hate to be called one. I get it. Well, like, uh, what, what, there should be a prettier word for someone that you're... Even you know. Goumer would be better. <laughs> but here's I the, don't know. Here's the reality. Why? If the thing you are called, it begins with the syllable goo, goo. you're in bad shape. But, uh, but put an M at the end of that, and goom. <laughs> Ugh. I don't know. P- call, call her something like... Uh, Falafel? Falafel? No. Falafel? <laughs> I don't think so. How dare you look at me and say falafel? What do you mean? Oh, come on, man. You know. Just cause, you know what you're thinking. How often a day do you eat falafel? Three times a day. <laughs> really? Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Oh, that's right. BLD. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You get any snacks in? You get a fourth meal going? Oh, I mean, like, I snack. You know, like, I snack on some almonds or some crackers. I felt like I, I, a real monster. I had two dinners the other day. What'd you eat? What Wajit. were they? Wajit. Wajit. I had a dinner, and then I was- Like a uh, dinner out. Yeah. Like a proper dinner. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you know what it was? I, was? I was at the airport, and I had a dinner. Okay, whoa. I have so many questions. <laughs> okay. Which airport? LAX, LAX of course, LAX. my dear okay. boy. Okay, so did you go there? <laughs> what do you think? I'm going to John Wayne? I don't know if you were traveling. You might have been traveling. Had why, a... why would I be at an airport without traveling? What? Okay, hear me out. Why are you attacking me? I'm going to interrupt every... Look, you make me angry. That's why. We talked about this last time you were on the show. Okay, this is what I want to know. Did you go to LAX to eat dinner? Why? Who does that? (laughs) So let me guess. You went to LAX. You ate some dinner. You got on a plane. You went somewhere Uh where the time was different and it was dinner time again. Yeah, I ate again. Then you ate again. Right. Okay, that's not two dinners, asshole. Yeah, it is. How long was the flight? Eaten, How long was the flight? Was six hours. Okay, so that's not another dinner. Yes, you could call it dinner, but that's basically like you had a lunch and then a dinner. No, I had a breakfast, lunch, and a dinner, and then I got on the plane and I had a dinner when I landed. Ooh, wow. What yeah. was the first dinner's contents? First, okay, I was at the airport and yeah, I had what do you eat at the I airport? Had, I, had, I do not. Eating at airports is disgusting. You think so? Yeah. I, there's some good places now. I had half a pastrami sandwich. Wait, What? <laughs> What? From where? Uh, I ca- Sammy's? I cannot recall. No, no, it was a nice place. It was. I, I went in Wolfgang there. Wolfgang Pucks? No, I went in there and it was a bar. And I'm like, oh, I'll have a drink before the before the flight. Because you're a fucking man who goes to bars at the airport and has a drink. I was there super early. Okay, wow, you get to the airport early. I am the guy who is like racing through. Are the you airport really? Why is that? Time. I'm always. I just always miscalculate how long it's going to take me to get you there. You miscalculate. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. How are you doing these calculations? God, in my mind, I'm like, oh, it's Speed, only gonna, in times, my mind, I'm like, wind, oh, it's only going to take me like 40 minutes to get to the airport, and then it takes me like an hour and 10 minutes to get to mm-hmm. the airport. Have That's you it. ever missed a flight? Yes. And I missed a flight recently because I got to the airport in time and got so cocky about how early I was <laughs> that I went and got a coffee and missed my flight. <laughs> How do you get one coffee and miss and your because flight? Because I had headphones on, I didn't hear them calling uh, my name over the loudspeaker. Oh, gosh. And then what do you do in that situation? I, I was dumbfounded because I walked up <laughs> casually to the gate with my coffee, and they were like, 
well, you must be Jason Manzoukas. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. And they were like, did they yeah. recognize you? Is that what it was no, like? no, no. But they were From like, the we've been called. <laughs> they were like, you must be television and movies. Uh, Jason Manzoukas. <laughs> they said, you have a swarthy look about you. Are you Jason Manzoukas? <laughs> <laughs> we assumed you were detained. Um, <laughs> And they, they looked at me like, what kind of fucking idiot goes and gets a cup of coffee and strolls up with the, <laughs> with the plane gone? Yeah. Uh, I did that recently. I went to the wrong gate and I was walking and onto just like the plane. And, yeah. Oh. They, and they called my my number, you know, the yep. number, my group number. I started strolling onto the plane. They're like, uh, you're the wrong gate, dude. <laughs> and, That's great. And you had missed your flight? Uh, and then I had to turn around and run to the other gate. I was on a plane recently and someone got onto the plane and they made the, they, everybody got onto the plane rather, and they made the announcement like, <clears throat> This plane is going to New York. If you're not going to New York, get off now. Like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> and somebody was like, oh, no. <laughs> and stood up and had gotten all the way onto the plane. How do you do that? And I don't know where they were meant to be going. But I was like, that that is alarming to me. Yeah, th- that, that can happen. That, that that person had to, like, show their boarding pass yeah. and, and zap it in the zapper. And they must have, zap. like. Yeah. Huh. Zap. Zap That's- straight to it. Zap, zap straight. Yeah, that's true. I I had an even worse experience. I got on a plane recently, and there were a bunch of snakes on it. It's Did, terrible. Huh? Yeah. Were you able to um, get the? Some guy was there and took care of it. Okay, great. Oh, that's <laughs> he lucky. was shouting about mfing snakes on this mfing plane. It was terrible. Cool. This shows PG now, right? <laughs> yeah, of course. Well, no, I'm in my life. I'm PG. Okay. The show gets a little PG thirteen sometimes. Uh, with PG eighties PG thirteen, where we get to see tits. Yeah, like, irreconcilable Do you differences. Eighties PG movies. Oh yeah, Red Dawn. First where you would, one. Where you would see tits, and then you would hear like all these curse words plus Bad News Bears, the N word, yep. several times. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I long for I'm those pitching, days. I'm currently taking out a pitch that's called This Movie is PG-13, comma, N-word. <laughs> <laughs> and it is not selling. <laughs> you don't say. Yep. It is not selling. Are you putting on clothes for these pitches? <laughs> no. Okay. Well, well no, here's the thing. I am putting on a bandana around my dick. <laughs> Because I'm pitching it with him, and he's called the Cock Bandit. How many bandanas could you fit around your dick if oh. you really tried? How ma- Wait, what do you mean? Meaning, okay, you got one bandana sort of servicing as a cock ring. How oh. many How many then could you then put on? Uh, About three. Are you a three bandana? -er? I, I guess. What's the width of the bandana? What are you asking? I don't, am I rolling the bandana up? Yeah, you're rolling it up? it up, yeah. Oh, I thought it was like like a triangle. Like No, you know. no, you're not like a gun robber. Okay, okay. Gun robber. <laughs> That's what I was picturing in my head. <laughs> a bank robber. I'm not a gun robber, an old-timey <laughs> West gun robber. You're not... Uh... Okay, give me all your guns. <laughs> <laughs> You're not the legend of Jesse Jane, as told to by... The legend of Jesse Jane? What, what am I saying? Jesse James? <laughs> The lesson of the lesson, the lesson of, the lesson of Jesse Jane, the, the as told to <laughs> by the coward Brian, Henry Ford. Bryant Burp. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think the legend of Jesse Jane is a porn. Oh no, a total bro down ho down over here. It is. I promise you, just you and me, Scott Ackerman, uh, your trusty, trusty host here, Jason Manzuk is your co-host, official co-host of Comedy no! Bang Bang. No. Officially Never. the co-host. Never. <laughs> Being groomed to take over the show, Jason Manzook is right in if you want it. This is a serious question I have. Oh, I would love to answer Were it. I to perish, and I, I think that Which if I- Which you will. I will. Well, sure. Certainly, we all will. We're on the, all you, on that- But you for sure will. Yeah, well- Not that I, mean, I know anything, but- We're on that race to death, and we all hope we well, come in last. Absolutely. But- um. I, were I to perish, and I hope that when I die, people will say he perished, not that he died. Mm-hmm. You know, because perish sort of implies like, there was some sort of drama. Well, to you it. are a perishable. <laughs> you are, are a human perishable. Leave me out in the sun long enough, and I spoil. Oh yes, <laughs> you just like rancid meat. <laughs> um, but were I to perish, Jason, um, I, I don't know that, that I would put it in my will. I would imagine there would be some sort of fight to take over this time slot. This, this is the, oh, the, like the Tonight Show. <laughs> yeah, yep. exactly. Okay. W- would you do it? Would you be one of the people who would want the gig? If I, ha- it depends. How do I? How hard do I have to fight for it? Okay, this is great. I, I feel like I am owed it, frankly. I feel like it should just be given to me. It should be bequeathed to me. As, I feel like we so? should all we should all be called into a lawyer's office. Mm-hmm. 
at which point your will will be unsealed and it will be read aloud. Okay. And the room will be full of podcasts greats. You don't really see a lot of that <laughs> anymore. The whole reading a will aloud in a lawyer's office. I agree, I, which is why this you know? will be filmed. I think you should stipulate that it be, oh, please, let's do this. You would see that a lot in... <laughs> Just it, make a will. Have with it, all the podcast then, greats, have it be you and Marin and Hardwick, yep, all yep. just jockeying. Just like, we want it. We're all hungry for it. Who's this? The Ace Man. The Ace Man. <laughs> the Ace Man's here. <laughs> oh, boy. That would be fun. Hey, yep. wel- welcome to the show, Jay. Yep. Yeah, it's cereal. It's uh, it's it's everybody from Ira all Glass of them. Ira Glass is there. They all want there. comedy bang Corolla bang. is there. Joe Rogan is there. <laughs> oh, Oh boy, I love it. Oh, they're all on the edge of their seats. <laughs> and inexplicably Terry Gross. <laughs> Since I'm taking over Bang Bang the podcast, sure. will I take over Bang Bang the TV show? I honestly think should and you perish. This is when you perish. This is serious. I think Thank you for letting me know this is serious. I and this is absolutely this is with complete candor. Oh, thank God. <laughs> um, I well, in the divergent series you would be candor. I, yeah, you would okay. Be, okay. Uh, I think that that Comedy Bang Bang the TV show, I actually think that someone should take over that. I oh, think, you do? Yeah, the format is so good yep. and so unique. You should have a season. I would like this. You should mm-hmm. have a season where you are Tonight Show style, like choosing, choosing who your successor is. Mm-hmm. And is it going to go to Letterman or Leno kind of thing where you are, mm-hmm. you know, who will, who will get who the will show? Who will take it over? I think I'm kidnapped and someone has to step in and they just get it. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'll do it. Yeah. Great. I, I mean, think it would be fun, wouldn't it? Like I think 100% it would be fun. Like just get it some new blood in there. Yes. You know what I mean? I have I I believe I I believe I've pitched you. I would like there to be an episode where I am like a Gary Shandling style guest host sure. because for some reason you haven't shown up. Right. You know. <laughs> and if you want to make it that you've been kidnapped, that is fine. We're and definitely if, thinking about that. We're the reveal is that I that. am behind your kidnapping. Oh, I like it so because you I, look Arab. Hang on, man. <laughs> Would you say you hey mean? nong man? I said hang on man. <laughs> hey hang nong on. man. Hey nong man. <laughs> <laughs> New t-shirt. Hey, hey nong man. Hey nong man. <laughs> you know, it's a classic hey nong man. <laughs> this is H-A-Y-N-O-N-G. This is a total hey nong man situation. Hey nong man. Oh, Jason, Jason, Jason. Oh, Scotty, Scotty. Um, what's been going on in your life? I know you uh, moved to an undisclosed location. I've moved and... to an undisclosed location, which is lovely. Um, I bought an undisclosed location. I have mm-hmm. just moved into it. Mm-hmm. Very exciting. Does this place have a shitter? No. Mm. No. I bought a house that specifically just has a, it has an outhouse. Okay. Well, yep. that's good. Yeah, you don't want that kind of smell in the house. I don't, you know, and I don't want guests pooping up in my house you know so that's uh, one way to keep them out so i have a i have a cool i have a porta potty out in the back <laughs> and it's and, it, uh, and it's classy oh you know? but it's a classy i put one. a chandelier in the porta potty oh yeah you have those raised sinks yep <laughs> what are those called i don't know uh, i had one once really remember when those were in vogue i had one in one bathroom no i don't know what you mean you know the sinks that aren't uh, uh i know what you mean now yeah, yes okay. now, now that you've done a hand motion that tells me what you mean <laughs> yes i get it so now that you know no, these sinks, don't make a jerk off motion <laughs> keep it classy man this is a fucking family show um people want to know who about uh, the fans the fans oh, are the interested fans. you haven't been on the show in quite a while it seems like it's it's been uh just about a year maybe or, i think maybe um um, but people want to know what you're up to. I mean, I'm, certainly you have your own podcast, but... Uh, I do. I have the know. How Did This Get Made podcast on the Earwolf Network. Certainly, Find it on certainly. iTunes. And you guys have not been in the same room together, nor will you ever be again. We just did. We just did two episodes live in New York mm-hmm. all together, mm-hmm. and they were glorious. Mm-hmm. Really exciting. Okay. Hercules in New York, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger, mm-hmm. which is in his first film role, which is legit oh. terrible. Wait, so the, the Rock was in Hercules, too? He was. He was just recently in her. Interesting. Yep. So they both tried it out and it did not. Lou Ferrigno as well. Really? Very famous. What is it about these muscle men where they go, you know what? I'm looking in the mirror and I think that I could play Hercules. I think that I think everybody looks at a muscle man as like, <laughs> what strong man can this person play? <laughs> what? Well, you know, in a way it's better than, you know, like what role realistically would people buy this person as? You know, yes. like more realistic, uh, realistically, it's like every time Arnold Schwarzenegger is in a movie, you expect one person to go, hey, man, what's up with your accent? Yes. 
Yeah, how am I supposed to believe? I mean, in this movie, he's meant to be a Greek god. Yeah. And has like... But in something like Kindergarten Cop or whatever, it's like, hey man, how often do you work out? Are you like five hours a day? How yes. do you even hold a job? I, I agree. Or how about Twins, where he is a straight up scientist. <laughs> where he's a scientist yeah. who has an Austrian accent and is built like a bodybuilder. Right. It's bananas. Not <laughs> Twins, Junior. Sorry, Junior is Junior, what I mean. Junior, Junior, Junior. Not Junior. Twins. That's twins. the one where he... Uh, gets pregnant with a baby. How does he and do it? And cross dresses as a woman in order to cover it. <laughs> does he stick his penis into his butt? Like, how does yep. it happen? He oh, sticks okay. his penis in his butt because he's ovulating from his butt. <laughs> Because he has a butt gina? Is this what you wanted? Is this is this is this what you were wanting? This is what I wanted. <laughs> this is what you want out of a J man. Yeah. Do people call you the J man? People call me J man or J dog all the time. Yeah, yeah. And by people I mean you and I hate it. <laughs> I will never stop. Never stop. What is happening with uh you know, people are very concerned about your dating life. They want to are know they? that you're I don't happy. Think they, are. they they hear about you flipping through vaginas Just earlier in your through career. Like a, like a paperback book. <laughs> <laughs> like, like a Patricia Highsmith novel. What like, is it about paperback books that you just like flip through? You don't flip even read through. them. Brrr, yeah. Like a, like a, like like it's a money a counting book. machine. Yeah, like a, yes, exactly. Like a that, money, like, like a to, money counting machine in a drug dealer's den. You've been flipping through vaginas like a money counting brrr, machine. That's a hundred thousand dollars. Oh, I like that image of you. But yep. uh, are you happy in your life? Are you? I, I'm. Uh, I'm happy in my life. I am. Uh, I am single still. Mm -hmm. If Great. that's what you're asking. Well, that, the, that's what the ladies want to know. The ladies are very. What do interested ladies in this. listen to podcasts? I don't the know. The ladies listen I've to this, figured Scott? That out. Of course, are they there do. any women who tune yes. into the comedy? We bang, have bang wonderful, podcast? wonderful. I, I like to think this podcast in particular is all inclusive. I like to think it's for everybody. It is. I know that. Um, I feel like there are plenty of wonderful women tuning into this. And ladies, hello. <laughs> is, Welcome. Is to that the, the way you talk to ladies? This is what this, I, this this is, is, I'm sensing this the is problem. How I talk now. to ladies. Hey there, ladies. <laughs> hello, you listen to podcasts? <laughs> if there were to be a female listener out there, yep. uh, and we're only saying that because that is your preference. Yes. But uh, if there was a female uh, uh, listener out there who was, uh, her preference was males, and her preference actually was males who were a lot like you. Sure. Who was into you okay. and were to reach out to you somehow. Nope. Via, no, there's no way to reach out to you. There either. isn't really, nope. How do you date then? <laughs> How do I date then? Yeah. <laughs> Without any kind of uh, social media presence so, yeah. that, so that people I mean, can uh, back, contact me out of the blue back when to I let was me know dating, that they want to date me? Back when I was dating, it was pre-social media. Sure. And I got by just... Just by walking around being handsome and people coming up to me. And now, going, did you hey, say I handsome you. or handsy? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Nong man. Hey, Nong man. <laughs> <laughs> I like that we are both writing the word hang nong man down <laughs> so, so that we don't it. so we don't forget it. I had fear in my eyes and I forgot it and I pulled it out at the last second. I'm impressed. Hey, and man. you used it correctly as well. Um but how do you do it? How does how does a J dog how do you how do you meet a woman? Do you uh, see her eyes from across a crowded room and yeah, you Yeah, I just go to crowded rooms. <laughs> That's and how I you look do it. across them and I see if <laughs> like anybody fish catches, in a barrel. Yeah, and I then when I when I make eyes when I lock eyes with somebody ooh, across ooh. the room Room. Uh, I walk across the room and I say, hey, Nong Man. Uh, <laughs> and then it's on. And then we're just and it's like. it's on like Nong Man. It's on, it's on like Donkey Nong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, do you want paper? What do you want? Um, hey, you want paper? What do you hey, want? You want paper? Hey, <laughs> Who's baby? this guy? Hey, baby. Who's this guy? Is this the paper seller character hey, that you've been working on? Paper? Oh, yeah. Is the office still on? <laughs> I'm trying to get a job on the office okay, you're selling paper. Severely disappointed. Really? Oh, yeah. No. Oh, wait. Do you mean an American workplace? <laughs> yeah. Also off. Oh, bananas. <laughs> Well, is this your banana selling character? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> um, but you're, uh, you're, you're, you know what? You're at. I would say that you're, you're at the height of your powers. At you're the height of my powers. But it, let's be honest. It's not cute anymore to be single. I think at the at my age. Right. I think yeah. it's not a cute thing to be a forty two year old man who's single. But do you want? Probably not cute to talk about it on a podcast either. <laughs> 
Well, is that a fear for women who date you that you're going to be talking about them on these podcasts? Well, that's all I do, bro. All I do is slay tang and then get on the casts <laughs> to talk about it. Slay tang? Oh, bro, slay tang. <laughs> um, oh, are you kidding? Yeah, that's like, hey, you know that? man, slay tang? You know my new Earwolf podcast. What's that? Talking tang. <laughs> Talking tang. Talking tang. Yeah. Although that's, now uh, I'm just doing Lycus. <laughs> now I'm just doing Atomian's Lycus. That is uh, one of the only podcasts with two apostrophes. Uh, yep. Talking Talk and, and tang. tang. Yeah. Talking and it's a fir- and it's an end. And it's, and yeah, it's, a, it's an it, end and then a start right next to each other. Perfect. That's, those are like two boobs. By the way, right next to each other. So that's the image. Can will fans <laughs> please make an image for talking tang the podcast? And it's just the, two apostrophes. The apostrophes are boobs. Yeah, so it's a closed one and an open one, and they're just boobs. Uh, I would like that. Please, everybody, let's talk make and that, and then maybe I'll make that podcast. <laughs> yeah, I right actually, after, I actually am very interested in that. Yeah, right after I make the other one that I think I, I came up with in a, how did this get made, which is the the Chardonnay podcast. Oh, where is that? We all just drink Chardonnay and talk. Oh, that sounds like a dream. It's yeah, it's like a ladies' book club. Oh man, I would love that. What uh, uh, the Shardcast? I think I called it Shardcast. That sounds disgusting, yep. actually. But you want to be you want to be married, even though you want to be with, married with the singularity coming. What is identity anyway, and why should we be tethered uh, oh, to not only these bodies but with other bodies? Oh well, are we going to get into ex machina? What are <laughs> sure, we? How certainly. are we? How are we coming at this? <laughs> oh, with the with the singularity. Shame <laughs> on you. Um, no, of course I want to be in a in a relationship. I'm sure. uh, you know again I'm middle aged at this point. This is getting to be ridiculous. you hope you hope I, I mean, hope yeah you may you may have been middle aged at twenty three. We for all we you know. simply don't know which would know. only give me a few more years on earth. Yeah, twenty three could have been your hump year. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> when you think about what uh, here's when you think about it, at yep. what year did you have sex the most? And that is probably your your hump year. And then you can calculate you when you're going to die. No. Yeah. So why the, do you think that? Think of the year that you had the most sex, where you were just talking tang and just slay tang. Oh yeah, just talking tang. You're just slay tang all year, and then double that, and that's the year you're going to die because that was your hump year. Hmm. This is a good theory. It's a great theory, by the way. <laughs> and is it that you think, you, does your body know? Your body knows, does so your you're body getting it know? out of the your way. Your body is like, no, you're going to die yeah. at this point, so I'm going to give you, at the middle of the, your life, I'm going to give yeah. you the most sex. So I'm going to guess somewhere in my 30s. I'm going I'm, I'm going to guess that I'm going to live to be in my, then in, in, if, if your theory is true, mm-hmm. somewhere in late 60s, I bet. I'm late 50s at best. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, boy. Poor Kulap. Poor Kulap. <laughs> well, you know, the widow Kulap. <laughs> Look, when you're listening back to this after I've died, there's a lot of references to me dying. Oh yeah, you know if you're listening well, back this, to this after I'm gone, this is this is morbid. This is good, but in this all is what likelihood, we want. this podcast will serve as your living will. <laughs> Speaking of which, do you have a do not resuscitate? Do you want to a be, DNR? Yeah, if you are felled by some uh, accident that does not leave you dead but leaves you incapacitated, I think people should use their own common in a sense vegetative on that, state. Yeah, where it's like you know, and what? not even like my own farts in your face wake you up from this coma. What happens? <laughs> Wait, is that what's happening? Well, how else am I supposed to Is wake that, you Are up? you traveling around to your best friend's Listen, hospital beds and farting in their it, faces? It behooves me to try <laughs> anything possible to wake you up. You are Extraordinary one of, measures. One of my absolute best friends. Oh, and well, if, I if don't, my own farts don't I wake you up. I would rather not be one of your best friends. Out of nostalgia, if nothing else. <laughs> then I don't nostalgia know. Nostalgia for that night at Rob Hubel's bachelor party? <laughs> <laughs> when we slept in the same room? Uh, on, uh, on, on, on mats. On the hardest on mats, mats possible. On the floor like we were like, like we were 23. fucking dumb. Dogs. Like we are too old, to, like we like we were kids. I li- I stayed there one night and I was oh, supposed to stay a second. I, and I was two. like, I I can't do it. A I stayed night. two and the mats on the floor. I I it took they me days like to recover. Took it, me days to recover. They were terrible. Yep. I did. I didn't recover the next day. That's why I took off. But we we cuddled. We did. We and Aziz was in the same room. That Correct. what a, what a powerhouse it's room. Just a real name drop of uh, of people <laughs> sleeping on floors. <laughs> of, Adult men sleeping on floors. <laughs> oh, boy. But, uh, and, you know, so far that marriage is going well. So oh, yeah. So all the power to him. Absolutely. <laughs> Congratulations. Do you, do you, wh- what do you dream of your wedding having? When, ever since you were a little boy, did you assume you would have, like, a white tuxedo with tails and a top <laughs> well, hat? I feel like it starts with everybody skiing down a mountain. <laughs> Great. All in, you know, in uh, a bride and dress, me and all my gr- everybody skiing down a mountain. Do people need to know how to ski, or they're just, like, pushed uh, yeah, into it? Yeah, I oh, would okay. hope so. So, yeah. so some lessons have So to lessons occur. might have to happen, or just everybody in the wedding party will just be just shredding. Just naturally. Will no. just be natural okay. shredders. Yeah. 
<laughs> Natural born shredders. Natural born shredders. Yep. <laughs> Who like to slay tang? Absolutely. Uh, and then I will. I will record. We will get to the bottom. We'll say our vows. I will record an episode of slaying uh, talking tang <laughs> because you know this is the last. This is the last. This is the tang. last one. Yep. Really? This the is the last episode of talking oh, tang. Oh, series finale. Series finale because I'm getting married, so I'm not going to be talking tang anymore. What if you did though? You could still talk tang. I guess I could talk tang, but just it's all my wife's tang. <laughs> yeah. It's just like oh well. I would depending on who you marry. I would listen to that even more. Oh, well, that's interesting. Here's the thing. I'm marrying the Widow Kulop. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> son of a bitch. All right, I'll listen. Because here's the thing. If you haven't noticed, I have to take over everything once you die. <laughs> really? So it's this like, is a full life swap? It's like in the it's like in the past when uh, somebody would die and their brother would have to marry their wife yeah. and take over their responsibilities. I mean, I, I've heard of a wife swap. I had a friend once who did a wife swap. That really? Tur- that turned into a life swap. Sort oh. Of. Yeah, he swapped. He, uh, that's actually, he was a, he was a mathematician in Boston, I believe. Oh. And he became a janitor uh, because he swapped wives with uh, a janitor and he had to take yep. over that person's life. Uh, this was, is good, Goodwill hunting style? <laughs> yeah, it was sort of Goodwill. This it was is like a, a reverse. Stellan Skarsgård, Matt Damon sort swaparoo. Of, yeah. Stellar Stellan, skateboard? Skate, yeah, Stellar skateboard. I understand. Yeah, you understand how it is. But it anyway, did. it's not worth bringing him up. But uh, It's not. It's, it certainly <laughs> wasn't worth derailing the show for no, that. No, but I, 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 I'm, I'm happy to have another opportunity to put out into the world the stellar skateboard situation. <laughs> Certainly. So you would take over everything. You would what? My car? My no, uh, no, my shoes? Drive. No, we get no. But I will take all of your comic books. Okay, happily. Uh, hey, you You've know what? A, Actually, a, a room full of comic books that I love. Do you uh, do you want those when I die? Yes. I think I can think of no one else who wants them. I can think of a couple of people, but I would yeah, like them. All right. T- they're yours. Done. This is binding unless uh, I change my will and you go into that big room where the lawyer surprises uh, you uh, with something where my heirs have changed the son will. Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, God. That would make me furious. <laughs> and like Neil Campbell winds up with all of the all of the comic books. Oh, boy. No, done. You got him. You've been, you've been down in that room. Great. I have. So I get the comic books. I get Bang Bang the podcast, Bang Bang the TV show, and Kula. <laughs> Right? This is not so. What do I get? Sounds out of this like deal? I get all of them. You do get, I get anything in life? You get buried, dude. You get in the <laughs> ground. That's what's happening. But it's do seems, you want to be cremated? Do you want to be buried? What's gonna What's gonna happen? I when think you die? cremated. I think I think it's it's a weird waste of space to have graveyards everywhere. I agree. Here's the only because I, like, I put feel some the condos same. up, baby. I feel the same. But here is the only thing that I do that I that I can appreciate in a way uh-huh. is shouldn't we rot? And give life to the earth. Shouldn't we decay and decompose and fertilizer. provide fertilizer for they the ma- earth? They, ma- they make fertilizer. You can so, go buy it. Because I also want to be uh, cremated. But then I was like, oh, maybe I should just be buried in a shallow grave somewhere. <laughs> Why shallow? So I don't know. So I can rot and like people will smell in it full and be like, view? what's that? Yeah, a shallow grave, just like just so my nose and beard are, are above are above the wall. The serving is your tombstone. Yep. <laughs> I want to be frozen in carbonite, Han Solo style, <laughs> with your hands out. Yep, like, my don't hands freeze out. me. Don't freeze me, bro. <laughs> hey, Nong man, don't freeze me. <laughs> 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 I'm really enjoying Hey Nong Man. Hey Nong Man is pretty fantastic. I really like, like we it. are barely minutes into this and have come up with Hey Nong Man and Talking Tang. And Slay Tang. Oh, and Slay Tang. Oh, God, I love it. Well, Jay, uh, we have, oh, Scotty. We have to take a, br- a, God damn it. a break. I'm God so damn sorry. It. Uh, I'm really uh, enjoying this. No, people but, need to uh, know about bonobos or something. <laughs> <laughs> people know, need to know about Blue Apron. We have some exciting Stamps. new sponsors. Stamps.com. We do? What yeah, are we talking? Yeah, yeah, I got, Well, it seems like there's a lot of alarm systems that are now advertising <laughs> on podcasts. Well, here's the thing. People have finally realized that a lot of podcast listeners are have being shit. robbed. Yeah, and being constantly <laughs> robbed by the people who host podcasts. Oh, yes. That's well, another that's side thing. business you're going to have to that's take over. That's the thing. Our statistics tell us when you're listening to the podcast, <laughs> yes, which so we can we assume know. is when you're out of your house. Exactly. Oh, the perfect crime. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, all right, we're going to take a break. Uh, enjoy listening uh, to these alarm system breaks. And, and uh, Doritos. And Doritos. Oh, I would love that. Get some of that Doritos money in here. Get some of that fucking Dorito fucking dollars. That, those I would nacho like to Libre just dollars. paid in Dorito taco shells from Taco oh, Bell. Have you had one yet? No. Neither have I. I respect my body. <laughs> I respect your body, too. Oh. Do you hold it against me? I don't know what I'm talking, saying. I'm talking dong on my new show. <laughs> oh. There's like two episodes a year that are just talking That, dong. unfortunately, doesn't have... 
another apostrophe, so it just has the one that looks like yep. a droopy dong. Yep, droopy, oh, droopy dong. <laughs> droopy dong. That's All right. my favorite cartoon character. <laughs> Hello, Joe. <laughs> oh, droopy brother. dong. Uh-oh, I can't uh, get hard. <laughs> oh, no. Droopy dong. All right, we should have taken a break long ago. We'll be right back with more Comedy Bang Bang. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we are back here with J-Dog. Jason Manzuka is your co-host. No. Future no, host. Oh, no, no, no. Comedy Bang Bang, protege. The widow Howlap suitor. <laughs> I'm not, it's not, I'm not even, I don't have to be a suitor. I, I am just. You're, you're just, it's fait accompli. I am just waiting in the wings oh. for your Timely death. Oh, what? You hope it's timely? <laughs> not even untimely death. Your timely well, death. Well, that's at least nice that you're not wishing for uh, at, something to happen to me prematurely. At which point, I believe the Earwolf staff will knock on my door. What do you think a time... I will be spirited away as if the Secret Service is taking me to an undisclosed location. Like Miyazaki would. Like Miyazaki, yep, yep. <laughs> like a tiny little girl that goes into an alternate reality. What Hi-oh! Do you, what, what do you think? Miyazaki. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you think a, a timely death is? Do you think a timely is just natural cause? Is an untimely death always like a car crash or an accident? I, hmm. Is it is well, is t- any, yeah, any sickness timely, of the body is that timely? Well, I think it would depend or is there on an your age. age. Cut off? I think it would depend on your age. Untimely would, to me, insinuate like that um, it was not a not a uh, you were too young to die so anything pre-18 is untimely probably I think anything yeah I mean like I would think even anything pre-50 is untimely I don't know once you're pre- 18 you can go sign up for the military I think you so know. then you deserve a timely death yeah well you know you're taking your chances when you're in there that's true I shout guess. out to all the people of different stars and stripes out there <laughs> oh, who are boy. serving in the US military armed forces uh, everyone abroad here at home um, we appreciate your service and thank you for listening and passing the time with us here um i don't know i think i think i would love it if we got um uh some some tweets or some some thoughts from service members tweets (laughs) you're just basically pawning this all off on me uh, or pawning it what is it hashtag uh, at scott ackerman (laughs) you don't even know the bare minimum of how (laughs) twitter works you know, you know what I mean. Just oh, hashtag at Scott Ackerman. I know you're you a lurker. Sur- I know you're a lurker, a lurker out there all lurker. the time. Um, uh, yes, go ahead. I think I think if you get if you get a disease, even if you're 18 or over, all bets are off. I think that's a timely death. You, really? Your body, Once your body you, crapped out. What 18 for you is the cutoff? That's the, the age cutoff. of sexual consent, or I guess like okay. 16 it'll, no, I would places. say it would be the age of sexual consent, depending on the state. Okay. What so about the country? And, and the country. Okay, yes. now that's really weird. That's putting some really <laughs> hey, weird if specifics there's, into play. If there's grass on the field Ew. or not. Yeah, or not. <laughs> depending on the country. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's fair ball. Fair so ball. You're, ba- you're basically saying fair, fair ball. Fair ball. <laughs> the crack of the bat. <laughs> fair ball. Foul play. Also <laughs> that, works. <laughs> it's not what bad. A great if there's Chevy ever Chase a murder, movie. If there's ever a murder on a baseball field, yep. I want the umpire to go over there and go, foul play. <laughs> What an opportunity. And it has to be a murder, though. Could be like a murder on the Orient Express situation oh, where, like, all nine all the of the teams, players. All, yeah. the, all the players, yeah. Spoiler. We should write that. We should write we that. Foul play. Foul play a baseball game. Foul play, colon, a baseball game. Foul play a baseball game. And then people show up expecting a baseball game. Yep. And we go, sorry, it's a movie. And sure. we're there personally to yep. apologize. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Why aren't more uh, bands named after parts of a baseball stadium? We have the outfield. Oh, there's bleachers. What's next? There's bleachers. There's bleachers. Yeah. yeah. What's next? What about home plate? Come on, guys. Get it together. What about third base? <laughs> third base is a band. Is it really? Yes. It's cool. the rap group. Uh, oh. MC Search. And oh, the it other is. Guy. You're right. I was spelling it the other way, so I, oh, I didn't yep, really. Yep. B-A-S-S. Third, yep. so I didn't third really, base works. Yeah. Uh, um, okay, so we got third base, the outfield, and bleachers. I mean, well, that's, there's, that's there's not jumbotron. That's not insignificant, by the <laughs> yeah, way. That's not when you, <laughs> you think know? about it. That is three <laughs> th- three bands we can come up with named after <laughs> elements of the sport <laughs> that's baseball. True. That's true. Like, let's try and do it for football. What about selling peanuts and hot dogs? You know what I mean? I mean, uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Um, you know, and there's also there's a, there's a band called Mets M E T Z. That's uh, baseball related. That's baseball adjacent. Yeah, but you. 
know, and the outfield claimed a big chunk of this baseball field, by the way. Like, yes. they didn't even divvy it up. There is no infield. <laughs> you know? Yeah. There's no band called the infield. There's no the infield, yeah. Pitcher's mound. But they could have divvied up and said, you know, we're not going to be greedy. We'll take, you know, left field. Shortstop? <laughs> Shortstop. Shortstop would be a pretty good name for a band. First baseman. No, that's not great. <laughs> Base coach. Base coach. Not bad. Yeah. Uh, how about second? Stealing second. Second, second base umpire. How about stealing second? <laughs> Stealing. So anything that occurs on a field as well? Uh, I don't know. I, what are, there, are there rules? What about fans? Are there rules fans, to what we're doing right fans now? Fans streaking. Oh, you've, you Beach did ball this. on the field. You all made this happen. <laughs> you all, all By of you By liking listeners. this and listening to it, you have allowed for this to happen uh, to you. Well, it's a wonderful achievement on my part. It really is. <laughs> it really is. It is. And actually, it's an, it's an amazing achievement in the face of... Doing nothing but trying to thwart the success of this through terrible comedy. <laughs> Wait, are you talking That's about you. me or you? That's you. Because <laughs> it could be either of us at this point. <laughs> um, I'm not taking offense until you say a name. Scott. Oh, you, <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> Give me that pill. Give me that. I want that pill. <laughs> Give me that pill. It's good now. Um, oh, we do need to get our Hainong mans in. Hainong man to you, of course, Hainong sir. man to you. Did you ever go to the old radio station? Yes. You did, yeah. The first one I did with uh, Bob Duca and Natasha Leggero. Natasha Leggero. Natasha Leggero. Oh. God, Lord. Um, uh, and no, that was the first episode I did. I don't remember what number it is, but, and sure, that was at the, that was at Indy 103. Three, right? one, yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Right underneath Indy 103.2 and two floors beneath Indy 103.3. <laughs> That was our old joke from back then. Mm-hmm. You can't look at me like that. I'm referencing one. something. It was a great one. It was a great one then, and I'm so glad it's back. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, J- uh, uh, Jason Manzukas is here. Hello. Welcome Hello. from The Bachelor. What is that movie you did with Sasha Baron Cohen? The Bachelor. <laughs> the Bachelor. <laughs> the Bachelor. What if you guys did The Bachelor? Me yeah. and Sasha, that would be a pretty, that would be very funny. If we, wait, if we went on to the Bachelor TV show, you mean, or we did a movie called The Bachelor that was somehow like anything, a, anything a under the sun, as Shakespeare once said. <sighs> um, Billy yeah. S. <laughs> Bill S. Spear. My um, name is Bill S. <laughs> Friends, William, of, William, friends of Bill William S. Shakespeare in an alcoholic. We are friends of Bill S. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know what people showing up to an alcoholics alcoholics. alcoholics? <laughs> this is this is like a legit disaster. I'm Things sorry. Are going anyone, poorly for both of us. Anyone who tuned in for this expecting gold. <laughs> you uh, you started this before the mics went on saying I don't know I'm coming down with something. <laughs> yeah, get your Purell ready. Uh, by the way, look at it. It's right yeah, here. Yeah, it's at the ready. That's that's uh, pointing right at you like a divining rod. What are you snapping over there? Sorry, it's the little tab that's on the mic stand. <laughs> you snapping a tab? over there you taking some mm-hmm. e i'm snapping that tab bro you know what we both have shared recently mm-hmm. um is we both saw the play hamilton that's right i i have not gotten your recapsulation fantastic oh very good i thought it was amazing i truly was like uh, i have uh, unlike you mm-hmm. i have a severe what, what are you gonna say? <laughs> dislike for musicals oh okay I really do i did not, not know that. care for musical theater really okay at all. let's go through the list never have oklahoma zero south pacific not interested little shop of horrors no thank you seymour mary poppins <laughs> nope wait but you know it little shop of horrors because oh, you seen, said seymour i've seen either the movies or so when you watch them are you sitting there going no this is no yeah I'm sitting there being like, oh, I got to be part of the cultural conversation. Like, yeah, I remember when like the producers happened on Broadway mm-hmm. went and saw the producers and I was like, I don't care for this at all. <laughs> this would be a much more satisfying experience if they did not say if they did not say what. And what is it about music that you dislike in general? I love music. That's the thing. Right, is, how I weird. Love musical, but musicals. I do not like at all. Do you not like the I, style of music in most musicals? The whole that's a huge part of it. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. What are you screaming? Are you screaming? I'm doing this part. That is not a part. That, huh? that is not a part of that I song. That's pretty interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yes. I'm playing, I'm doing the part of the woman who's murdered during a doo-wop song. <laughs> Foul play! <laughs> um, 
Yeah, I don't. Yeah, you're right. I don't like the over. Like when Howard Stern on his show makes fun of Broadway shows by by showing that he can sing a perfectly good Broadway show off the top of his head by just doing the mannerisms and the the speech cadence of it. Uh That's how I feel. It does not feel like the music is really adding much to this. Right, right, right. Um, so yeah, I don't I don't care for I musicals. like a little ditty. I like a little ditty. Oh, I know you do. You I know? know you love it. I love a piano. I love a piano. Gershwin, my baby my my baby. <laughs> Gershwin, my, <laughs> my baby? baby. Gershwin. Am I my your baby? baby? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think you became my baby all of a sudden. Ooh. Gershwin, my baby. Oh, I love that. I Gershwin. love when you teach me stuff, Daddy. <laughs> um <laughs> Gershwin, my baby. Oh, uh, it's good now. Gersh- is Gersh- no, Gershwin, my baby is not a. Not, <laughs> That's not, not a t-shirt. t-shirt. <laughs> no, but it's good now. It's good. It's good now. Yeah. You, you don't know about it. It's good I do now. now. I oh, do okay. know about yeah. it. I, I listen to it. It's good now. It's, it's good. good now. Uh, I do think a legitimate t-shirt is. I want that pill. <laughs> I want to give me that pill. Give me that pill. <laughs> give me that pill. <laughs> um, um, but anyway. you loved Hamilton. Loved. Did you first act? First act. I was like, yeah, this is good. This is good. I'm enjoying mm. this. I'm not like. Mm-hmm. Ah, I'm not like losing my mind. But but, that would be weird if you were, because yeah. suddenly you would be disconnected from all reality. <laughs> <Yeah>. Yep, <laughs> I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't understand time or sure. space. Uh, yep, yep. Nope. Uh, second act really got me. I was crying. I mm. gave a standing ovation. Oh, you're a pussy. I didn't yeah. know no, that. I have, my tiny stone heart has emotions. Uh. Um, and I thought it was great. I, re- I I thought it was phenomenal, actually. Wow. Um, and all the act, the performances were like mind blowing. A plus. Uh, Lin Manuel Miranda, like phenomenal. Uh, mm-hmm. The woman who played. Eliza, his wife. Oh yeah, so who right. uh, I, I, I believe won like a bunch of awards for it. I like legit fell in love with. Like everybody mm-hmm. was amazing. So you saw because I thought I, th- I believe she was on vacation recently. So you, uh, I believe it was the woman who originated. Who originated? That's great. Uh, we we got a different Aaron Burr who was uh, very good. Oh, okay. Yeah, that I got was the one. I, I don't know. He was great. Uh, the guy that played Aaron, really great. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 Uh, but I, and the guy that plays Jefferson is like next yeah, level. Yeah. 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 We met him afterwards. He's um, he's like a. Uh, you, oh, so you went backstage and had a meet and greet. Yeah, yeah, a meet and or a greet. Yeah. We did. We had to decide. It was like, are you going to meet what, or are you going to greet? What meets did you bring? <laughs> <laughs> just lunch meats, just yeah. a lot of you like just a seasoned aged meats. Hey, great work! Love the show. Here's a slice of bologna. <laughs> yeah. Hey, here's, here's great some work. Salam. Here's some soprasada. You were so fantastic. <laughs> here's some chorizo. Oh, oh, oh I'm out of chorizo. Uh, what else oh. do I got? All right. Uh, how about um, some prosciutto? And prosciutto, some gabagool. <laughs> uh, I loved it. That was Did, great. When and when you hopped up on stage and like danced around yep. a little bit, what happened then? No, it was fine. Everybody was like, Everyone was into hooray. It. Hooray! Hooray! Well, someone finally did Thank it. Thank God, he's here. They, they want you to know when you watch that show, you're free to jump on stage well, the, and the shake way, your little butt. The way I treat any theatrical performance is mm-hmm. that, much like any improv show I do, walk-ons are allowable. <laughs> yes, of course. It's an open door policy. <laughs> and if there. you have a way that you feel that I, that I, if I feel like I have a way that I can, if get you have on, a way in, if I can get on stage yeah. and I can heighten the circumstances, yeah, yeah exactly, I'll do it. So when you saw Hamilton, it took some weird turns that were non-historical. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, Rafi from the League makes an appearance in that. <laughs> oh, really? In that, That's yeah. how you do it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. I brought the jacket that Rafi mm-hmm. wears. Hamilton I... went to space, I heard, <laughs> as well. <laughs> yeah. And I He discovered like, life on Mars. Yep. And it was a tribute to David Bowie. Oh, of, R- of course. Yeah, R2-D2 soon. Everybody is straight up dying. I, it's weird, isn't it? Glenn Fry, and, and, but Deadsville. Ti- timely deaths. Timely? Uh, Glenn Fry's untimely. You think he's untimely? He was, what, I six, mean, Bowie, 67? untimely. Bowie, untimely Bo- because he Bowie's, should live forever. He should live forever. I didn't think it was possible for him to die. I think That made me very sad. Yeah. I was like... Sh- like really t- like upset but I mean and if it had this happened, is a person I'd never met I don't usually yeah. get upset at celebrity deaths or anything like that but Bowie like that bummed me if out. it had happened maybe eight years earlier when we all were hearing he was sick uh-huh. before he put out these two great records then yep. it would have been like it would have been understandable okay I get it he's yeah. been out of the public eye for a while sure but to to have just put out a record yeah. you know two days before Oof, and, a record and a video. that like documents his dying oh, yeah. like a farewell message yeah Oof. what a bummer but yeah. we're all gonna get there you know what i mean someday i'm gonna be mourning you hopefully no that's impossible so you don't get the widow howl app no it's a, you, i don't think you understand what's going on here yeah, what's happening you're already sick i know you're already sick as you told me today so i mean this i'm is falling we're apart here <laughs> i have a runny nose great i gotta i should text cool um yeah. scott has a runny nose get ready, get ready. baby pack your bags <laughs> shakespeare my baby 
<laughs> no, what was it? Gershwin, Gershwin my, my baby. baby. Either, in either case, it's, it's, not, a, it's applicable. Work. It's not great. It would be right? amazing if, if Lin-Manuel Miranda, if one of us were out there in the oh. audience, and I pray that one of us is, oh. to just slip in a Hanong Man Dude. in there somewhere. Because <laughs> there's so much just like, uh, you know, hip hop in it with oh, a yeah. lot of words that he yes, has to remember. it's dense. By the way, you know? very dense. They could do, they should, they should have Hanong Man in that show regardless if we're there Regardless if we're there or not. Just it in case a, we drop in. It's a big enough cultural movement. <laughs> it is. That and it you should c- just, okay, here's a challenge. Yeah. Because there are people out there. Is this there, the Hanong Man challenge? This is the, welcome, welcome. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. To the Hanong Man challenge. <laughs> Are you somebody that works? Are you somebody, first you, of all? Are you somebody? Are you a person? <laughs> Identify yourself by name. <laughs> Everybody on the count of three, shout your shout name Shout your name. Out Ready, loud. here we go. One, One two, two, three. three. All right. Great. We heard you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Anyway, here's the deal. Are you involved in a creative endeavor? Are of you any a musician? Sort. Are you a playwright? Are you a writer? Are you a director? Mm-hmm. I'll even take people who are creative with their non-creative jobs. Sure. Start putting Hanung Man in your work. Start putting it in there. Slipping it in. Sli- I would like there to be a song that has Hanung Man in hey the Nung. lyrics. It's your man, man. <laughs> nope. It's your man, man. Let's play. Let me, let me amend that. Smash Mouth, <laughs> if you are listening, <laughs> Take turn a break. this off. <laughs> <laughs> Take a breather, Smash Mouth. You're off the clock at this hey, point. Smash Mouth, shut it down. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, um, Nung. Yeah, but it, it, I, that's what I want. I want people to start putting it in other everywhere. things. Everywhere. I want to see it everywhere. I want to see it in books. I want to see it in yep. uh, on TV. I want to see, it, see it on, on billboards I'll, as I drive by. Yep. I want to see it on my dashboard. I want like, s- you know, a, a idiot light to come up just like, hey, Nung, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just like whenever I need it. That doesn't make sense. I'm baffled that you don't want this. I don't want it. Here's the deal. I don't mm-hmm. want that. Wow. What okay. I want is for it to be, I want somebody to write a song about it. Uh-huh. I, and I don't want like a bullshit, like parody song. I don't want and, like. And don't mumble it in no, the lyrics. Don't be like. No. Hey, I, no want man. The, I want, I want, and I'll, I'll, I'll we, we mentioned a great band Mets just a few minutes ago. I would like the band Mets. Sure. To say, I want the hey, bleachers. I want the outfield. I, Jack, I want third base. Jack Antonoff from bleachers. Please, a friend of the show. Please put. I know you're man. listening. In a song. Come on. God damn it, everybody. How do we do this? I am pissed off. And then he walked away. Oh. Ever clear. Oh, boy. Do you really? Do you <laughs> want to go down this? Daddy gave me a name. You want to go down this path again? And Another one of your away. favorite terrible bands that you want to tell me I, are good? Okay, I have to say. You have previously tried to argue in favor of Smash Mouth. Yes, I have to say I went to see Everclear on the uh, the uh, uh, the heroin. You, okay? you know the uh, the album that has Heroin Girl on it, the one that before I, the one that became really popular. I do not. Uh, I went to see them with David Cross at uh, at a club Name here. Drop and. I gotta say, it was one of, and I think Doug Benson was there. One of the better shows I've seen. So, such a great by show. By Everclear or by anyone? No, just by anyway. It was such. It was an incredible show, and uh, we were all grooving, and uh, we were like, "Man, those guys are good." And then the next album came out, and it was all that bing, ding, 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 hi, ding, 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 ding. oh. And I think I think we were out at that point, but uh, still, I gotta say, hmm. I I do like them. You okay? Fair enough. Fair enough. But I'm a child of the 90s. Oh, you're a Southern California child well, of the 90s. I'm a millennial. I'm a millennial, You are Jason. not a millennial. Oh, yes, I am. You are not. I'm 28 years old. That you still counts as- You are not a millennial <laughs> even remotely. I'm 28 years old. You that are like- counts as you are millennial. You basically a baby boomer. <laughs> I'm basically- I'm on the cusp, like, maybe, of you millennial. You are like. on the cover of AARP magazine <laughs> right after Luke Perry. ARP? <laughs> Luke Perry, Luke Perry Luke was Perry on the cover of ARP? On the cover of AARP magazine, oh, if that doesn't make you feel no. old. No. Want to yes. feel old? Dylan is on the cover of AARP. Want to feel old? Yeah. Look at the baby from Who Framed Roger Rabbit now. What baby? You know the baby in that? <laughs> Want to feel old? Just look him up and what he looks like now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brother. I would love to do, you know, with you uh, just on a separate topic. You know, uh, when Paul and I did the best ofs, you heard some of, of them. Of course, I heard them all. all of them. Uh, the whole, you know, we were in the there for damn thing. over four hours oh, doing that, it. I would enjoy that. I would like to do a four hour recording session with you. Done. <laughs> I think that. Done. Would... Here's that my caveat is. Uh huh. I do not want it to be released in installments. You want the whole thing? I want the whole just thing four. to just be dumped uh, because I would like the audience to be able to digest it the way that we did it. <laughs> oh no. Because I think that 
I, I, I might be wrong, but I think that they will also start to lose their minds. I think li- listening to four hours of anything, you're going to lose your mind. And here's the thing. I would like in the last half hour uh-huh. for something really important to happen. <laughs> Like I deliver bad news to you or something? I don't don't know. Like, I just feel like, like I get a cancer diagnosis when we're the craziest is when things need to get real. Right. I would love to get real with you. I would love to get buddy. I would love to get real. You know what I mean? Like we fuck around on this show and people people like to hear banter or whatever, but all people want is to hear me being mean to you the entire time I'm doing it. I'm just like, God, I wish I could drop this and just get real. Yeah. Just, you know what I mean? Do you, I mean, like, let's just uh, get in real with Scott and J-Dog. Get in real with Scott and J-Dog. Even the title, you got to be yep. J-Dog. <laughs> <laughs> I would love it. Let's do at least one app of, of getting real with, you know, do one Done. app of Talking Tang, one app of getting real with Scott, and where we just talk about real, real, uh, I was going to well, say Well, Talking Tang is its own thing. I'm just having trouble getting guests. Really? Just having trouble getting those guests. Are the guests, can I ask this, are the guests some of your previous conquests? Yes, people that are going to, to, the Tang that needs to be talked. <laughs> So you're going to have the women on yeah. that with whom you've had sex Correct. and talk about your performance? Talk about, the, talk about performance. the whole thing. Talk about the event. The lead talk up. Talk about all of it. The lead up. The 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 the, 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 the date. Inevitable the denouement. Yes, all of it. It's going to just be a sexual, a personal sexual wrap up. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, you know what? It could be best, maybe best done Immediately after the event, <laughs> <laughs> that's not a bad idea. You keep know, it, keeping a mic at the ready, basically, the old bedside you know, and then table. just like fire it right up. <laughs> All right, here we we're, go. We're now. doing a podcast, <laughs> baby. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what's your name again, sweetheart? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. And three, two, two. one. Here's Reggie's theme song. <laughs> Reggie's theme song. <laughs> Sorry, uh, did, did you not know Reggie did the theme song wow. for Talking Tang? Wow, I haven't seen that guy in so long. Yeah, well, he did it. Um, Don't try and get in on that. I'm, not, I'm just saying but you need to... Getting Real with Scott and J-Dog is an episode of Comedy Bang Bang. Oh, okay, you want that's it released? That's what I mean. Oh, okay. That's, that's Where the we just talk about episode. Oh, oh, my oh God. you want... I'm sorry. I get it now. <laughs> um, yes, we can do ta- We can do Getting Real with Scott and J-Dog as its own show. As its own show. Yeah. I would like to do, I'm talking about that four-hour. The four-hour one I you would want like as, to be as officially a bang bang, released? Oh, my God. Uh, an episode of Comedy That's bang a challenge. Bang. I think we could do it. A four-hour episode. Do we take breaks? Yeah. Yeah, we we're going to have to. Yeah, we're going to have to. Our yeah. little penises have to pee out. Penis pee. Sure. I have to empty <laughs> my. AKA pee pee. I have to empty my pee bag, <laughs> which is what I call my teeny tiny weenie. <laughs> It's just a bag. I gotta, I, my dink needs to take a leak. <laughs> Finally, they're talking about their penises and uh, describing them. <laughs> the women, the women listeners out there, have been just no, dripping listen, out there, going, "When to, are they going to talk about?" I it? have to let the 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 pee graphite out of my uh, golf pencil penis. When are they going <laughs> to describe their penises in detail? Uh, we need to know. I need to be able you, to ladies. embroider a pe- the, their penises. Meanwhile, Smash Mouth, you're still taking a break. Smash Mouth, hey. Did we, you turn this back on? We told you, Smash Mouth. Shut it off, Shut Smash it off. Mouth. Smash Mouth, no. Smash Mouth, no. Hulk Smash Mouth. <laughs> Hulk Smash that's, Mouth? That's Captain America introducing Hulk to Smash Mouth. <laughs> Hulk Smash Mouth. Wow. So this, okay. So I, I have no update. I want in a timetable. Okay. Okay. I mean, we'll A table of time. A table of time. A stitch in time. Saves. Nine. Thank what, you, what was that, uh, Bill S. What, what is that uh, 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 children's book or teen book uh, series about a time, a stitch in nine? What is it? A splinter in time? Oh, I think that's it. A splinter? No, it's not. No, it's not. A, a, wrinkle, a wrinkle. A wrinkle in time. Wrinkled, wrinkled Mr. Time. Wrinkle. No, you know what it was. Now you're just being an <laughs> asshole. I'm being an asshole. You're being an <laughs> asshole. Can we talk about you being an asshole? Mr. Wrinkled Time. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he's been around for, you know, 3,000 years at this point. Mr. Wrinkled Time? Yeah, you know, since the beginning of time. Sure. Do you th- I mean, <laughs> oh boy. Are you still super Christian? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we haven't talked about that. It's we, weird that we haven't talked about this on the podcast yet. have we not yet. talked about your born-again Christianity? <laughs> <laughs> and how you believe the universe is only 2,000 years old? 3,000. 3, Come on, 000. don't be ridiculous. Fine. Jesus was 2,000 years ago. Um, did we talk about what, what I did on Christmas Day? Speaking of Jesus? No. I went to a uh, church service, very nice place out there in Arizona. Okay, and uh, Zona zoned, and uh, they uh, they <laughs> they had some sort of uh, spe- what do you call it a speech? <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> a sermon. Yep, sermon. They had a sermon. <laughs> they gave a stump speech. Yep. <laughs> um, on how why isn't why isn't Jesus uh, as popular as Santa or something like that? And why and why uh, are there yeah, lines the war on Christianity, the war on Christmas. Yeah, yep. why aren't why aren't there lines to see Jesus in the malls? Huh. Um and so then they had a guy in uh, after the service, they said and you can have the kids go line up and meet Jesus. <laughs> What? <laughs> and there was like a 20 year old dude with just a goatee, not even a beard like not you. Not even a beard? Not even a beard, just a goatee. Wait, I didn't even get to audition for this. I know. This is right up your alley. This is like prime wheelhouse for J Man. Huh. Wait, uh, that. That's terrifying. No one, no one would go up and meet him. I was just going to say, and did like everybody line up? Were the kids no, excited? No, no, no. It was terrifying? just kind of like everyone circling him, sort of yeah. like wanting to check it out and sort of snickering uh, a little bit. I mean, bit. that is, I, and listen. I felt I bad guess, for the young I guess it's no lad. less insane than the concept of Santa Claus being at the mall and having your kids well, sit on his lap. Look, the concept of Santa Claus I'm fine with, but the concept of Santa Claus being at the mall? That's what I mean, yeah. Oh my God. That is, what is happening? That is super. Madness! Yes. Okay, well, we can calm down. Um, <laughs> I got to take a, a strong position on this because I feel like otherwise it's not two, good radio. <laughs> as two childless men, we should weigh two, in on this. Two barren, nutless men. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, the Talking Tank podcast, yep. they should have apostrophes for the absence of our nuts. Yep. Yeah. We should do another podcast that's just called Nutless. <laughs> Nutless Wonders. Nutless Wonders with Scotty and Jay Bird. <laughs> um, uh, but the, just the, the, to extend that to the idea that you could then also meet, because I also think it's crazy that like Times Square or here on Hollywood Boulevard, there are people purporting to be Elmo El- or yeah, exactly. Spider-Man or kids faced with that. I don't know. But then again, it seems normal to me at Disney world or whatever. Yeah. You know, I did it at Disneyland. I was goofy and all that. Oh, I, I think I did know that. You yeah, think I think you we've did. talked about this you, actually you stared, on the podcast. Did you, you stared at me I, like I was insane. Uh, for a second, and then it just I was, was you took to no, no interest in what I talk about. No. Well, I was really trying to gauge, is this a bit or is this real? <laughs> and then in my mind, I remembered, wait, we've talked about this. It's real. We'll never know. How often in your everyday life, are you thinking, is this a bit or is this real? Because that it happened to me recently. Oh, how, during, what, how in what context? Just a friend was telling oh. me about something shitty that was going on. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, and you were like, is this a bit? And I, we, yeah. we started yeah. like bidding it up and she was like, oh, no, this is this real. This is a real thing. <laughs> that I mean, like that happens not infrequently, I feel mm-hmm. like. Uh, especially uh, amongst the company we keep, we are yep in the company of men constantly. Labute, <laughs> Labute, 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 hit us up. Call me Labute. You are prime like Labute material. Oh yeah. What is your favorite uh, band of all time, Jason? Uh, I mean, let's go band and song. And uh, this, it, it doesn't have to be do a band. It can be a musician. Time? I don't care. <laughs> I all right, we did this the last. Let's do time. something different. Let's do something um, different. No, I don't know. I mean, like it's a very. You know, um, I mean, I think you have to say the Beatles if you really love the Beatles because it, they really are undeniably one, like fantastic. Mm-hmm. But like, I would say, um, wait, who's your favorite Beatle? Paul. Paul. But no, what do you think of his John. solo stuff? You no, know what's hard. John. You know what's hard is when you listen I mean, to the George. Beatles. <laughs> Come on. I mean, what? Rango. <laughs> <laughs> they made that movie about yeah, him. So. I know. Um, Thank you very much, Gore Verbinski, for making that Rango Star movie. It must be hard to have a name, Gore. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. Um, either on the surname or the <laughs> first name. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, a lot of people say, well, what's your favorite Beatle? And then you go, oh, okay, well, what about Paul? But then his solo work is bad. Well, it's not bad. Uh, it's just not it as is. it's not as good as some people. But then George Harrison only put out like one or two good solo records, and then John was just like John's been super a little lazy hard. for the last like <laughs> thirty. Well, you know, he comes by every once in a while oh, here. That's but. true, actually. I forgot that. <laughs> But, you know, Ringo has his guitar. <laughs> yeah, and Ringo's just the best. Ringo's the best. Peace and love. Um, we went to Comic-Con recently. We did. And we walked around the floor together. Didn't we have a great time? We had a great time. And uh, you you instituted a strict no pictures policy. Right. Which uh, was good because, you know, I've been with people who don't institute that and they, they can't make it two feet without. I felt like if, if, if I started taking pictures with people uh, because everybody was very nice and, you know, uh, uh, very sweet about wanting to take a picture, which I'm usually j- normally in the world happy to do. But and about 
ten percent of them not nice and sweet when you said no. No, no, maybe ten percent of them, yes, are are, are kind of lame about it. But uh, I, I was like, I want to walk around and not have to be not like have to stop every two seconds. Yes, and, yeah. and take. A and button. then once you take one, then people are like, "Who's that? Oh, that's that guy." Yep. And then they want to get one, and yep. just and then everybody's can't. like, "That guy, hey guy, yeah. hey you." Yeah, I do not have that problem. No, I took about four pictures. That's great. Over the four days, it was fine. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and now, are you? Do you know who they thought you were? I believe they thought I was myself. But oh, that's they, great. They may have thought I was Wayne Gretzky. I'm not sure. <laughs> that, is that a real problem for you? <laughs> Occasionally. People are like, yeah. Gretzky! Gretzky! Your daughter's hot! Yo. <laughs> like, that's like... That's what he's known for, right? Having a hot daughter? Uh, yes. Him and Jose Kansenko. <laughs> Kansenko? Kansenko. He can't Sanko. I, he can't Sanko. For the With the best of them, he nope, can't do nope. this. He tried to on Dancing with the Stars. What's your favorite sport? Dancing. Dancing. <laughs> dancing. I love dancing. <laughs> dancing. For sport. What if you were, I love competitive I'm just dancing. a sports fan. I watch ESPN uh, every day. Got, you know, I go down to the sports bar and I have them turn on one of the TVs to dancing. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite dancing? Ballroom? Oh, of Flamenco? course. Ballroom. The cha-cha? Oh, don't get me started. I won't. Thank you. Thank I, you for that tip. I appreciate that. That's what a uh, that's what the uh, prostitute said to the leper. Thanks for the tip. Really? Yep. She really? said it. She did that once. She did, and she said that. She said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw. He left it inside of her. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Yeah. It's interesting. That's, I don't know is why that a she. True story? That's a true story. I don't know why she said thank you, but she did it. So are there and, still lepers? I don't know. That's an inter- there must be there. Mu- there must be somewhere like, somewhere in the world. There must be a colony of people that the medicine hasn't gotten down in. What what is it again? Leprosy. It's where something won't know. heal. I think, I think your skin like rots away. Yeah, basically you you can't heal any wound you have, and it's yeah. just like <laughs> your skin just goes. <laughs> great. Once again, great foley work. <laughs> <laughs> um, how are you? How's your How's your summer? Uh, it's good. Ooh. We're, we're, uh, I believe I left uh, when people are hearing this, I left for Australia mere hours ago. Oh, nice. Maybe even 45 minutes ago. How uh, exciting. D- yeah. So I'll be, how's the tour shaping up? Who are you? Have you announced who's, who's doing it? Uh, Mike Hanford is going out there with us as well nice. as Paul and Lauren, of course. Of and, course. uh, yeah, we're going to have a good time and, uh, you know, uh, someday you should come along with, I would love with to. us on one of these. You I say that to. and yet you did not. I know. I talk a big game. <laughs> Um, I will say Australia was very tempting. Yeah. Uh, because you've never been or never because been. you have been? Never been once in my life. I never. know a guy who told me that there's a lot of snakes there. Really? Yeah, that they uh, they read that uh, on some like snake clickbait article as he described it. What? <laughs> Click A snake clickbait article, which Who's, I don't know. It's like, is that really clickbait is like stuff about snakes? Yeah, like, like hey, guess where there's a lot of snakes? You'll never believe it. Oh, you'll never believe what this snake said. Did he go too far? <laughs> <laughs> um, but a lot of there's an influx of snakes somehow that I'm, I said I would look out for. Uh, wh- but you know, looking out for snakes is good will advice you, in any situation. Will you have a snake as a guest? I I would like to. Yes. If there, I mean, if it's relevant to what's going on in Australia, I feel who are th- like. who are the most famous snakes? Jake the Snake Roberts. Jake the Snake Roberts. You have Ka from the Jungle Book. Yeah. Um, right. Well, I mean, the snake uh, in the Bible. Snake in the Bible. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's, that's like number one the with number a bullet. One yeah, that's yeah. the snake. He put all snakes on the map. Yeah, he really did. He gave snakes a bad name also. He really yeah, He you gave know, snakes, snakes a bad, bad name. name. American Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of any other famous snake. There's got to be... God. Oh, I think we're, we're probably doing there's it. Gotta, like, there's got to be a snake with a bow tie. Really? Yeah, there's got to be like a cartoon snake with a bow tie. I'm going to huh. look it up right now. Snakes are really underrepresented in pop culture. They really are. I think I it's mean, because they have no arms or legs. Okay, I'm looking up snake with look a up bow famous tie. famous snakes. <laughs> 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 see what comes up. I like Wait. snake with a bow tie. I is what see. You looked up first. I see a cartoon of a snake with a bow tie here. Well, and I, there's there's like I'm not pop- surprised that there. Is, I'm not surprised that at some point someone has put a bow tie on a snake. I'm also getting uh, snake skin bow tie items on Etsy. Of course, <laughs> and a lot of pictures of snake skin bow ties. Who would wear one of those? Here's a snake with a bow tie with like one of those gondolier I would, hats. I would like for us to a make, straw a, boater. make a bet at some point, and the loser has. 
has to wear a snakeskin bow tie to a Hollywood event and not explain it to <laughs> a anyone. A Hollywood event with a red carpet? Yep. All right, what bet is this going to be? I don't know. It'll occur to us, I'm sure. Okay, so, and does it have to be the same event that both of us are at? Because you and I are not invited to the same things. I, mean, I don't know. We'll have to figure okay. out the particulars. We'll figure out the rules of but, this, but we have to be up. photographed at a Hollywood event wearing a snakeskin bow tie. Just the bow tie, not a vest, anything? No, no. no. Nothing crazy, just no, a snakeskin no. bow tie. No, but if, if asked about it, we have to say... That it's a snakeskin bow tie and that the snake died like that terribly. They killed the, that we one of us <laughs> one killed, of us the, snake. killed the snake and fashioned the tie. And it's got to show up on Getty Images <laughs> the next day. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and um, like we have to get on a list, uh, like a PETA list. <laughs> So we have to we have to cause a stir. We have to somehow cause a stir, a snake stir. Jason, I notice you're wearing camo shorts. Is that even possible? I know it's weird, right? What, I don't what, like it either. What is your short season? What is your rule of thumb when it comes to shorts? Well, when it's this hot, I simply cannot wear jeans. You like a little air especially, on your balls, especially on a Saturday. Come on, I'm going to wear shorts, so I'm wearing camo shorts. Yeah, and uh, it feels good on your knees. Yep, gets my shins out there. Yep. A yep. lot of people haven't seen your shins before. Gets my shins out there, gets my calves out there, gets my knees out there. You what know? is it about, like, naming body parts? They name a whole part of the body on, like, a baby cow. Like, the back of your leg is named after a baby cow and then nothing else? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Nothing? Nailed it. I mean, what more could be said? This is that? why you're the worst guest in Comedy <laughs> Bang Bang history. I don't know why I keep I having you on the show. Let's take it to the fans. Guys, am I the worst guest in Comedy yes. Bang Bang history? I or remember. would you rather me host the show? No, I remember back in the day we had a poll <laughs> for listeners on Earwolf.com yep. of whether Harris Whittle should ever return to the show again. <laughs> and? It was narrow. <laughs> It was narrow, and uh, people, of course, now can't believe it that they, yeah. they used to say. Well, Harris was that, a that they polar, hated that was a polarizing character. He, well, uh, Amy polarizing. Uh huh. Uh huh. Good. Nailed it. Mm hmm. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Nothing. <laughs> um, I mean, just he, bask in that. I believe he bask in Robbins. I believe he started out polarizing, but he uh, he grew Baskin to be a fan Robbins favorite. Will, Baskin Robbins Williams. <laughs> Best in Tony Robbins. <laughs> this, I feel like this is just a like a nonsense show. I've, 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 I feel that, like that is what this podcast I is. It's like nonsense. I've fallen into like 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 a Paul F. A vortex or or Benny Benny Schwartz with uh, the singing. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you want to sing something? I do not. Let's sing something. Here I we would go. Prefer Ready? Are we not? Yes. One, two, three. And a Y M C A. It's fun to stay at the Y M C A. <laughs> That's really good. Do you, uh, you're you're roughly the same age as I. I am. Do you remember growing up with the village people and just going? Well, they're, they're I, fun. They're I remember growing up with them because they raised me as my adoptive father. <laughs> really? Yep. Which one did they dress you up as? <laughs> they, did it have to be combo between them all? <laughs> yep. So you're like I a wanted, cop with an Indian headdress. Yes, and like, uh, <laughs> like and a hard hat and an orange vest. <laughs> yep. Yep. And is I think there's a soldier too. Maybe. <laughs> there's probably there's probably a physician. <laughs> You know, there's actually 22 village people. There's just quite a lot of there's them. like substitute there's village a, people. There's a mountaineer. There's like a whole lot of specific stuff going on. It takes a village people. <laughs> Stop staring at me. Boo. <laughs> um, is it like Menudo when they get too old or they, they or, or they get fired from whatever job they're dressing up as? Yes. They're like, sorry, you're out of the village people. It's also like Menudo in that it is rife with sexual abuse. <laughs> and also a great topical reference that a lot of people are going to love. Yeah, people, people listen to this podcast are like, that's not, what is that? They have no idea. But I, I remember when the village people were out there and it was like, Macho Man, YMCA. And it was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, they're funny. They're wacky, sure. and they were on like you know. Oh yeah, they were on variety. They were shows on Love Boat and all sorts of stuff. And, and they then were someone also, like dressed in costumes. Yeah, it, it seemed it was like great. It was like wow, sure. what a great idea to dress your whole band up with a different uh, job, you know? Uh -huh. Because you know, whenever the one hit wonders are over, you can just like segue right into that job. Oh, oh, oh! No, they didn't do those jobs. They didn't do. Wait, wait, wait what are you saying? They weren't recruited to be in a singing band from someone those didn't jobs. tap them on the shoulder while they were performing I will say that job. That is the um, th we did for how did this get made? The movie, the Village People movie. Oh, you did called uh, Can't Stop the Music, and that is the plot as it unfolds. Is <laughs> 
this guy's a singing cop, and somebody's like, whoa, you can really sing. Come and sing for our band. This guy's a singing Indian <laughs> chief. Construction worker, and then the Indian... Is Indian chief a job? <laughs> no, I don't think he has a job. He really just runs around in full Native American garb, like, around New York City. Mm -hmm. That's just, like, as if, like, that's what he just wears every day. Sure, yeah. And was he Native American? Do we know that? I'm not sure. Okay. And so this is well-trod territory for you, or you know a lot about the village people. I only know a lot about it because we did this movie, and it, fairly recently. And it was oh, really? very, it, it's an insane movie. Right. Uh, Bruce Jenner is in the movie. Uh, I don't, know who, that, I don't know who that is. Oh, you know him now as Caitlyn Jenner. Wait, I know Caitlyn Jenner. Who's this Bruce fellow? <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. Um, <laughs> it's, a, it's like a really interesting, very bad movie. Yeah. Well, you're the king of bad movies. I don't know about There's that. There's no one better than you at watching bad movies <laughs> and filling up 45 minutes. Ugh. Or longer. <laughs> um, what is the worst movie you've ever seen, in your opinion? Avatar The Last Airbender. Yes. That pretty movie bad. is stunningly boring. Yeah. Is it just when something is boring, that's a bad movie? That to me is what... I mean, like, I've seen bad... Worst movies, like, The Room is a worse right. movie. Right, technically inept. But I mean, like, the, I would never want to... I would watch The Room again right now if you put it on a million sure. percent. But, like, uh, Avatar The Last Ender, Airbender was... Like, just psychotically boring. Mm -hmm. And what makes it so boring? Uh, the, Nothing's the, going on. Nothing happens. So no conflict. What? And you teach screenwriting, I know, on the weekends. Sure, sure, sure. And you're about to, you're going to from this homeless. show <laughs> to the city's homeless in order to yep. try to raise them up by their bootstraps. Listen, they need help with their scripts. <laughs> And that's why they're homeless. Of course. Is because they're working so hard on their scripts. And, you know, I say to the homeless population, just, you know, like, go staff up. No. You know, it's like not a, we, no, you gotta none of us want to do it, you but, you know, we want to sell our own stuff. But just go staff up specs. on a sitcom. It's, yep. you know, like, take your lumps. <laughs> 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 What's the worst job you've ever had? Um, I don't know. Let me think. Uh, I worked, I mean, nothing really that terrible. I worked for, I worked in, when I was in New York doing comedy in the very beginning, I did, uh, like I was a temp for mm -hmm. like day jobs. Temporary. Yes. And, and I had various terrible temp jobs that were terrible mostly because I was, I would have to be like a horrible person's assistant. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Like, so I never had a terrible job where I was like, oh, I had to clean, you know, chicken carcasses or I had to <laughs> clean, do something. Wait, clean chicken carcasses. Yeah. I guess, wait, so the carcasses of a chicken, meaning like chickens that we eat sure. or do you mean like, sure. Like, like, chewed and gnawed over carcasses that we've already eaten. Someone is cleaning these. No, no, no. You no, know, that's true. Actually, maybe that's the wrong phraseology I used. Um, I more meant like at a slaughterhouse. I see. Yeah, you've never worked at a slaughterhouse. I never worked at a slaughterhouse. Okay. Uh, I temp. That's the Jason Manzukas <laughs> pledge. I never. I will never work at a slaughterhouse. <laughs> <laughs> I I will never work, and I have never worked. No matter what my opponent says, I have never worked in a slaughterhouse. <laughs> How about Sir, the election? We, we, we're get, we're getting this? word that you yes? <laughs> that it's come out that you worked at a slaughterhouse what? for two weeks. Oh no! Okay, no, 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 but not on the. Yes, that is true, but in the mail room. In <laughs> a the, lot of mail coming to the slaughterhouse. A lot of slaughterhouse mail. Dear slaughterhouse, <laughs> <laughs> you you may have won a million dollars. You asked about the election. I have no. It's over now, right? I've, uh, no, we still have. Well, I mean, oh. we still have some time to go. Okay. Uh, I have no interest in politics, as you well know. Of course. Uh, worst job I've ever had. I Didn't ask. <clears throat> temporary as well. I uh, I worked at a local hospital. Oh. Uh, they wanted actors to portray. Oh no. To portray patients for nursing evaluations. Yep. So I played a uh, quadriplegic who had fallen out of his wheelchair. Okay. And the nurse was supposed to uh, pick me up, and and there were certain things they would check, like did you put the brakes on the wheelchair and all that, which she did not, and I went flying out of the wheelchair again because oh, wow. I was method and I was yep. in it. And I was like, I'm now, not. How just... long did you uh, have to be quadriplegic for? Uh, it was basically I would I would fall out of my chair, and then we would see how long it would take them th to notice that, <laughs> and sometimes it would be eight hours. Wow, I'm, I'm kidding. Yeah. Um, it was it was they would walk did in the room. Fall and in love with any of the nurses? I did. Uh, did you? Every single one. Yeah. I bet. 
And because they're like, they're grabbing you and putting you back up and rubbing their boobs on your face, I bet. <laughs> yep, of course. Yeah. The funniest part of it was my friend was playing a patient that they were going to change his bedpan. And so oh, he had God. to mime all of that. And the first thing that the nurse was supposed to do is pull the curtain for privacy. Sure. So, so you know, the patient in the next room, me, the quadriplegic, wouldn't see it. And that was the first thing that the nurse forgot to do. And so my, you watched the my whole friend thing. looked at me so embarrassed and then like turned to his side and like did, did he have to be naked he was not naked oh. no that was the only unfortunate part did he have it. to really make a number two <laughs> yes he did so yeah. he ended up doing it in his pants they were like you can be naked and he said yeah. no I'll no, just I'll do just, it in my pants yeah. <laughs> and then did they have to change his pants like, yeah like a baby yeah yeah like a little baby was he quadruple oh no he wasn't quadruple no no, no, no that just, was just me no he, I I had that on lock I had a cover. Okay, you own that part. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And you know what I what I made? Were you for... nominated for anything? <laughs> yeah, it was the Cause, nurses. Because because usually when you play somebody that has like a severe uh, uh, injury or an affliction, it's like a my left foot kind of situation. That's what I thought. Those, you know? That's awards bait right there. I, well, you know, I stud I I hung out in hospitals for that's, three weeks prior. That's awards clickbait. <laughs> yep, just like snake bait. Yep. Um, no, uh, and uh, do you know how much money I made for that? I'm going to guess $80. 10 What? <laughs> That's Whoa. how broke I was. And this is like last year? Yep. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Things are not going Things well. Things are not going well. Jay, you got to help me. <laughs> You're rubbing your eye a lot. <laughs> I am. What, what's going on with what's it? What's going on with your eye? Well, I have a little eye booger in the corner of my oh, eye. Okay. I just noticed. Got it. Got wait, it. Wait, wait, what's wrong with an eye booger? You're like nothing, judging me. Nothing, but you with were your rubbing face. it for so long. Well, I had to get it out of there. What am I going to do? Rub it and it's still in there and go, eh, I rubbed it once. You got to push that booger back in. <laughs> <laughs> Boogers should not be coming out of me. I'm going to teach them a lesson. I'm going to push them back I, in. I don't pick my nose. I push my nose. <laughs> I push all of the I've been boogers. wondering why you're knuckle deep in your nose this entire recording session. <laughs> I don't session. want anything coming out, so I'm just pu- I'm just, impacting, just stopping up the jam. Impacting everything up there. Stopping up the jam. I meant stop. to say stopping up the dam, but stopping up the jam up is the not jam. bad. I'm writing that down. <laughs> stopping up the stopping jam. Stopping up the jam. <laughs> Here right. we go. Uh, Comedy uh, bang uh, bang. Uh oh, the dogs are loose. Oh, put some socks on that ox. <laughs> Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang. Jason Manzook is your host here with my hey, co host, Scotty Wolfman ox. Scott here. Scotty Ox. Uh oh, the ox got out of the pen. The box. <laughs> that would be better. How do you mean? Ox is out of the box. I mean, people like things that rhyme. A lot of songs rhyme. I don't yeah, know if you noticed. Yeah, but you wouldn't keep an ox in a box. Sure you would. I well, mean, I'd keep it in a pen. But uh, Sure, you'd keep it in a pen, but if you look at this sort of any kind of container is sort of a box. I mean, a house is a box, is it not? No, it's a house. Not to pull back the curtain too much. We recorded part of an episode. We recorded a good there was a lost, 10 minutes. There's a last right 10 to 15. Uh, and, and it had, had some classic bits some in Some classic it. bits. Where One we of t- them was a uh, private investigator uh, TV show called uh, Mike Dunzo. Mm-hmm. Uh, I believe goes, it was Rick Dunzo. Rick Dunzo. One. You're right. It was Rick Dunzo. Rick Dunzo PI. This guy's Dunzo. He has um, a catchphrase and then people go, no, you're Dunzo. Yeah. And it's, it was very he goes, confusing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my name is Dunzo, but this guy's is Dunzo. Dunzo. Anyway. No. Very funny. It was very, very funny, funny stuff. Lost. Look that up. Lost to the ages. Where can people hear that? They can hear that. I mean, hey, you know, somebody could probably hack into those, the mainframe and get it. Yeah, those ones and zeros probably floated up to God somewhere. Yeah, sure, sure. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Uh, so we, you believe in God. I do believe in God. I believe that God receives the ones and zeros so from believe, the internet. So, okay, so that's interesting. You believe in a digital God. I believe in a digital God, yes. That, hmm. di- that uh, you know, God is up there. He's made of ones and zeros that sort of take the shape of uh, like a, a guy on a white cloud with a big beard. Oh, so you believe in like a very kind of classical interpretation yes. of God's look. Not made of flesh and bone, certainly, right. but ones but it zeros. But he is digital. What they add another I prefer I agree with Jack White I prefer an analog god mm. why don't they add another another number to those ones and zeros really spice the internet up you know what I mean like why not one zeros and twos and then it's like hey now you got something you really you think so yeah you know I mean you know add some more spice where into does the it internet. end that's true where does it end what on nine <laughs> maybe maybe but who knows? <laughs> what if they suddenly fit a 10 in there? Or an asterisk. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Next thing you know. 
Next thing you know, yeah. Next thing you know, I can't do the sound that you were doing. How are you doing? I'm, wait, what? Can you not do? Okay, now. Oh boy. Um, J Dog, uh, uh, we catch up the with the ox you. man. We check up with uh, with you from time to time. We check in with your life. You have a fascinating love, life. You, you've been it. traveling. You went to New York City. I was obviously, in New York City, but you also have a personal life that we love to plumb for details. Oh, of course, my um, my fascinating personal life, which you, is not very interesting right now, frankly. Yeah, I mean, you are. Uh, I'm trying to gauge how old you are. I've never been able to tell how old you are. You could be twelve. You could, I could be, be. You could be fifty-eight. I have okay. no idea. This, I think it's safe to say that I'm somewhere in between. Somewhere in between, yes. like directly in between. Dire- I mean, not equidistant. You know, not but, the direct middle. Because that would be thirty-five. Correct, which I'm not. <laughs> um, you're on the uh, you're on the business end of fifty-eight. Let's just say that. Correct. <laughs> that you are not wrong. I am closer to fifty-eight than I am to twelve. I will say that. What are you gonna be like when you're an old old man? Oh, Do you think man. you'll get there? Number one. I hope so. You know, I, do you want to be the? Do you want to be old? I would love to be an old man. Yeah. Do you want your body to break down and no. your bones to disintegrate? Oh no, that's the thing. Like I was talking to um, somebody the other day, and we were somebody talk- you didn't want to name drop. Just say who it is. Uh, I, I believe I was talking to our good friend Seth Morris. Okay, also known as Bob Duca. Uh huh. Of just about becoming, just about getting older, and the frequency with which I wake up now injured. Yeah. Like I wake up with an injury. I have having hurt myself during sleep. Yeah. I last night, I literally today, it's very hard for me to walk because last night I was having a dream. Okay. This is how, you know how you don't remember dreams? Oh, tell me your dreams. Okay. You, anybody who doesn't want to listen to this, just fast forward. No, no, no. But you know how you it's don't. It's sure to be off. You don't listen, you don't remember them. You wake up and you, mm-hmm. you immediately forget them. Sure. This one, because I, I, this happened to me in the middle of it, I remember it now yep. very vividly and it's embarrassing. Sure. I'm doing a comedy sketch with Paul Rudd. Okay. Like, why am I dreaming? Dreaming about doing comedy sketches. Someday you'll get there. <laughs> you know what, Scott? Is it's a dream. You can make it come true. <laughs> but and then I got the the worst cramp in my leg in the dream. It, in the dream, but it, and in real life. But in assuming. real life, and I I woke up going ah. And Just like that? Yeah, it's terribly did, emasculating. Did cool up, roll over, and say, "Get out of here." No, she just she kept the snoring who, up, and ma'am, just kept, ma'am, who kept are plowing you? Through. <laughs> Um, but and, and a nice dig at cool up there. <laughs> oh, we get it. She snores. <laughs> <laughs> and but today, but I woke up and it still was mm-hmm. is just as bad. And I and it's terrible. It hurts so bad today. I've never had a leg cramp that didn't just in like five minutes just go away. I feel like that's yeah. No, that's part of now getting older. Mm-hmm. And you'll have it for like a week. Yeah, why? Because your body has done itself true damage now. Mm-hmm. Things that you could recover from easily now are just like. Truly mm. damaging to your body. I feel like my dick broke from so much poon. <laughs> what do you mean? Is that a thing? How? I mean, I just think it broke of like, I don't know, it's all like big and lumpy. <laughs> your dick is all big and lumpy? I mean, it's bi- like, if it, when it, big you and know, lumpy. How? If I get excited, it gets really big and just like, m- lumpy. you know, like gigantic. <laughs> big, I'm okay with. <laughs> Lumpy is where I what have a problem. What if that's the sequel to Big? Big and Lumpy. <laughs> Tom Hanks and Lumpy. <laughs> hey, okay, Tom, can I ask you something? Okay, what if? why don't we just call this Big 2? Nope. <laughs> lumpy. Wait, you want it to just be called Lumpy? <laughs> oh, yeah, just so Lumpy. separate movies. Big separate movies, and then yeah. Lumpy. Lumpy. Okay. <laughs> uh, basically, what happens is I'm still a kid. Yeah. And then By I get the way, old. this Tom Hanks voice <laughs> is legit terrible. <laughs> I don't mind saying this is one of the worst voices you do. Hey. And you are known for your voices. Hey, I'm Tom Hanks. <laughs> you remember me from such movies as Forrest Gump? Oh. That's about it. Yeah. That's about it. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Big and lumpy. Big and lumpy. Big and lumpy from too much poon. I mean, you should get that checked out. I assume. I mean, yeah. I assume. I, when, from when, too much poon in the past or present tense too much poon? Just all the time. All the time poon? Poon, poon, poon. Poon, 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 poon. Poon, 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 poon. Poon, 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 poon. Poon, 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 poon. Everybody's heard about the poon. I said, everybody's heard about the poon. Poon, 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 poon. You took a nice long sip of water during that. Oh, yeah. Like you weren't going to jump in I'm not going to jump in soon. at all. No, my signature move is to let you hang yourself up. Yeah, no, you're, can I talk to you about I'm your signature move, by the way? That. Yeah. Uh, I'm like, not, my, my hope is that you would have learned by now to stop singing. You have become. <laughs> that has not happened. You have but become. But I blame other people who indulge it. 
You have become, you know if I may be so bold, one of the a real, fan favorites. No, a real negative Nelly a on real, this show. A treasured shutting, friend. Shutting down shit from coast to coast. Oh, re- shutting down shit from coast to yeah, coast? Yeah, that's you. That's yeah. your theme song. Shutting down shit from coast to coast. Shutting down shit from coast to coast. Jason Manzook is here. Comedy Bang Bang. Scott Ackerman, recently deceased. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna feel so bad when I die. Oh, I am. Of course, I am. You're, you're and the only thing and I will all say, the jokes we made about it will make me feel better. Well, That's what's gonna make me feel better <laughs> no, about it. No, and I'll be like, remember that at the, at the very least, we got so much great material out no. of this inevitable event, and How now it you, has transpired. And it's the only thing that makes me feel better is knowing that I get this show. How do you think I'm gonna die? And I'm finally gonna have a successful relationship. How do you think it's gonna happen? How do you think I'm gonna die? Because I don't see you as an old man either. I don't think it's gonna happen. You think we both die young? I think we both die young, yeah. God, I hope not. I hope not, but I, I just don't see you as an old man. See, I already feel like an old man. Do you not feel? I feel like. I feel like, old for the first time in my life this yes, year. Yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm the last two years. I feel genuinely mm-hmm. like my eyes have gone. I see you I got, holding glasses. I got glasses, and I it makes me just like hate that I have to I wear started, them all the time. I started. Okay, now I have like, I have an eye problem. I had to start wearing glasses. I had to start using an eye drop. The eye drop is so powerful that it has now brought on early onset glaucoma. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. What? So I now have to go to an eye doctor at like the UCLA Medical Center for glaucoma and I sit in a waiting room surrounded by like 80 year old people oh. and me inexplicably like I guess now I've this is part of it. And you know what's good for that though is a little Oh 420 action oh! right Hey man get what? past that doobie What if you became a huge stoner? That'd be very, just because of this. That'd yeah. be pretty funny. You're just like, hey, bro. Hey, man. Oh, if on. I was, if you were like, can we, can we do the podcast at like four? I'd be like, no way, man. Four twenty. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, so you want to finish by four twenty, or you want to? No, do I got to be three at four twenty to puff. Okay, puff well, we can pass, take a, we bro. can take a break. Oh, no way, man. You don't have to pass either. You can just puff, puff. Nah, I puff, puff, pass because it's part of the scene, man. I remember when I was a kid. Uh, were you a kid though? <laughs> uh, you think I was just like an old man in well, a kid's body? Because you're, the way you're saying that you can't imagine me as, old, as an old man, you can't I can't imagine, imagine you as a kid. I feel like you came I, out I of your mother you at 29. You with that beard. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Coming out of that other beard. <laughs> Am I right, folks? <laughs> Her pussy! That is, I mean, a lot of people have asked if my whole beard is just all of my mother's pubic hair. <laughs> <laughs> that upon leaving, I carried just with like, me. You, for some reason, yep. you had such a sticky face yep. from her juices. <laughs> oh, wow. It was almost like waxing. Oh, her. you're really, my mom, a huge fan of the podcast. Oh, yeah. Way. Hey, this is going to have a real Lucas. problem with a lot of this. Love you. Um, uh, I, was a, I was a kid. I was a kid, uh, <laughs> as were you, I'm sure. Um, uh, but I, I, I didn't have a beard, but like I had a, like a little mustache pretty young. Did you? Like at a full-on mustache. At, I'm going to say like 12, 13. Really? I had like full-on like mustache. I couldn't grow one. I, could, I remember when I was Oh, 20, it was an issue. Or no, when I was 19, uh, the hard castle, I uh, was – what, I was auditioning for the dentist in Little Shop of Horrors. Oh, God. And I realized uh, that I didn't look, like, old enough. So I, I took one of those, like, stipple look, sponges. Uh-huh. And I did, like, you know, like, uh, stubble. Uh, stubble. Fake stubble, fake yeah. stubble all over my face. And and I remember I went to where I worked at Marie Calendars. And Wait, some people thought it was real. And were like, for oh, For your hey. school production? No, 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 I was 19. This was, like, Oh, a, 19. I'm yeah, sorry, sorry. I was at, it was, I was probably out of school. Yeah, like, like a, a college, community theater kind of thing. Yeah, oh, oh. Probably college theater, yeah. Okay. I, 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 from, I get it. From college eight, theater. You see how I tried to say community theater and he corrected me for college theater? <laughs> yeah, we get it. Community theater is probably bigger. I don't know. No, from 18 to 20, I would go to a college and just, you know, I did Jesus Christ Superstar. I uh-huh. did Evita. You did what? Evita. Oh, God. Hey, Vita. Oh, oh, God. I wish I could punch him hey, in the face. Hey, Vita. <laughs> hey, Vita. Hey, Vita. Hey, yeah. Vita. <laughs> hey, Vita. Hey, Vita. What's <laughs> up, girl? <laughs> Um, now, were you, did you play Evita? No, I played, no, what? <laughs> <laughs> I figured you would only do starring roles. <laughs> That's true, above the title only. <laughs> yeah, I would assume so. Uh, I did Magaldi, who is uh, the lounge singer that... Uh, don't care, don't know. Uh, uh, on this night of a thousand stars, let me take you to heaven's door. Is that how you would do it? Uh, I don't know, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, what do you think? I mean, it's not great. (laughs) 
Now, did you ever act in a play or anything like that? I acted in plays, just like straight plays. I never did. I can't sing or don't have any aptitude yeah. for that. So I never did musicals. In, in, in but, high school or in college? Um, in, bu- uh, bu- in college. In mm-hmm. college. In high school, I did like... Um, like sketch shows. I acted in like sketch show type right. stuff, but not plays. So that's not real acting. No, no. <laughs> no. And then in college, I acted in some straight plays, but then what, but not like really. Uh, not, all of which were like plays that were written by people at school. So not real plays. So it's not, not like, like real acting either. Correct. Correct. So, and I'm then have you waiting. ever done a movie where I'm you had to real act? I'm still waiting to really act. Yeah, I know. Oh, no, no. Do you ever think, do you ever get nervous? Like if someone goes, Hey, Jason, I was thinking, um, I have this drama movie. Do you, do you ever like get a knot in your gut? Like, God, I don't know if I could do that. I think, you know, what would you, what would genuinely scare me would be if I had to do like a, um, if I had to do, and, and I believe me, I would love to do this, like to be on a show like a David Milch show or an Aaron Sorkin show, mm-hmm. where not only is the language difficult, but you have to be word perfect for it. Right. Conceptually speaking, the idea of having to memorize the lines exactly as they are mm-hmm. is a skill set I do not have and I have see. never have never cultivated. So that is actually makes me uh, have a knot in my stomach. So just memorizing your lines, but you could do all the emotional beats, all that is no problem. I would hope so, but right. genuinely, like genuinely, don't know. I worry Untested about tested up until now. I worry about like getting a part in something like the newsroom or whatever because I give a really good audition, and then episode eight or whatever they go, okay, now we have to have you doing a scene in your apartment where you're just like sitting on the ground crying and then yeah. what do I do you know it's like <laughs> really you know good I mean? <laughs> oh, thank that was you. good it wasn't very I good ca- you, you remember the It Was that- Onions episode of Comedy Bang Bang I had to cry over a coffin and they yeah. were putting like all those fake tears yes. in my eyes and doing the irritating my eyes and I could not do any of that it's like I have to think though that part of the reason you couldn't do it was because it was the Onions episode it was of Comedy Bang Bang it was inherently silly <laughs> it was, <laughs> yeah like you are not like I, I, I and maybe I'm just I don't know and I've never been in this position mm-hmm. but I feel like if you had to do something that called for that in the context in which you were doing it, Mm -hmm. you would be much closer to being, being able to do it. Sure. Like if I was in the moment, I did do, uh, I was the understudy of Jesus in Jesus Christ superstar. And I did do like the big climactic, uh, crucifixion scene, and I, I only that scene. No, no, we did the whole play. Oh, okay. but <laughs> I was going to say, I'm did the guy about... <laughs> did the guy get sick like right before the end? <laughs> no, he got sick for the whole show. But we just came out and said, you know what, the guy's sick. Let's just do the last scene. You get the point. <laughs> But I did, uh, in that scene, I remember, uh, like, it being a big cathartic emotional yeah. experience and crying. And it was because I was, like, living the whole play. And I, you know. But I think it would be tougher in a movie where you're doing it over 46 days and not just and two out of hours order. in a row. Yeah, and out, and of, out order. of order. I think that would be very hard mm-hmm. to keep track. Almost because- like that courtroom with Al Pacino. What courtroom? It, you remember in, uh, it was out of order. Remember the uh, whole courtroom was out of order? <laughs> Come on, don't shut this shit down from coast to coast. <laughs> Revel in it. From coast to coast. Um, I know what you mean. But that, like that, tracking the emotional arc of a character over mm-hmm. the course of a movie, I- I've also never had to do. You know, like my characters in movies are pretty much the same emotionally wherever they are in the movie. I did do, They're a fucking maniac. I did do one movie. It was an independent film that uh, a friend of mine, Paul F. Tompkins, was also in. And interesting oh, enough fact on this I, movie. I'm he, a fan of his. He did not drive, but there's a scene where he had to arrive at a place in a car. And I think he he started when it was four feet away. And then in the movie, you see it like roll up to the place and then screech abruptly stop yep. and, and jerk I arrived, back and forth. I arrived, I'm in the middle of a story. Oh, it wasn't very good. I'm talking about something based on what you just it said. It would have been great to it. if the person who was featured in the story could be here to tell it, but it's like... I'm getting know. to the part about me. Uh. So I was, pl- I was playing this character that, uh, as far as I knew... I was just like the wise ass guy who mm-hmm. worked at a bar and I just like did all my lines really sarcastically and everything. And then the director came up to me and said, Oh, by the way, we put you into this one scene. You're not in the script, but you're in this scene where the main character has to be like just about to drink herself to death. And you come over and really dramatically take the bottle away and like, you know, put, give her a look in her eyes. And I'm like, that's not what I've been playing <laughs> at all. And so it's the most schizophrenic, weird performance of like, you know, Do you think like, that character is like, uh, meant to be a bipolar and like <laughs> was that your character's secret bipolar Amy Polar's <laughs> that's bi right. Amy uh, Polar's bi <laughs> whoa we're breaking some news what? she's bi uh, <laughs> 
Um, wait a second. Whoa, I was going to so say. So you were going to say. Uh, screeching I, to a stop. Exactly. I showed up on set once to do. Oh, the water. Ooh. Oh, yeah. oh maybe you're. Where are you in the world? Listening to this podcast, now realizing you have to pee much more than you thought you did. <laughs> Maybe you're on the way to work going, fuck, I got to pee Maybe now. you're in traffic. Maybe you're on a subway. You can't pee here. Mm -hmm. Look Are around you. Somebody has peed on this car, though. Should there be bathrooms on subways? No, no. What? You don't think no. so? <laughs> oh, categorically, no. But like a whole car. Nope. A whole oh. the back car. Oh, well, that the caboose. Well, that usually is the bathroom car. <laughs> right. But you know what I mean? Like, should they just make a whole caboose where it's like, look, guys. Or it, just a hole in the ground. Yeah, just a hole, a hole in the car. Yep. Yeah, where it's just like squat over this. Yep. <laughs> what well, that would be amazing if people would just get up and walk to a hole in the subway car. Would they do it? And just start shitting their brains. Like, okay, the first person to do it away, would be would be embarrassed. How far away are we from sh people shitting in public? I think pretty close. I mean, everyone, <laughs> no one minds sex tapes, right? Like, no, you know, at yes. this point, it's like. <laughs> At this point, it's like anyone you want to see naked practically has a sex tape. And sure. it's like, yeah, okay, yeah, I have a sex tape. Oh, what? You know, you so that's. <laughs> Wait, you do? I don't personally. Does it feature your big, lumpy cock? <laughs> big and lumpy. Big, lumpy cock. Hey, it's Tom Hanks here. Have you checked out my cock yet? Yeah, big, lumpy cock. <laughs> but you know what I mean? It's not that far off of just like, you know, like uh, so many celebrities are out there, you know, playing with their poons. But or, what I'm saying is like, uh, oh, playing with their poons? <laughs> I mean, like, you know what, man? You know what, man? <laughs> but so we have to respect people in, you know, playing with their poons is but, just totally cool. But for, I'm for, not going to slut shame the poon players. No, no, and that's what I'm saying. But uh, so many of these people are hacked. But but so many They're people hacks. just ha hacked. They're hacks. But they, you know, I'm shutting that shit the, down from uh, coast, uh, to coast, coast to coast because I'm trying to make a point here. <laughs> okay. But so many people willingly put it out now, and it's just like stuff where they're like, "Hey, a dude coming on you? Oh, great. Okay. Yep. You know that? How far away are we from just people going like?" Ah, fuck it. Yeah. And just like, <laughs> yep. Um, I feel like that is, I feel like uh, we're not far away from that. I do. I feel like we Great are. Great point. We, we are weeks away from public. <laughs> weeks away? From, wow. Wait, from public, you think by the end of the year? Public shit stations. <laughs> public shit stations. What, what do you mean when you say public shit stations? Do like, you, mean you like, know, like areas in public where you can just like. Walk. Where it's not walled off. No. Like a bathroom. It's just it's like just some like, chicken wire. It's, like, it's basically like a dog Like a dog park. walk. <laughs> yeah. Versus yeah. like just going there. Yeah. I bet that's how it starts. I mm -hmm. bet people start using dog parks as toilets. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know. But that's, I would say the first person is going to be embarrassed of like, really? This is legal? And then feel ashamed. And <laughs> and then by. I love that legality is your main concern. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, really? This is. I, I'm not I want to shit in public. I'm just not sure if it's legal or not. I, I want to shit in public. I don't want to get arrested, though. Well, look, you know what I mean? Of like, look, people are going to hey, be look. This hey, is a weird situation. Hey, people are going to be looking at hey, me. Hey, Jeff, my lawyer. Hey, quick question. Uh, Excuse me. I want to Why take are you a, bothering me with this? I want to take a hot deuce in public. <laughs> yes. Where are ask, we vis a vis look, the you law? You asked me every day. The law was just passed today. <laughs> yes, you can do it. Okay, cool, cool, because I'm going to drop it out. But you know, the first person would be like, this is kind of a weird situation. Yeah. And then by hour one, everyone yeah, would be everyone's on board. Like, everyone's just doing it. We can do this. Oh, this is Wait. what we do now? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Yeah, it's hey, 420, Hey, by the way, it man. is 420. 420, brother. Well, as, we, as the crow flies, it's 420 yeah. as we're recording this. Pass uh, that grass, bro. Hey, no one rides for free, so I'm going to have to ask for some ass. <laughs> um, um, he has and a, I'm looking to get wet <laughs> like a gremlin after midnight. <laughs> um, we've talked, obviously, everyone has talked about what's the cutoff. At what point is it sun up then? That you can feed them? Oh, I'm assuming, yeah. Uh, Gremlins, were you there in the theater on opening night? No. No, I Where was there you? for the shooting of Gremlins, though. What uh, does that mean? I was on set. How many Gremlins were shot on uh, this film <laughs> if they wouldn't behave? I was part of the great Gremlin hunt of 1998. <laughs> you and Brian Ferry just, like, <clears throat> looking for Gremlins in the woods. Me and Brian Ferry yeah, from well, he, Roxy Music? Yes. He likes to love? He likes to go fox hunting, and so... Um, oh, got it. Yes. So you think he would also be amenable yes. to Gremlin oh, hunting? Oh, I'm sure that goes on in England. And by the way, you don't need when to you're explain Brian Ferry's love for fox hunting. Everybody oh, in the comedy bang-bang bang audience knows no, this. No, it's a problem issue with uh, liking Brian Ferry. Do you have a problem with people who hunt? Um, I if guess someone was to say to you, oh, I'm going hunting next week, blah, blah, blah. I'd be like, hunt and tail? Or just hunting like actual animals? Yeah, I mean animals. Animals. Uh, 
Not I, like a poontang hunt, if that's what you're talking about. That's what you're saying. You said not tail. Me. You said tail, which is even um, weirder. Okay, so what uh, what are they hunting? Great question. Do you have a? Is there an animal that you have a cutoff for? Is there if anything you don't eat for humane reasons? Not for humane reasons. Okay. Um, for inhumane reasons. Correct. <laughs> yes. Human flesh. <laughs> I'm a weirdo. The most dangerous prey. Um, I guess, I don't know, is like, sometimes you think like a rhino. Is that bad? Yeah, it's bad. Sometimes right? you think like a rhino, you'd yeah, be like, you I want to like, decide what I'm going to do <laughs> this, this week. Thing on what my would nose? a rhino do? <laughs> Why are people <laughs> throwing rings onto my nose? Is that what mostly is happening to rhinos? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the used, ultimate indignity. They're, they're just being used for ring toss? <laughs> <laughs> We're here with Jason Manzoukas, of course. Uh, you remember from The Dictator, when The Dictator stormed the shores of our uh, movie theater. Oh, yeah. Yes. And took over the world. Just and, like lit uh, the world on fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would you like to light the world on fire? This is a serious question. Well, I mean, like as somebody who is, you know, of course, captivated by flames and their destructive power. Sure. Um, as Def Leppard once said, pyromaniac. Well, I'm a you, yeah, they said it. Are you proud of that? <laughs> Am I proud, proud of, of it? No. Am I proud of anything? No. I really want you to sit in that for a minute. <laughs> Shame on you. Pyromaniac. Look at I out, think it was dude. pyromania. But they said First pyromaniac at one point in the song. They said, I'm a pyromaniac. So in your fucking face. The record is called Pyromania. C certainly. But they, if I had said, as Def Leppard once said, Pyromania, you maybe are, in their personal life they said it. Are, like, hey, let's play that song, you Pyromania. You are spitting on the missing arm of Rick Allen. I, I don't feel good. No, really? No. What, what's, what's I don't matter? know. I just feel out of I feel out of sync. Oh, yeah? You ever been in sync? Yes. In the band, in sync? Sure. Sure. Yeah. Worked out really well for Lance, <laughs> yeah, Justin, totally. and the boys. Absolutely. Can you, <laughs> name, can you name two more? Okay, you got two Lance, Lance, Justin, Bass. and the boys. Justin and the boys. <laughs> you got, uh, of course, you got uh, Chris Kirkpa Kirkpatrick. Nope, that's boys, that's boys no. to men, isn't Bull it? Bull fucking shit. Okay. Chris Kirkpatrick. You got uh, Joey Fatone. Oh, okay. And, uh, I, then, I thought he was boys to men as well. Boys to men? Not what boys are to you men, talking not boys about? To men. Backstreet Boys. Backstreet Boys is what I mean. Sorry. Oh, my Backstreet Lord. Boys. Apologies. Who am I having a conversation? You're not taking over the show. You don't know shit like this. This is the shit that nobody who hosts this show should JC know. JC Chazé. Chazé, bro. <laughs> a, B, C, uh, D, C, America's Best mm -hmm. Dance Crew. What if Chardé? He, he used to be a judge on that. Loved that show. Yeah, Jabberwockies. The first two years of it. What yep. if Chardé men um, mentioned <laughs> JC Chazé? I meant to say Mary, it, oh, but I'll go with my what, original yeah. thing. What if what she would, mentioned him? What would that sound like, Scott? <laughs> This is leading into your into this your. This is no ordinary love. You know who I like is JC Chazé. <laughs> That's it. That's your flawless Chazé impression that you're always talking yeah. about. Mm -hmm. You um, leave me voicemail messages all the time as Chazé, and hello. I always think it's you hello. singing Diamond Life. Hello, Jeffrey Character Weedies. <laughs> On my Jeffrey character Wheaties, uh, <laughs> your burner, uh, that, my burner phone. <laughs> you still haven't burned it. You've had that for years. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's got all my phone numbers in it. Yeah. Oh, that's where you're keeping all your phone numbers on the burner. Yep. No, all, switch those. I made a real mistake and linked my address book to the burner phone. Oh no. So now I can't get rid of it. Is that a LinkedIn thing? Yeah, it's a whole LinkedIn uh, thing. LinkedIn is the only social media that I'm on. Have you tried it, LinkedIn? <laughs> Please accept any of my invitations from any of my character you aliases. Gotta get LinkedIn these days. <laughs> Um, I don't know a single person who's on LinkedIn, but I get them all the time. All the time. All the time. It, it, isn't there a lawsuit about them? But here's the thing. I believe it to be, at, at a certain point, I was like, oh, this must entirely just be a scam. But it is not. It is like, like a legitimate it's, business social media. It's but like it a scam been, like the, uh, what's the website where everyone signed up trying to have an affair? The Ashley Madison? Oh, so you know about that. Uh, Interesting. I'm, I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> I'm single. You're even, one of those people trying to bone if, married ladies. Even if I was on Ashley Madison, it wouldn't matter. <laughs> um, no, I, I feel like people get spammed so much from LinkedIn that they're that internally they should be like, oh, we are synonymous with a scam. I we need they, to I we th need to check this I think before we wreck this. Hello, hello. Am I on? Did I, I can hear you. Somehow get turned down. To? Okay, there we go. Uh, All right. I don't know what's happening with the boards. Oh, These. Are, this is the second show in a Tune row in where there's week, sound guys, problems. Lead I feel, host Jason I, like, We need new equipment or something. I don't know what's happening. Oh boy, you're gonna be a ghost soon. <laughs> <laughs> you, 
<laughs> you think I'll be a ghost? That's a kind thought. Oh, I, appreciate I think you that. will be a ghost hunting the Earwolf Studios. <laughs> Just these studios, yeah. not my home. No, not your home, Daddy, because it will be my home with the Widow Kula. <laughs> and I'll be going, no, Jason. I'll be trying to like pottery wheel you. Know what you. it's going to be? There will just be uh, on all Earwolf podcasts. There will be like like little fade ins of like audio that you can't quite. What's it? Man. Yeah, exactly. What's it called? Um, what's that called? The movie? Uh, oh, okay. Let's start with Citizen Kane. No. Best film ever. <laughs> no. Oh, fuck. Where people hear voices on recordings. Well, talkies were invented probably <laughs> in the 1920s. Those ghost hunters, uh, e- EVP or electro voice projection or something. Oh, ghost whatever. hunters? The Screw movie? You. Screw wait, there's, you. Oh, wait. Uh, the, uh, uh, the flashbacks. No. No, what? it doesn't matter. It's gone now. I hate everything. I'm, the flashbacks. <laughs> what am what I you thinking just of? Said, what from am I Lost? thinking of? No. From, from Lost? No, no. I'm th- okay, I'm thinking of the that. Flash forwards. The Julia Roberts Kiefer Sutherland movie. I'm talking about the, the Michael flashbacks. Keaton Michael Keaton movie where he's talking through the radio to Jim Caviezel. What? Michael Keaton. And isn't that some sort of like, it's like a ESP or it's one of those things, EVP I think is what it might be, but it's like, is that what it is? Yeah. Thank you. Wait, is this Aliens versus Predator? What does it stand for? <laughs> Do you know? Did you look it up? I think it's electronic voice phenomenon. Oh, I like that. Okay, that's what it is. That's what you're going to do. Electronic voice oh, this was, this phenomenon. This is a long way to go for just this payoff, which is mm-hmm. not satisfied. That's what you're going to do on all Earwolf podcasts. I'm just going to like show up on the, when people listen to the podcast, but I, I will not actually be there in the room. Is no, that what you're yeah, to your say? voice will be heard. Will be heard. Because yes. you're a ghost. Finally, my voice will, you be, will be heard. You will be a ghost. Um, do you think, do you want to be a ghost or do you want to go on? Okay, say there's no, there's no afterlife. Okay. Okay. If there is no afterlife, okay. would you prefer to be a ghost or would you prefer to be Dunzo? Hmm. D- oh, boy. We all know if there's an afterlife, now, obviously oh, you're going to want to now, uh, here's transcend. The, here's and, this question. Yeah. Well, Being a ghost. A question, but all right. Yes. Is a, well, I don't know. Oh, is this, this is would part you rather? Of, is no, this, no. I don't know what we're doing, but if no, I'm a ghost, is there a, am, am I a ghost in order to settle something? Is it unfinished business or is it just hanging around? It could be. It could be either. Which would you prefer out if of those? Okay. If there is unfinished business, I would mm-hmm. choose the ghost until I finish that business. And what kind of business are you envisioning? Are you envisioning? I don't know. A love that didn't know that I loved them. Uh, a child that didn't. That's easy that enough. That to takes you like one day. You go, ooh, I well, love which you. Point, at which point? No. Wait, I'm, a, I'm that kind of a ghost? Yeah. I'm a rated G <laughs> ghost from a cartoon? <laughs> <laughs> are you sure it's not G just for ghost? Are you sure it's not just me in a Scooby Doo situation? <laughs> and you take off the mask, and, and I'm you... like, "It's me. I'm your father." <laughs> um, I would, I would, I would finish unfinished business. But if there wasn't any of that and it was just hanging around, I'd be donezo. Just hang okay, but just and, hanging around, I feel like would be a hell unto itself. Yeah, but you get to see like a bunch of stuff that you never would get to see otherwise. You like, know what I mean? Oh, like what? Know. Like so, uh, people's boobies? Can I go anywhere? Can I see yeah. anybody's tits? Yeah, you can see any, anybody's tits. Do I have tits. unfettered tit access? <laughs> okay, then I'm hanging around <laughs> right. for in for eternity. <laughs> For eternity, okay, all the tits you want. Because then you would really... Could I go backwards in time? Because I would love uh, to see the who's, difference. Who's you want to see? The, no, no, not this necessarily that. The, the difference in boobs in the in the millennia. Do you think they've gotten bigger, smaller, rounder? Oh, such a good question. Bigger, smaller, and rounder. That's my documentary. <laughs> the documentary I'm making about boobs, bigger, BSR. smaller, rounder. <laughs> Um, well, I mean, how do you think it's they've a, changed over the years? They probably, they I don't know. I mean, like as body types change, I'm sure they changed sure, accordingly. I mean, when people were bigger, uh, I'm sure they were big, big, big fat slappers and <laughs> 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 the BFS. Yeah. And when, when the fashion became skinny minis, I'm sure they became teeny tiny mosquito buddies. <laughs> You think that people went to the itty bitty titty committee around yep. then? Hard to believe I'm single, isn't it? <laughs> um... So uh, now, what if there is, what if there is an afterlife, but it's only a hell? Do you want to be a ghost? No. You want to go to hell? No. Oh no, I'll be Dunzo. But, uh, the Dunzo's not part oh, of so the deal. So you're taking a, oh, but you offered it explicitly as one of the original options. Well, Dunzo. this is a new thing. This oh, okay, is, okay. So a new question. Okay. New question. If there's ghost. there's a hell and or oh, a ghost. ghost, but you don't get to see un- unfettered tit access. That's fine. Ghost still. Still. Ghost. Can I go to concerts? Yeah, I guess you could. Great. 
Yeah. Can I can I go backwards in time and see concerts? Yeah. Great. Why not? I'm I'm, I'm miles live at the Blackhawk. Done. I bet the concerts were not that good up until maybe you are five wrong. years ago. Oh my god! I want to see I want to <laughs> see Yes in concert in like 1972. ELO with a big no. Sp- what? I hate ELO. Okay. What about uh, Funkadelic with a big space? Great. I would okay. love that. I, I, I want to see James Brown at the Apollo. I don't think sound. I think I think if you go backwards, you're going to find them antiquated. You know what I mean? You're if if like you start at say the U2 show with, you know, all of the modern U2 was one of my favorite concerts. Right. I, one of my first concerts actually. So, but if you U2 start U2 at the at the Boston Garden Joshua Tree tour. If you start with a recent U2 show no, and you start you. going back, well, I'm mean, uh, what I'm your fondness for U2 is not shared by me. No, but what point. I'm trying to say is the technological advances are such that yeah. if you start going backwards, you're going to start going, "Oh, concerts weren't all that good." Oh, that you're oh, I see what you're saying. You're saying basically Oh, I can't hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think it would still be cool. I would still, I would go to like, I would still go to Altamont just to mm-hmm. be like, I'm going to see somebody get murdered. Oh, <laughs> come on. Well, but then there's a ghost who hangs out with you after that. Great. Then I, well, you're telling me I get ghost buddies? Ghost buddies. I'm into it. Ghost buddies. <laughs> we are currently writing ghost buddies. <laughs> I'm writing the female reboot. <laughs> Of Ghost Buddies? Of Ghost Buddies, yeah. What if we did a see it with three Ghost Buddies movies? Okay, the Ghost Buddy verse. We made and released them before <laughs> Ghostbusters came out. Yes. How could we do that? <laughs> As it's it? supposed to come out next summer. We, I feel this like, summer. I feel like we could shoot three movies. You think we could? And edit them? I mean, like of Sharknado level Oh, quality. definitely, definitely, definitely. You What's going I mean? on with Sharknado, by the way? If you don't listen to How Did This Get Made, it's Jason's podcast with Paul and Diane. Uh, Paul and June. Hold on. (laughs) Sorry. sorry, Sam and Diane. Sam and Diane. Will they, won't they? (laughs) And they did. They did. (laughs) Um, And uh, uh, we talk about Sharknado on it. Yes, uh, you you have been our guest. We've put it out there. We want to write the next one, and people keep writing to the people of the right. One of the guys wrote to us. Somebody wrote to the guy that writes them. Thunder Levin is his name. (laughs) Real name. Right. And said, hey, when are you going to let the How Did This Get Made people and Scott Ackerman write the next Sharknado? And he kind of sounded angry. He was like, "That's a pa- I think that's, that's my, my job. job. Yeah, he was like, I'd do that. Yeah. Why would I let strangers do that? And I, listen, he has a, a completely valid point. He could have been a little He has written it. them, you know. Um, but if not, just let us, I don't know, star in them? Yeah, star. Exactly. <laughs> Isn't it interesting that something like that for Ian Zeering? Yeah. Uh, it seems like, oh boy, why do I want to do this? And it's completely... I call him Steve Sanders, but let's not worry sure. about it. But it's completely reinvigorated his career, whereas oh, yeah. it could have, well, okay. on the flip of a coin, been something that was like laughable. Oh, and- yeah. I mean, like we're not talking about any of the other people in any sci-fi movies right, as exactly. having like a career resurgence. But let's be fair, I also don't necessarily see... Like Martin Scorsese now casting Ian Zeering off of Sharknado. Wouldn't that be amazing? That would be um, no. if he like had if somebody hey, Tarantino okay, I got a new muse. If someone Tarantinoed him, you uh-huh. know, like took a like John to like John Travolta him basically. You know what I don't like is when is when actors try to get Tarantino. Yes. You know when they like, put it out like there in the press. Win. Someone just did it recently. I forgot who it was like. I think Tarantino and I could make a good movie oh, together. Oh, I see what you mean. Someone who basically is on a career yeah, yeah, yeah. wane. You know, but I think you know Tarantino who, and I could do something really interesting. Together. You know who I am excited to see do a, a Tarantino movie who I don't think needs any help. But uh, in the way that Travolta did, uh, who I'm thrilled is like, I feel like back in action, full force. Looney Tunes is, <laughs> Bugs Bunny? is Kurt Russell. Yeah, well, Kurt Russell's yeah. going to be in Hateful Eight, and, and he, was he was in Death Proof. He was good in Death Proof. He was awesome in Death Proof, and he was—I thought he was the best part of uh, the last Fast and Furious movie. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. I like the cars. Sure, the car. I love. Beep beep. <laughs> 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 this is just us building out our soundboard of car noises. Do you want to come over and play tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Hold on. Let me ask my mom. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Do you want to play cars or GI Joes? <laughs> well, we could put the GI Joes on top of the cars. Oh, sweet. Sweet. Yeah. They're not to scale, but. I think it was so My hard. mom did recently ask me what I wanted to do with all my old Star Wars toys that are in the And attic. what did you want to I do? Said, Save them. <laughs> are you crazy? You crazy bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that is a fortune in Boba Fett's up there. 
Why? So why not sell them? No, nah, I'm not going to sell them. <laughs> they're not that. I mean, they're they're. I played with them. They're not. They're, oh, they're, they're out of that. the box. Oh yeah, they're oh. not. They're not mint. Sometimes to think outside of the box is nice, but to play with toys. Oh, the best. Devalues them. I know, but I mean, what are you going to do? We can't live like that. Yeah. Well, so the, 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 <laughs> you're a grown man. Wow. You're a you're hey, a, you're a, you're a <laughs> hey here's something hey, here's something oh it's Shane Lemon you're a gr- you're, 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 you're a grown ass man hey, well, 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 why not have your mom Come send you your toys on my airplane hanger of course every once in a while I'll get a call from a uh, publicist and and they'll say a big Hollywood star is oh, very interested this in is appearing like, on the program this show is awful this with, is the worst show of the year so far with a awful bragging with a on your part hot Hollywood project coming Hollywood out Hollywood publicists have your number yes. Lucky they do. you. They call me on speed dial. Is speed dial still a thing, by the way? Is that a real question? Speed, remember when speed dial came out? Yes, it was like, I don't still have, a thing. I have limited time you have favorites in on my your phone? calling capabilities. You have the time phone. of day I have to call people is oh, so limited. Man, you are I need like to out of streamline today. the dialing process. People are fast forwarding, hoping that you perish. Uh, how is how many times uh, duh, 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 spit who's it out, been on you more than me? Moron. Who's been on more than me? Is what I want to know. There's an easy way to say that. Who's been on more than me? I just said it. English, my child. Oh, God. Um, I don't know. I'm not really interested in those kinds of, you know, bits of trivia about comedy banging. I just sure, prefer sure, to sure. do the work. Other yeah, people can reflect about upon it, and, and all the Hollywood you know, uh, that are trying to get other in people touch can with annotate it and certainly oh, uh, make their wikis about it. But uh-huh. uh, I prefer to just put my head forward. Sure, sure, sure. Mm, blinders on, my dear boy. Okay. <laughs> God, so many my dear boys already. <laughs> yep. If you're counting my dear boys, I think we're already at three for we're the We're at app. the MDB three count. Ugh. Um, Jason, uh, Scotty, you certainly did step in, and you? I appreciate that. I saw you yesterday. Let's talk yes. about this. I saw you. We had we had made plans yesterday, did we Correct. not? You we and did. I. We were going to go see John Wick. Chapter two. Chapter two. Very excited. Of to which see it. I hope there. This is a twenty-seven, twenty-eight chapter. I would. I would watch it like that. Yes. Thrillology. I'm like. I could not be a more enormous fan of John Wick Chapter One. What we all now know to be Chapter One. They should have called it Chapter One. Don't I, you agree? I think. I, I think that we, we, you know releasing a movie like that with a Chapter One is pretty hubristic. To uh, but presume. I mean, that's the thing. If you don't call it Chapter One, you should not be allowed to make a Chapter Two. Really? <laughs> yes, you should. When you when you come out with a movie like so, say, this should be Chapter One. Yes, exactly. Chapter Two should be Chapter One, <laughs> and John Wick is the introduction. <laughs> exactly. And then there should be an epilogue okay. and footnotes and a oh. bibliography. Oh, okay. No, but if you, uh, what's a movie out uh, right now in theaters? Uh, Lego Batman. You should call sure. it Lego Batman 1 or else you're not allowed by Hollywood to make a sequel. That has been proven not true by every single movie and sequel in history. Well, Star Wars episode, uh, what was it, 4? What was the first one, 4? <laughs> really? You're a big Star Wars head, right? Yes. You're a, what, what do you call him, a Wookiee? Yeah, I'm a Wookiee. Man, you are just on fire. You know what, buddy? Hmm. Not a fan today. Not a fan? Well, you certainly were a um, fan yesterday when we made episode plans. Episode four, yes. Yes. And, and, and did I, spoiler alert, I did not make the movie. You did not make the movie. You, bu- you the bought movie. all the tickets. I bought all the tickets. Matter. Let's roll down the credits of who was there. Sure. Okay, Go we have it. Nick Kroll. Yes. Special appearance by Seth Morris. Yes. And featuring, or introducing, introducing I think. Kulafi Lysok. Yep. And starring myself. No, nope, no, nope. I think I, I think you were like a grip on this. We all were going to go to John Wick Chapter Two, and you approximately, hmm, I'm going to say 12 minutes. Yes. Prior to the movie starting, Correct. texted all of us in a fury, saying, "Not a fury, just as an as an update, as a concerned citizen." Yeah, not a concerned citizen, just as an update on my whereabouts. Would you call this an update? Yeah. I have run out of gas. Can someone please help me? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's an update yes. on your whereabouts. Yes. Okay. I didn't say, can someone please help me? I was saying, if somebody were to have gas in their house. Who has gas in their anybody house? Anybody who has a lawnmower. 12 minutes anybody before. Anybody who has a lawnmower. Anybody who has a lawnmower. I don't know. I get it. You're a big, fancy Hollywood bigwig. You got people that come and mow your lawn, your estate lawn. <laughs> 
It does not take a Hollywood bigwig to have a gardener. Oh, Practically wow every, I would t- Okay. And wow maybe this is the Hollywood bubble I live Here in. Here we but are. Le- let's break down the Lock percentages of up. people Lock who have, him up. Lock who have him up. gardening services Lock him up. or some sort of, uh, 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 what do you call it when you someone's a gardener? And they Speak, my dear boy. Nailed it. <laughs> MDB4. Uh. Um, what percentage of people do you think have a gardener? I would say- In Los Angeles? 78, 82%. Yeah. No, not just in Los Angeles. I mean, worldwide. Oh, no. Not worldwide, I'm 70 saying. to 82%. <laughs> yeah. That just shows how out of touch you are. There are so many people listening to this podcast right now on their way to Thank work. Thank you. On the bus. Thank you very much. Working on the All right, subway, let's get walking to, around. Let's get to the story. The Thank you so You're much the for the compliment. There are so many people listening. Oh, uh, and not as many people that listen to How Did This Get Made, I will say that. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. You're gonna start pulling rank on your show, which comes gonna, out so infrequently just drink my that coffee. it can build up listeners. What do I know? I'm just saying. I prefer to put when out we're a regular product. The length of our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, uh, you never made the movie, but I did happen to see you on the streets. Uh, not on the only, street. I will say this. Not yeah. only did I run out of gas, mm-hmm. but upon then trying to push my car out of the middle of the street, I locked my keys in my car. Yes. That was the part that we didn't understand because we were saying, just get to the theater because you were about a block away. Correct. Just I get to the theater. We'll, yeah. we'll drive you to gas afterwards. Nope. And then we have also found out you locked <laughs> like my keys in my car. Because that was my plan. I was like, oh, I'll just walk to the theater. Sure. And then afterwards, we'll figure out the gas situation. Sure. But then as I was pushing the car out of the street and the door closed behind me, the keys were still inside. And who does not have a car that you can't lock your keys in your car anymore? You know what I mean? Like, my it's car's not from possi- 1989. <laughs> Is <laughs> to it drive really? a car from 1989. Why? <laughs> You're, Did I you mean, not know that? I, I I I guess I didn't. I mean, you know, look, I, it's not like it. I have the greatest car in the world. But 1989, well, you the drive, Taylor Swift. You drive a Kia Sedona, right? I don't know what either of those words mean. A Hyundai Sonata. What do no, you no, no. Have you ever heard of the word Porsche? Mm. My dear boy. Oh God. <laughs> MDB5. Are you drive Porsche to Rossi round? <laughs> <laughs> Jason. How are we doing? Not good. Not one of our best. Not one of not the best. One of, look, not look, one of the best. Let's get off this whole talk about gas Should and we, petrol and uh, yeah, okay, you know, cars that we you drive. You wanted to tell this story. I did, merely because I wanted to say that. We were going to the movies the, yesterday. We were going to the movies yesterday, and we had not even a glimmer in either of our eyes that our big Hollywood Big Shot guest would drop out <laughs> mere hours before the show, oh. and that I would ask you to do this very show. And that, and that, you know what? I will say this. How nice is it that the universe robbed us of an opportunity to hang out tomorrow, yesterday, <laughs> right. but gave us an opportunity to hang out today? Mm-hmm. Why you're being such a dick about it today, when I do not know. God closes a door, he opens Are you, are you very religious? The door. I'm very religious. Very yes. religious. Yes. I mean, uh, you know, it's not one religion, were it's you probably raised, all religions. Were you raised religious? I was, yes. Yeah? Yeah, I was. Why? I'm just curious. You, really? It sounds like you're about to go on the attack. Zero percent. I'm genuinely curious if you were raised religious. I mean, uh, d- did I sing in Sunday school the wonderful song about I'm not made from a monkey? How does that <laughs> sure, go? Sure, of course I did. How does that I'm go? not made from a monkey. A monkey ain't made from me. Is this a real thing? This is a real Ooh, thing. I love, see, I love this. Now I'm well, glad I asked. How you're a fan you? of music in general. I'm a fan of music. I'm not a fan of you singing. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> Nor am I a fan of musicals, mm-hmm. uh, which I know that is that is your bread and butt. Mm-hmm, my B&B. Yep. Um, <laughs> did you say bread and bud? <laughs> but. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, but so you, did you butt. do did you do musicals in church, like church musicals? I may have done a few, I certainly. Like yeah, I like that. I may have done. Was uh, that where you yes. caught the 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 musical bug, the the theater bug? I did catch the theater bug around that time. You're right. Now I'm putting it together. When you bring it up, certainly it may have started in church. I'm a lot like Beyonce in that uh, respect. I, I started off singing in the church choir, and just that's ingrained in me and so that's when you hear me this singing, is not the first time i've heard you compare yourself to beyonce actually mm-hmm. did you mm-hmm. watch the grammys i did watch the grammys yes oh actually when what, what day is it right now it, it was well, the grammys were a while ago oh but they we were a while ago did watch okay it, yes. disregard them yeah i mean you know it's not necessarily relevant yeah, the oscars are coming up it's Ooh. We're, we're winding down february Fe- yes that's true we're uh, let's talk about the oscars oh do we need to talk about uh, snubs Who do you, flubs? snubs flubs what do you got what do you? How many snubs do you have? How many flubs do you have? I don't know. When you're counting up the Oscars, I haven't really. I did not pay too too much attention to 
What's going on? Well, we got Moonlight, of course. Of course. Wonderful. I'm on board. I, I love that movie. Um, I, thought, I liked it. I thought there was a weird kind of, and maybe you might have noticed it, like a homoerotic subtext going on in it. I thought it was like very, very, very under the surface, I thought. I don't know what you mean. Mm-hmm. I, I just, uh, I mean, maybe I'm a smart cinephile and I just, I noticed it. But. Oh, you know, you're a very astute movie, yeah. movie uh, uh, analy- uh, movie analyzer. Go- Movie uh, uh, analyzer. Uh, God. Analyze this. Jason, <laughs> stop flipping me up. Can we get a picture? Where is Kevin with his photos? He's um, always barging in here at the, the wrong inopportune time. Look. The uh, wrong inopportune time? Stop. We're just okay, stop, a mess. Stop, We're a mess. You enough. stop. Enough. You stop. Enough. You stop. You I'm not stop. doing this anymore with I you. Win. You know what? We're going to take a break. No, this we're not taking bang. a break. What? We still have much more to talk about. Fine. Who, do, who, who out of anyone in Hollywood who has not won <laughs> yeah. an Oscar? Sure. And that's not just Who's, people. Yes, of course. Not just people nominated for this year. But just people that are in Hollywood. People in Hollywood. Who would you like to see win that Oscar gold? I will say this. Almost every time I see a movie and I think to myself, ooh, I wish that movie had been cast differently. Mm. The person that I always want in one of the roles is um, is Sam Rockwell. Sam Rockwell. Sam Interesting. Rockwell. From Charlie's Angels. Oh, one, chapter one. I guess so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> from Charlie's Angels. Has he done anything since? By the way, and you shouldn't be able to call your sequel Full Throttle unless your first one is called Half Throttle. And it's so weird because you are wearing a Charlie's Angels full throttle t-shirt today. I am. I love it. <laughs> I love that film. Um, so, so, and he doesn't have an Oscar, so I'd, I'd give Sammy, Sam Rockwell. Sammy hasn't been up to a lot lately that I've noticed. He's in stuff, but you're Have right. you worked with him before? No, never. Never? Never. I have you ever think, met him before? I've met him just like socially. Like, did you do one of these? I did like, one of these. We shook hands. Right, right. Yeah, Jason and I were both uh, sort of gesturing our hands up and down mm-hmm. in a sort of a vertical manner. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. And you grasped the hand as well? We clasped hands. Right. Okay, good. And good. shook them good to know. vigorously. Good to know. Okay, good, good. Um, um, so Sam Rockwell's your guy. I think he's, I think almost every movie would be better with Sam Rockwell. Yeah, I can see that. You know what I mean? Like, um... Um, like, name a movie, like uh, Fifty, here, Shades, okay. Fifty Shades Darker. So this movie that, oh, yeah, great. Fifty Shades Darker, 100% better in, in Sam place Rockwell. of Dakota Johnson. <laughs> okay, yeah. It's just Jamie Dornan and Sam Rockwell. I would, I would be there. By the way, into it. Um, Very into it. But, uh, oh, no, I would swap out Jamie Dornan in a heartbeat. Really? I don't, I don't see, I don't I know this Dornan I would swap out guy. Jamie Dornan with a bag of highway oranges. <laughs> And I think that would be a more erotic movie, <laughs> like legitimately. What, I don't know. I, I've I've never seen the films. I've just seen clips of it. You know, yeah, like I'll when be- you jerk off <laughs> when you're watching it on, on Pornhub, you're like, ooh, oh, now I'm done. <laughs> you, That's you. You are severely mischaracterizing my That's sex you. life. That's you. Yeah, right. Look, but what is this Dornan guy? Cool from? Up's like Scott. What are you doing? Uh, uh oh. <laughs> What, who is this gentleman who? from the Fifty Shades uh, franchise? By the way, they did, they, they did it right. Fifty Shades of Grey. Fifty Shades They're based on darker books. They're than They're based Grey. on books. Oh, okay. They can. Yeah. So who, what is he from? You blew it. You blew it, by you the way. It, Kevin's buddy. in here. Kevin's in here. You missed it. You missed it. You missed you it, idiot. pal. Oh, God. What is, what is this gentleman from? Oh, he is, I think the thing that is was, he like, was he on Suits or something? No, no. I think he was from The Fall. I think that's the big thing that he was from, the British show The Fall. With, what is The um, Fall? What is The with Fall? With Gillian Anderson. It is Gillian a, Anderson um, from The Hex From The X files um, That was his thing. He was the, I think he was the bad guy in C, the uh, in the show The Fall. Ooh, now you've piqued my interest. It's a, it's a British crime show, a la your broad churches or your mm-hmm. happy valleys. Or what is that one that Christian Braun is in? Oh, I don't know. What is it, the, the weirdo detective? The weirdo detective? He's in some show. He keeps talking about it on the show. He's on some like crime show. I think it's on BBC or something like that. Oh, the, I don't know what it is. The 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 artful dodger or something. Oh, okay. Yeah, Maybe. something like that. Anyway, it's some guy's name. I can't remember. Anyway, it's not worth it. Don't even look it up. Wow. Um, wow. <laughs> this is you. So you're telling your audience to not watch that show? I wouldn't watch it if I were them. I oh, wouldn't watch it. Okay. I'm, and first of all, I will say. Watch, first of all, I am glad I am not my audience. Yeah, I will say. I'm whoa. glad I'm me. Wow. We. I'm glad I'm me. See, and you know what? Them. I would love to be my audience. Because I think they're great. I'm talking about the audience for How Did This Get Made, which far surpass, surpasses the audience oh, for this show. Boo. 
uh, Christian Brun uh, invited me to a film of his, mm-hmm. and uh, I had just gotten back from uh, a, some sort of trip, and literally three minutes in, I started having the worst stomach <laughs> problems, and I'm sitting near him. Oh, and no. And five minutes in, I walked out of the film <laughs> and had to- go to, shit your brains out. Yeah, yeah, and had to give him, like, and it was so bad that I couldn't just, like, go shit in the bathroom. And come back. And come back. It was you so had bad. To, like, I had to, go this, take this a shower. This had to be a specialty tour. That was, that was a, <laughs> the kind of shit that requires a shower afterwards. Exactly. <laughs> and it just sounds like such a weak excuse of, like, oh, oh I- I had my tummy was grumbling. Five minutes in, I decided I had that, a bad case of the grumbles. Yeah, but it was entirely true. If he's listening to this, and let's of be honest, we he know is. he is. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Christian. Oscars. Who, Oscars. Okay, snubs, here's, here's a question. Flubs. Here's a question. Yes. Out of what are you going to wear? Out of every Oscar-winning actor, and I, I call female actresses actors, oh, as you'll okay. notice, because Strange that you I don't want to be gender actresses. specific. Okay. But out of every Oscar winning actor, who pick five, who is your dream SNL cast? Wait, what? Pick five previous Oscar winners yes. as my dream SNL, SNL cast. cast. Yes. And pick who's doing update. Oh, God, this is really difficult. Well, okay, we can throw Tom Hanks in there because we know— Tom Hanks, he's one of the best he, at it. He can, he can do SNL, and he's won Oscars. There you go, Mr. David S. Pumpkins himself. Okay, stop screaming at me. I'm sorry, yeah, but I get are, excited about you it. You are shot out of a cannon today. You're Look, on fire. I have to say I had a busy, busy morning. Really? And, uh, I am, I am, I'm on it today. So, okay, we got Hanks. Of course, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, let's see, who else has won Oscars that, that could handle it? Oh, Christoph Waltz. Christoph Waltz, a funny, funny man who has somehow fallen into dramatic acting. I believe he could handle the 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 rigors of the SNL schedule. <laughs> that that is <laughs> safe to say. Oh yeah. No, he'd be up all night uh, Tuesday night yeah. writing his little heart out. He knows the rigors of the SNL schedule. <laughs> um Kristen Wiig. Kristen Wiig. Yes, great Oscar winning actor. But didn't she win for didn't she? Did she won she, for Ghostbusters. No, she answer didn't. the call. I thought she won for a, for the for Bridesmaid script, but she didn't, did she? She did not. No. Son of a bitch! I thought she had. Darn it! How about mm. Jim Rash or Nat Faxon? Oh, that's true. They won for Descendants. Mm-hmm. I'll take I'll take both of them. How about Roberto Benigni? Oh, so funny, crawling across those chairs. I sure. I looked at him and I said, he has a gift for physical comedy. Mm-hmm. And I'm watching it right now. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I would put him. How about the little tramp himself, Charles Chaplin, <laughs> at doing update, in uh, character. Okay. In character okay. as the little tramp. Sure, yeah, why not? Mm-hmm. Man, is Trump the new uh, little uh, Charlie Ch- The new Charles president? Chaplin? He's, He's my be, president. By, yeah. by, 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 by basically taking on the most powerful figure uh, in mockery, is Trump the new Charlie Chaplin? Is Trump the new Charlie Chaplin? I'll agree with your premise. Yes, Trump is the new Charlie Chaplin. By the way, let's, let's make that movie. By the way, let's if, make that movie. If he were to say, you know what, I'm tired of being president. I'm going to make a bunch of little tramp films. <laughs> I'm, all, I'm on board. I'm on board. And you know what? I give him forgiveness for all of his past transgressions. <laughs> and I say, you know, you had the the clarity of mind. And vision to say, this job is not for me. I should get out of it. And I'm going to go make, you know, physical comedies. I would love nothing more. Yeah. Than if he grew a little mustache and went straight <laughs> into <laughs> Pratt you, Falls and physical Do you think he can comedy. grow a little mustache? I'm, I can't tell. I've never, I've never seen any facial hair on him. No, that's true. Never. If you're a listener out there, and I pray you are, send us your memes of Trump as Charlie Chaplin, the new Charlie Chaplin. Or just Chaplin. Trump with a mustache. Trump with a must. Trump with a, or Trump with a mustache. Trump with a must. I decided this the other night. Comedy Bang Bang is America's podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've decided. I was watching Wheel of Fortune and they were calling it America's game show. And then I remembered the Atlanta Braves were America's team. And I thought, well, fuck it. 
<laughs> Comedy Bang Bang is America's podcast. So are you asking uh, people in other countries to stop listening and unsubscribe? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> and please get the square space and all that stuff if you're in Australia. But this is truly America's podcast, and I want to welcome you You know you what you it. need? You need like a sting or some sort of musical bed. Or sting. You need sting and the soul cages. <laughs> uh, you need sting and some sort of uh, a musical bed uh, about America's podcast. America's podcast. <laughs> like an eagle's cry. Oh, I thought that was Sting. No. <laughs> it does not sound too far. Like him. Yeah, not too far Fuck off. Fuck you, Sting. Using the F word, just turning off half the population right oh, away. Really? Yeah. You think half the population turns F- out? 50% tunes of out, the- rather? I think 50% turns out. I think 50% tunes out. <laughs> we, we got a 50-50 tune turn sitch. Oh, man. Um, boy, but... Uh, turn in, tune out. <laughs> or, or tune in, tune and in tune and turn out. out. Oh, boy. Uh, that's if you're a ballet uh, dancer. Yep. Turn out. Yep. Uh, this is, of course, the show where we talk to interesting people. And Thank God, um, too. Thank God, too, because Thank can God. you imagine listening to a podcast where there are no interesting people on uh, it? Can you imagine pro- living in a world in which you didn't have access to interesting people's conversations? Where where it was just like, can you imagine going to work every day and just Here. having the same old, same old conversation, uh, then listening to a show where those conversations are broadcast? Here you are, doing your laundry, mm-hmm. uh, on the commute, whatever you're doing right now. Whatever, you're like a real dumbo. <laughs> you're, you're, you're a real cheesehead. You're a real chump. Here you are. You're a chump swallower. Living that chump life, and you have access right now to someone very interesting. You're welcome. You must be very excited right now. <laughs> I always love talking to new people. It's great to meet new people, to talk to them, to get to know their, their foibles. And I their... traverse this world over hoping to meet new people every single day, because I am a people person. Are I'm, you really? I meant to say I'm a person. I guess I, that's, uh, I said it twice, but I'm a person. So you're just a person. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Regardless of whether or not you enjoy people. Yeah, no, I'm a person is what I meant to say. Got it. Um, Did person. you feel like you needed to get that out? Did you feel like there's I, like a lot of people have been people wondering on the internet or on Reddit threads con- conjecturing that you are in fact not a person? I could be an anthropomorphic dog, as far as they know. Interesting. Uh, I could be a cartoon like character, like a like a like a Mr. Peanut Butter uh, uh, type of character from BoJack Horseman. Or, no, no, are no, you talking about like Mr. Peanut? That's the opposite. That's are you talking opposite. about Mr. Peanut? Because he's an anthropomorphic peanut. Um, no, that's Mr. Peanut. That is Mr. Peanut. That's Correct. what I'm saying. Are you talking about Mr. Peanut? Well, no. Okay, so you so might when not I know say, are story. you talking about Mr. Mr. Peanut? You Mr. can't Peanut. correct me and say, Mr. no, you're talking about Mr. Peanut. Mr. Peanut. You might not know this. Mr. Peanut. Oh, fucked, I might not know this. Fucked Mrs. Butter. Mrs. Butterworth. <laughs> Mrs. Butterworth and Mr. Peanut Butter uh, was the hyphenate child. He fucked of her that. in the Mrs. Butt. <laughs> Earth. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I tell you, uh, a lot of changes on the show. Uh, what do you got? We uh, now we uh, there's like sort of a cliffhanger at the end of each episode. Cool. So yeah, yeah. So, so are we picking up where last episode left off? No, this is the first episode where we do it. Great, I love it. Ooh, I a can't lot of wait. changes just for I mean Ooh, starting this episode. I hope there's like a there's like a bum 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 sting at the a end of the show. Yes, <laughs> I hope there's a bum bum bum. <laughs> oh, I see. You meant musically. It's, it's all little bum. Show me your little bum. Oh, show me that little bum. <laughs> have a, let me ask you a question. <clears throat> have uh, you ever, have you ever in a relationship, shown the other person in the relationship your butt? Yeah, sure. Like, and I don't mean like, hey, I've been naked, and yeah, we she saw my butt. No, you know, I mean like, like in I, passing. I mean like literally like unveiled it. Oh, like for the first time? Like, yeah, oh, like now I'm, you're getting to see my butt? Like, like I'm showing you my butt <laughs> now. Oh, no. No, I, well, I mean, like, my version of that is, like, I for sure moon people all the time. Sure, sure. But, but I, that's, that's not what you're describing. But in a relationship. Are you, are you saying, a, like, cutting out a part of a <laughs> sheet? like a puppet show. Putting it down so that just my butt is revealed so that they are not, they are not able to look at the rest of my butt. No, body. they're able to look at whatever. It is just, it is in itself. Just, and I'm like, oh. Okay. Shadow okay. boxing. Okay, you can come in now. And then she comes in and it's just my butt. <laughs> yeah, just your, yeah, just the butt, please. 
Um, no, oh, I think that is my order at the strip club. I, I would imagine with a in male relationships, there's a certain point where the male unveils. In male the, relationships, there's a certain point where the male unveils. The male unveils the 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 ge- the genital. The the the. T- what do you mean in male relationships? I'm meaning that if it's two females, uh, I don't know. Ah, I see what you mean. I'm yeah, got it. If there is a man in, in a the relationship, relationship, and there may be more than one, you're talking about the dick reveal. Yes, exactly. <laughs> now we all know that that's part of the deal. Sure, sure, sure. But is there a butt reveal of like, well, you've seen the dick, well, <laughs> and now see, I would here's say, the back. I would say the butt reveal should come first, as that to me is the curtains yes. to the dick. <laughs> <laughs> the butt is the curtains of the dick. And it's like, and now the star of the show. <laughs> Presenting... <laughs> And then you got Gene Kelly and Donald O'Connor yep. working like, behind working the scenes the cur- to yep. lift that curtain. Um, yeah, no, I think the butt is. I think the butt is the the curtains of the dick. I I, I agree. I, I agree. I, and I think of all of my sexual relationships as if they are theatrical productions. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we had a. Th- didn't we have a theatrical producer in here at one point? We uh, did. Oh yeah, Don Demillo. Don, I don't remember. Don Demillo, great guy, um, th- great I've, guy. I've had so many guys. I still on the show. have a uh, business card of his, and it you somehow know. is still moist. <laughs> <laughs> Where have you been keeping it? I, it's just sitting out on a table. I left it out in the sun, and somehow it is wow. still moist. Wow. That I don't is... know what that guy is handling, <laughs> but it is no good. He, like Tom Arnold, hot on the track of the Donald Trump P tape. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is he? Yeah. yeah. I, I did. I didn't hear his pilot. Yeah. Uh, I threw. It's, I threw that one out the minute it got sent it to Earwolf. It is pretty terrific. <laughs> um, speaking of P tape. Hmm. Um. Yep. Have you? Uh, is that part of your repertoire? Yeah. The, yeah, yeah. Uh, your Filming nation? myself peeing. Yep. <laughs> all the time. Filming myself peeing on the tape. Um, yeah. Have you? You've put yourself on tape for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, a lot of times when you're uh, an actor in Hollywood, uh, you are asked to put yourself on tape for certain mm-hmm. roles. Right. Um, so that meaning they don't even bother you coming down and wasting don't, please, their time. Please don't come to the office please and audition. Do, we in don't person. want you to know where we are. We would love to receive a shaky camera uh, <laughs> video of you in your home. Mm-hmm. Uh, that to me is always the the thing about um, putting or people. Putting themselves on tape is they are just giving people insights into how they live. Yeah, I, that's how I felt. Like when I, I got a request recently, put yourself on tape for this project. I looked the 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 good fellows the people too. up. Yeah, good, good fellows, good fellows too? too were better than ever. <laughs> um, I looked the fellow up. I didn't see really any credits. It seemed like some sort of elaborate scam to, to, to like maybe at some point the camera would catch a magazine that I had out that well, had my my mailing address on it. And did you <laughs> did you have to pee and or jerk off on the tape? <laughs> yes, of course. <clears throat> did you get the part? <laughs> oh, that's heartbreaking. But I also wondered if like, you know, they were hoping, "Oh, maybe there'll be a birthday cake and with the little time code of what day it was." So we so know his, think- so we know his birthday and maybe he'll say his first pet's name. As, you know, oh, you think this is an elaborate identity theft? Thing, yes, that's not exactly people it. trying to find out your birthday to get you gifts. <laughs> <laughs> what if that was part of like you making like, any know, kind of friendship? You you at the beginning of year, January first, like oh, I just made a friend a couple of weeks ago or like three months ago. You say, by the way, this is the beginning of the year. I have a birthday this year, sure, and I expect you to celebrate it and find it out. I'm not going to tell you what yeah. it is. Or what if you're like the kind of guy that's like, "Oh man, I forgot my girlfriend's birthday, and I can't ask now. Mm-hmm. How am I going to figure it out?" Wait, I know, what kind of guy is that? I know. I know. I'll have a fake casting director, <laughs> director send them send her an audition. And even though she's a pediatrician, I bet she'll do it anyway. Right. And I've forgotten her height and her profile. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and I want to make sure she's got all her fingers, so make sure you get her hands in there. I've forgotten if she has all do her fingers. Do you know that that, have you ever had to do that in an audition? No, hold your where hands, they hold the hands hold up? Hold your hands up and show both sides of your hands because Whoa. the presumption is in the, it's usually commercials. In the commercials, somehow you will have to hold the phone hold the or prod? do something. Well, isn't they that want to automatically make sure that, eliminating anyone who doesn't have all their fingers? I mean, that's that's not cool. Uh, yeah, that is not cool. It's not cool, You know it? what? Fuck that. Yeah, really. I mean, that's very ableist of them. I'm not doing any more of that. Good. And you know, if I do, do I'm going to hide one of my fingers. (laughs) 
<laughs> what if you had a fake one of those fake thumbs? Harry Anderson, by the way, the, the R. great R.I.P. R.I.P. Possible, definitely possible. Uh, the great uh, actor was on our show, and um, I think he just had a couple of lines on Comedy Bang Bang, and he came with like a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, and one was after he said his line, he like then took off his thumb. It was uh, a fake thumb. I was like, what? <laughs> there is that's amazing. There is um, some channel is playing Cheers now, like all the time. Right, and I've clicked past it a couple NBC? times. And recently, <laughs> yes, recently I caught a cold open with Harry Anderson's oh, like yeah. uh, con man character. Yeah, yeah, the best. And I was like, this is so good, so good. His, uh, you know, his daughter was uh, one of our writers. Absolutely. Um, and that's, I believe, the only reason he did the show because why? Why would you have done Comedy Bang Bang unless you had heard of it or knew one of the writers? I didn't. I did it only because I got tricked into doing it. <laughs> right. Yes. I had you put yourself on tape. Yep. And I found out your and identity. Then, and then you were like, "Now I know your birthday. You have to do the show." I didn't even find out that. I just found out your identity, Jason Mendukas. <laughs> what? Who is this? Guy? I know what he sounds like. Now I know what he looks like. Comedy <laughs> Bang Bang. Brought no, it, to you unfortunately, by Totino's Pizza Rolls and Bonobos. Unfortunately, Totino's and Bonobos. What if they teamed up? Uh, Totino Nobos. Totino Nobos. Bonobo, it's like bo, bon, Bonibo. Bon, bon, <laughs> Bonibo. Bon, suddenly, <laughs> you've had a stroke. <laughs> Totino Bos. Bonibo. Bon, bo, Bonibo. Bonibo Pizza Pants. <laughs> pizza Pants. Yeah. Yes. Bonibo, Bonibo Pizza, pizza pants. pants. By the way. Also, title. <laughs> and also not a bad idea. I should spend the next year working on <laughs> pizza pants. Sorry, that's a legit idea. Scott, do you have the Bonobos or Totino's corporations involved yet? No, no. but I want to perfect these Bonibo things. Bonibo pizza pants is where it's at. <laughs> Listen, if shit gets crazy, you just eat them into shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, cargo shorts first, and then. <laughs> <laughs> I want to sell these. A big dog t-shirt yep. with, bon, uh, what is it, Bonibos? <laughs> Bonibo pizza pants. Bonibo pizza pants down on the bottom. That is, you'd be looking smart for oh, a night on the town. Man. That is a fucking, you know what? We don't make enough clothing out of edible materials. We don't. What about- uh, Just those fundy undies. What? Oh, uh, the yeah. The underwear that's made out of fruit roll-up material. Yeah, fruit roll-up. That's what I was yeah. thinking, fruit roll-up material. Why, why fruit roll-ups? In terms of 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 being the only instead of why not vegetable roll ups yeah, or exactly. meat roll ups yeah cauliflower. <laughs> I mean, for they, edible underwear. I'm cur- I would they be make, curious. Why they make not pizza crust out of it now? Yeah, Let's make some not? edible underwear. That's, out of this. By the way, fucking this show so far. So far, we've had so five many good ideas. Home run ideas. That we have to copyright, by the way, God before we get out we of here. We can't release this episode until <laughs> oh, we shit. until we copyright. Every <laughs> Let's one mail of these, these to ourselves. Ideas. Jason Manzukas, star, Hello. star, and above the title, I was surprised to see this. Did, at least of the did one you poster. See that? Oh, 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 okay. The one poster I saw. Yep. Okay, great. Above the title for the house. I haven't <laughs> seen that poster. I have to see that poster. Uh, Kulop took a picture of it. it oh, good. Uh, have her send it to me. My uh, future wife, Kulop. Yes, you're holding stacks of money. Nice. Oh, yeah. Uh, Amy is holding cards. Good. Great. And we're, Will... We're on message. <laughs> we're on message. <laughs> Will had nothing to hold. I don't nope, know. Nope, nope, There was we, no we, other plot point? Not a lot of people know this, but Will Ferrell doesn't hold things in pictures. He doesn't. Nope. He, he really ha- makes them uncomfortable. And now that I'm thinking about it, every single time I've seen a movie of his... You'll I've never see him his holding hands. anything. He's never held anything. And a lot of times he's framed so that his hands are below screen. <laughs> below the Why camera. is that? Hey, you know Do what? they You're not You're going to have to ask him. Some sort of Bob Dole situation? You're going to have to ask him and his, his weird hand thing. That, by the way, don't ask him about it, though. Oh, okay. Don't, he, I'm he, thinking about the elf. He never held a candy nope, cane. never Elves held anything. Elves hold candy canes. Never held anything in elf. That's so strange. And a lot of times, if you see him holding something, it's like a hand reaching from below frame that you, sort assume, of like that the you back, assume is his. Sort of like Marty McFly's Back to the Future yep. hand that disappeared. Totally. He wow. has one of those hand guys. <laughs> Who like does, Eddie Murphy has a bot, total body, total double. body double. Anything other than the close up, correct, is, is, is the another body guy. Double. Yeah, but Will has a hand guy. Hand guy. Yep. Now I have a hand guy myself. Sure, but it's a totally different thing. What is it? He gives me hand jobs, Jason. <laughs> Great. And how, job, how are jobs they? are on the rise. By, by the way, ever since say, Trump got in it, office, employment is going great. <laughs> <laughs> Those jobs numbers are really great. Jason, let's talk about the house because, uh, as sure. far as I know, this is your first film since The Dictator. Correct. And uh, two we- movies, one career. <laughs> uh, the, I, I saw this last night. You were kind enough to invite me to the premiere. Of course. Uh, As one of my dearest friends, I would uh, I would have been heartbroken that, if you hadn't come. Would you really? Of course, I would have cried. 
I would have wept. This was your big night. I would you have had- sat on one of those weird leather sofas uh, at the party and just wept. That would have been so sad. I'm so glad I came up. I had no idea that any of that was going on. I just casually said, oh, yeah, I may as well go. Exactly. (laughs) Class story of our relationship. Uh, (laughs) I was at the premiere of this film last night, and I have to say, great. uh, I didn't know what to expect. Yep. Were you expecting a movie? No, I was that, not. What was, so you really? <laughs> I thought I was going to see had this no poster. Idea. You had no idea what to expect. <laughs> no, absolutely yep. not. When they informed me it was a movie, I was yep. pleasantly surprised. Yep. I uh, am a casual acquaintance to film. Yep. Uh, and uh, I, I, all I had seen were the posters. Sure. And most of the posters do not feature you. Correct. All. Uh, it's Will Ferrell and Amy Poehler. Yes. Uh, and uh, I saw this film last night, and I and uh, Kulop and the rest of the audience. Total delight, the entire film. All right. Incredibly funny. This is a rave. I, uh, you know what? No, I mean right now this is a rave. I'm on ecstasy. (laughs) (laughs) Y'all ready for this? Um, as a lot of times I have people on the show and they're plugging their projects and I don't really like the thing. Sure. You know what I mean? Name three. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, and uh, so I was a little fearful seeing this last night because I knew you were going to be on the show today. And of what course. if I didn't like it? What if it, sure. was, it was a tepid kind of thing? I, although, you know, you and I are used to. And you couldn't do that thing and be like, oh, I wasn't able to see it. <laughs> Yeah. You know, oh, you know, oh, I could. They sent me a link, but it didn't work. No, you would not. <laughs> but uh, no, your film, uh, the funniest film of the year. It's Thank you. so wow. good. It's and it's got all of our friends in it. It it's really like, does. It's got Lennon. It's got Jess. Yeah. It's Michaela got Watkins, Kroll, Hubel, uh, Randall um, Park. Yeah. yeah. Hubel's got a big part. Oh, yeah. yeah it's got everybody. It's, in a, it. it's a, Andrea Savage. There's like mm-hmm. uh, there's like uh, a lot of uh, Rory Scovel, Kyle Kinane. It's like yeah. all, it's incredible. They did a very good job, I will say. Hiring all people we know, yeah, <laughs> which I was very excited about. And the script is really, really funny. It's kind of a return to form for Will Ferrell and Amy in a way of like I don't even know if I've seen Amy do an R-rated film like this. I don't know that you have. I, I just remember think. her in like PG films yeah. for the most. Oh no, part. this is like a hard R. This movie. is a hard R movie. This is a hard R movie. It's a lot like uh, uh, Will Ferrell. It's it's totally kind of like old school in, in a way. It's kind of like yeah, uh, him doing those yeah, types of movies. Going the, it's like basically them going off the rails. Yeah. Like what if your suburban parents like lost their fucking minds? Great script. Great yep. direction. Seems like there was improv. Uh, oh, although yes. I don't know. Oh, no. There was a lot of improv. <laughs> Too much improv. I did, not, I did not envy the people who had to cut that movie. Really? Because there was hundreds of hours Good of Good old stuff. Snippy. Yep. Oh, yeah. You know him? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Snippy McChoppers. McChoppers? <laughs> um, S- no. Snippy it's, McAdvid? Uh, I feel like this film is a lot like uh, a plane that's trying to bomb another country, it's flying under the radar. Oh, boy. In Um, these times? In these times? That's where you're going to go? Wow. Wow. And what I'm... Pretty pretty tone deaf. What I'm worried about it, obviously, Baby Driver this week is getting the old CB. Great movie. Great movie. Great movie. I loved every minute of it. Seen it twice already. Seen it once only, but I still loved it. But I feel as if (laughs) the house is getting short shrift and I want people to know about it. I want people to consider Jason Manzoukas as a movie star now. Yes. His name is above the title. Hooray! That means he is uh, one of the three stars of this movie, and I want people to go see it. And and I think fans of this show would really, really like it. You are just a delight. Thank you. Well, m- my pleasure. You you must be very proud of yourself. You're a big I'm, boy um, now. Yeah. No. And you got you let me sit in the big chair. I did. It was very exciting. Usually, you're at the kids' table. You when told you me I can look show. at you today. <laughs> um, no, it's been pretty weird. You know, I'll be honest. It's like I've never been. This this version of involved in something this big, it's mm-hmm. it's pretty bananas. Usually, a Jason Manzoukas is the kind of guy you call when you have like, like two scenes that you want him to be real gross in, <laughs> <laughs> and probably be wearing just underwear. <laughs> uh, that is uh, that is I'm pretty good at that. So, but no, this was like something I was like, oh wait, I have to like actually play a character who yeah. starts off in one place and ends in another and have like an emotional journey. Did you have an acting coach? Yes, of course I had an acting coach. Of course. Coach. Who is of, this? Of course I had an acting coach. I've been studying acting for many, many years with Jeff Goldblum. Oh, um, really? He's just one of the greats. He was on the show recently about oh, a was week he? ago. Yes, I as wish a fly. He was, I wish he was my acting coach, but um, he is a delightful man. Mm-hmm. Uh, but no, I didn't work with an acting coach um, mm. because mostly I just, you know, improvise and, and be goofy all right. the time. Right, right. Uh, so it's, there's that. 
sad. What and is, like do fake tears. What is like, it? <laughs> fake tears? Yeah, really? lots of like fake crying. What is it like uh, being in scenes with Will and Amy? That must be a dream come true. They're two of comedy's greatest stars. Uh, <laughs> is this a junket? Is this, is this, a, this is yes. a junket As a matter question. of fact, the, junk, the junket started right. right now. Wait, are you being paid to do this interview? No, but look, really, um, listen. I think <laughs> comedy fans, and look, let's let's be honest. People do you listening think to the show are comedy fans. Comedy listen fans. to this show? Be honest. Sure. <laughs> let's be honest. I can't tell. Do you think the people that listen to this show are fans of comedy? I think it's fans of, they have a morbid curiosity of yeah. what's going on right here. But yeah. I also believe this truly is the show where we speak to interesting people. Oh my God. And so I think that that's a lot. That's maybe 90% of our listeners like to hear the uh, about the interesting people with whom we speak. Oh, that's, you know what? <laughs> You're probably right. Uh, but uh, I do also believe comedy fans will be interested. What is it like? I mean, in a junket, you're going to give a one-sentence answer. But sure. What is it like showing up on the day? Had you ever improvised with Will Ferrell before? You know, uh, you know Amy. You've done Ask Hat with her, obviously. Yeah. No, I've known Amy for, um, like, you know, going back to UCB New York, you know, late 90s. So. I believe when I met you, you both were in uh, yeah. uh, the show that I that Exactly. I did that you did monologues at. Exactly. Yeah. In New York. Mm -hmm. Um so I know, I know Amy and have been improvising with Amy for, yeah, like 16 years. So uh, that, Will, it's all old news when you get to the stats. Like, oh, so hey. Like, <laughs> I will say, like, what I think what partially what makes this movie very fun is the familiarity that almost everybody has with each other. Mm -hmm. Like, the you know, I might not have improvised with Will before, but Amy had. And I know Will. And so everybody immediately slipped into just very easy bits. Just bit and city. Bits the minute you get to, to Poking set. at each other and trying right. to make, like, aggressively trying to make people break. Right. Trying, trying, trying to ruin yes. takes. <laughs> trying to ruin there takes. There is such a funny outtake, by the way, the very last one during the credits. Which, what is uh, it? In the garage with the three of you, with Will. I don't oh. want to give it away. <laughs> but Amy is laughing immediately. Oh, and immediately. it's so funny, I wish it had made the film. Oh. I, I wish she hadn't been laughing We could, and that went, that kept, I wish they hadn't cut even the blooper short, because it's such a longer thing that keeps trying to, we keep trying to restart again <laughs> right, and keep right. going with it, and it just will not work. I would love to see the uninterrupted take. I would too. Could you send that to me, please? Put it out. The, we're calling for Warner Brothers to put that unedited blooper out is, in its entirety. What are you afraid of, Warner Brothers? Is this picture the Brothers Warner? Yes, it is. Really? Yes. How is it working for them? You know what? You know, they're the greatest, you know. Did you go to the WB lot a lot? Every day. Yeah. Every day I drove onto that lot. To the gate, old Dubba Dubba. Gate four, baby. <laughs> is that where it was shot? Yeah. Really? Yep. We shot it in a in a big giant studio. We shot the very. We had to switch studios very dramatically uh, mm, because what the, happened? oh no, we didn't switch. They just changed someone it. fart. Someone farted, and everybody couldn't handle it. <laughs> and everybody kept being like, "Who beefed?" <laughs> Remember when you used to say, "Who beefed?" <laughs> yes. How come we don't say that anymore? Well, let's get it back going. Huh? Yeah, let's get Who Beefed going again. Who beefed? The name of this episode: Who Beefed? Who Beefed? It, yep. Who Beefed? Is that a shirt? Who Beefed? Yeah. <laughs> Although I bet it's a shirt that exists. Yeah, I bet it probably that, exists I bet, already. I bet Although not already... with a CBB logo on it. <laughs> who CB beefed? Hey, who CB beefed? There we go. There There's it is. The title. That's the title. We Name did it. above the title. And now we can just cush. And that's it this, for this, this episode be of Comedy Bang Bang. Jason Manzoukas in Who CB beefed? <laughs> I think the show should always end when the titular line is discovered. <laughs> really? Yep. So we're just going to end it here? Yep. That's right. it for this that's episode. It. That would be interesting if <laughs> they just stopped cold. Yep, Some of them were the two minutes and, long. Some and of them now were. we're going to plugs. Uh, well, Jason, congratulations. Uh, the, uh, uh, this is very exciting for you. I was uh, Thank you, Scotty. Uh, very excited for you when you got the dictator, and obviously that didn't work out quite the way that everyone wanted it to nope, work out. It but, uh, you know, this is even more exciting, and I want everyone to see this. <laughs> Oh man, gotta get those digs. <laughs> gotta, gotta get, get the digs. digs. <laughs> gotta get them. Gotta get them. Gotta get them. Get those digs, baby. Uh, no, it's really great. I implore everyone to go see it this weekend uh, because this. Thank you, by the way. I will say this. Thank you so much for holding your explosive diarrhea in during this movie. Yes. I know no, that it I've interrupts had... a lot of movie viewing for you. When I, I found out it. this was a movie, 
it was bad news because <laughs> I had, you had a good 90 minutes of explosive <laughs> diarrhea in my future. And it only had like a, three cups of black coffee and a <laughs> spoonful of rancid mayonnaise. That was all. That's all I had to eat today. <laughs> Yesterday, of course, was the Super Bowl uh, and uh, that climactic finish. That oh. is uh, from the from the you from know, your like, eyes to God's ears. Listen, I'll be honest from every minute. Of the overtime, I oh, was oh my riveted. I, I mean, as many minutes as I could get of that yeah. overtime, I was like, "Bring more on!" Yeah. You also, know what why I mean? was the Philly fanatic there? By the way, we have a Cincinnati Playboy. That's uh, um, that, like, do you know what issue? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> did they do regional Playboy? That's my <laughs> assumption. You say a Cincinnati Playboy? It's like, hey, look, I'm in, say, in the October, National Magazine, we October have tens. Two thousand and two in Cincinnati, Cincinnati Playboy, Playboy, we have uh, Cincinnati tens, which are. I would imagine twos. Whoa! Whoa! No knock on Cincinnati, but ladies of Cincinnati, rise up! <laughs> Scott Ackerman says you are all twos. <laughs> sorry, sorry. He says all the tens are twos. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! Savage flex. Look, when on you're Cincinnati, when ladies. you're America's podcast, you can have opinions about America. And Jesus that's exactly Christ! What Here's doing. what I'm gonna say. I think there are some real hotties in Cincinnati. <laughs> All right. Are you passing through Cincinnati come soon? Nope. <laughs> All right. That grosso, that grosso city? No way. <laughs> All right. Right? Like if, if you want to go, look, people go to uh, f- football games of all sorts in What do you mean wigs. of all sorts? Oh, oh in the, costumes. Yeah. Yep. You remember the John 316 guy who ended up. Uh, I be, don't. You don't remember the John 316 guy? No. Nope. He, he was directly behind the field goals and he held up a sign that said John 316. And he was very famous. He wore a rainbow colored Afro wig, okay. obviously. And so he was in all of these football games and reminding sure, yeah, you yeah. Of, of, the you know, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever should, uh, you know, whatever the fuck it is. Sure. Uh, and then he killed people, I think. Oh, for real? <laughs> for real, yeah. In God's name? Uh, hopefully. For, like on the field? <laughs> that would have been great. The perfect crime. <laughs> no one will know it's me. No, I, th- I think he's a murderer or he, yeah, there's something going down. He's in prison. Huh. I know I've seen a recent uh, I mean, is that, I wonder if that's worth your time. Like, would it make sense for you to get tickets for a football game just to hold up a sign that says Comedy Bang Bang America's <laughs> Podcast? I think just to I like do it. spread the word about the podcast? I have a friend who's like go- season tickets, maybe? I have a friend who's going to the Super Bowl. I should have glommed on to him and I mean Comedy Bang Bang America's, America's podcast. podcast. Why not? I wonder if they would let you hold up signs though nowadays or whether that was a thing of a bygone era from the 70s and 80s. Can you imagine 80s. sitting behind someone who's holding, holding up, up a, a sign. giant yeah. sign? And has that giant <laughs> rainbow afro? Yeah. In any case, my point is people come to these games in costume. Could you come as the Philly fanatic and have them go, yeah, come on in? Yeah, because I'm just, we- I'm just, I'm just wearing the show. my thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Maybe. Or, or is anything with a head on it? Can I come as the Hamburglar? <laughs> like, can I come as anybody? You know if what I mean? You see the Hamburglar. You know what I mean? Like, if at the next ha- year's Super Bowl, that's it's Jason thing. Manzucas. If I show up as the Hamburglar and I get in, you absolutely should be able to get in as the Philly fanatic. Yes, exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. And what I believe we- I could gain access to a major sporting <laughs> event dressed as the Hamburglar. Okay, I'm going to put you to that. I'm not going to give you the ten thousand dollar challenge that you gave Mike Mitchell. Oh, uh, by the way, Mitch, just like just not even trying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mitch I mean, is not even. Has trying. he gotten it together at all? Not at all. Zero percent. I don't think it would be that hard to no. get on to get in the top one hundred. Especially agree. if they just changed the rules with it to where YouTube videos st- uh, streaming, uh, YouTube videos count now. So oh, we, could like, we, could do, we could do this. We already have a, 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 a fan base. We could do this. We like let's just let's record a song right now. We'll do the uh, we'll do it a cappella and we'll put some music over. Oh, Brett, Engineer yeah. Brett's over here. Okay, he just had all his guitar pedals stolen, <laughs> so this is maybe not the best time to. Well, actually by the way, ask him I'm to do willing this, to say this: if we can crack Billboard's top 100, we'll buy him. New I guitar will pedals. replace uh, all of uh, Brett's guitar. <laughs> if pedals. and only if. Oh, if and only if. And if if we don't crack the Billboard top 100, you owe us pedals. No, <laughs> you no, you can't replace those pedals. Yeah, you, you can't play allowed. music anymore. <laughs> yeah. You are banned right. from music. Do we have a deal? Don't get on mic. <laughs> I mean, we're in the throes of February. Yep. Would you say that's true? The Ides of February. We're just at, well, net, you know, in a week we'll be in the Ides, mm-hmm. right? Isn't it the, is the Ides the 15th? I believe so. 
You believe so? I believe it's the, that 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 our good old friend week. Billy S talked about it. Oh yeah, you although know, that famously. was not the Ides of February. That no, it was the, the Ides of March, March, of course. But you know, he was up in there in them Ides. Yep. Oh yeah. You know, he loved them Ides. Ides loves those Ides. Uh huh. Definitely. Mm-hmm. This is good stuff right here. This is the solidest <laughs> stuff we've done yet. <laughs> I think that we'll have. <laughs> I think this is this is what we'll just end up doing the rest of the show. One has to agree, even in these troubled times, that we are truly winding down February. <laughs> I mean, with everything that's going on, sometimes uh, people don't want to really address that, but I am willing to. I am willing to you're call. You're going to go out on a limb and say that we're winding down February. <laughs> we certainly are. And who would have thought that we could have done such a thing? Are you okay? <laughs> J-Dog, what does a, a, a Jason Manzoukas type do in April when a young man's uh, thoughts turn to uh, uh, fanciful notions of spring? Uh, what is, what is, it's obviously, uh, tax day, uh, may or may not be coming up. No, it's up. not. Yeah, it's we, not. It's it may all be off. deferred, we don't I'm know. I'm just going to make point. bold statements here. <laughs> we are under quarantine, Scott. We are in the midst. This But we is, still get together. It's still this important to is us. is coronavirus. Now, we're not talking about it because, spoiler alert, this show doesn't come out for a little bit, but I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm here to talk about what's happening right now. Everything's shut down. We're in the house. Scotty. Mm-hmm. We're in the house. Speaking of the house, you were wonderful in that. Thank you. Uh, we're still in it. Me, a, a film, Will, Amy, we're film in it. Film flop, was yes. it not? Did not succeed financially. Financially, a financial nor artistically, miss. according to most reviewers, although I love, I really liked it. How dare you? But it was a miss. Um, and uh, is that the, the closest you've ever been to top billing? You, you were know, third. You were th- I, was I saw third. a poster where you were above the title. And I you were agree. Like, there was one uh, made. Um, that is probably, I'm trying to think. I mean, uh, certainly on a movie that size. Sure. You know, um, uh, yes, that is the closest I've been to top billing. Wonderful. Let's get you up all the way to the top. Number one on the call sheet. Let's oh, get, my God. Let's get you up there. Holy cow. You're even number two on this call sheet here for this show. Happily so. Wonderful. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to usurp. I, I'm not trying to get to be. I don't listen. I don't want to be number one until I've finished throwing dirt on your grave. <laughs> Do you think you'll be the last one there at at the funeral? No, no, no. You no. think there will be several people still crying and throwing be, themselves on the? I think coffin it would be. And, I think it would be insane if I if I was the last suddenly, one at your grave. Suddenly, like a lot has happened poorly for you. <laughs> suddenly, cool ups like okay, uh, look, I'm I ready to go. I can't hang out here anymore. I'm gonna go. <laughs> and I'm and you're like, like, I'll catch up. <laughs> <laughs> no, Scotty. Uh, I hope. I hope. Uh, I, I hope some people come to it. You know. I mean. I hope. I hope at who least. You, who cares? At least ten. Who cares? You won't be there. I'd like ten people. Well, that's true. You won't be there. Who cares? I'll, although I could be Huck Finn in it, all the way in the back. You oh, know, oh, oh, I don't remember you know, Tom, that. Well, Tom Sawyer and Huck Finn, what they did was they, uh, I think they got lost in a cave. I'm trying to remember the plot to uh, uh, Tom Sawyer. But I think they got lost in a cave. Everyone presumed they were dead. And then they, uh, or, may, or maybe they were faking it for some reason to, to, to escape. They were cave boys. We should be a couple of cave boys. We should be cave boys. We should, like, now that we're in, like, the corona, you know. Uh, quarantine. Quarantine. We should just pack ourselves we up should, into a cave. Why don't we just go into a, a cave? cave painting. Oh, by the way, <clears throat> you know, doing shows by fire? Yes. I mean, that that was the caveman, uh, that was like their news program. Let me break it down. For you. That was like their uh, CNN, okay, it was painting on cave walls. Oh, really? Sure. <laughs> and, their, and the wheel, uh, that was like their iPhones. <laughs> Why are you doing this face while you do this? Who's, who's, I'm very what, pleased with myself on this What character is bit. this? <laughs> and that was their iPhones. <laughs> it's like sort of a Bill Maher type. Um, but uh, yeah, that, I mean, I would love to be trapped in a cave with you, uh, either We'd uh, have by choice time. or by force. We'd have a good time. By could... choice, by voice. <laughs> either one. I would love to be in a cave with you. Oh, thanks, pal. Uh, huddled up. Would, although they say don't uh, start a fire when you're in the cave because it'll uh, burn the, uh, the cave. What do you call a cave ceiling? Cave ceiling, I think. Cave, yeah, just cave ceiling. It burns it up and then uh, uh, dislodges all of the uh, rocks and traps you in that cave forever. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so I think, uh, don't you have to find like uh, uh, an unencumbered uh, bit of cave there? Fine. For the, uh, I'll yeah. look around. Like a cave chimney. I'll explore the cave system. Where are the caves around here? I'll I don't... spelunk. I'll spelunk. You'll totally with spelunk. You. In these times, in these post apocalyptic times, we should take to the caves. We should definitely take to the caves. We should. And spelunk or take the EL get, out of it. Get, whatever listen, you want to do. You, I don't 
don't want to be alarmist, but get your loved ones together and take to the caves. <laughs> Where are the caves? Griffith Park? There's I'm only, not telling. There's probably only two caves there. Guess what I'm not do. Announce to all the fucking podcast nerds where yeah, my where cave is. where our caves are. Yeah, but we know where the caves are. Next all thing the, you know, they're going to come and get try and get their grubby little fingers in my cave. I know where the bat cave is. We could go to that one. By the way, that's very shallow. Is it really? Yes. Still, it's how many of us real, are there? I mean, too many. T- too, it, would, too many? it would also not be much... Um, <clears throat> Protection yes, or, exactly. or shelter. Uh, although if we sleep standing up. Oh, what? Is that an option? <laughs> that may, I mean, Is that what you think we're going to start doing now? If you're taking to the caves, I, I mean, it's got to be bad out there. I'm I'm assuming that we may be sleeping How bad standing do you want to do taking it to the caves right now? And you Take can't. It. No, you no, can't. No allowed. singing. No singing. Ah, too bad. Um, so, but what does a, a young man like you do in a in an April situation? Spring uh, has has of course sprung. Okay, I mean, like I'm just out there peeping those April flowers. <laughs> sure, of course. Right? Well, they bring about May showers. I'm talking about April flowers. Mm. It's a lady's name. Oh, okay. So a uh, girl, you know? <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, April flowers. <laughs> if your name is April flowers out there, by the way. Yeah. There's got to be at least twenty April flowers. Out oh, there. if not, not way more. Yeah, way more. Like if your uh, if your last name is Flowers, you're just itching to have a baby. Oh yeah, and let it be oh, a girl. Oh, I want it to be a girl. Let it be a girl. And then a guy comes out, and you're like, uh, <sighs> What do we call this guy? Gary Flowers again. <laughs> Gary. <laughs> another again. Another. So <laughs> as many boys as they have, they call them Gary Flowers. Junior. <laughs> Gary Flowers Junior. Uh, but then when that girl comes out, April oh, flowers, boy, April flowers, Wonderful. May, May showers, broader. Mm-hmm. Of course, yeah, oh, yeah. Well, no, I think it would be more. Like, well, uh, what, April flowers born in April, that would be amazing. But you're saying that May showers, uh, then uh, is a February baby, I believe, somewhere around there. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about the uh, the ejaculate that comes out of certainly. a man named May's. <laughs> Penis? Wait, you think Brian May's? Showers? I was saying in the month of May, but you think Brian May is out I there ejaculating? Bri- Brian is May's, that what he's saying when he's ejaculating he's like, he's on like, all of his groupies? When he's when he's cheesing his fucking dong on people, he's like <laughs> he's like Ooh, well, did, did some April showers. Did some April flowers just happen? <laughs> Because get here's your May some, shower. Get ready to have some April flowers all over your tits. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's what? Not, it still is not that kind of show, even though we have segued from isn't? being the show that talks to interesting people into America's podcast. It but still America's, is not that kind but, of show. But uh, America's podcast is about America and America. That's true. I mean, Americans. If you look at the, I mean, I'll be honest, the number one search on Pornhub, I believe, is still incest. Oh, God, so, like, why? This, this country is straight up nuts. Here, here's, it, it, and uh, I'm not in the habit of. Uh, There's a, coronavirus porn. There is. There uh, is. It's not, already up. I'm not in the habit of uh, uh, searching for things on there, but why can't why, why can't just, porn just be it's like? It's not, you're not in the habit of it, but why, it's just a recreational hobby. Why, why can't sex be the search? <laughs> the number one search. Like what that's what I want in porn. <laughs> it's like I want to see sex. What do you mean? You why do you got to add these layers of Why, do you, of why are you doing stand up right now? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but like you just want to watch. Caveman, sex was like uh, Netflix and chilling. Oh, God. <laughs> I feel like when you said before we opened up the mics, I might start to do more stand up during the quarantine. <laughs> I did not say that. You during said the quarantine. You said during why the quarantine. Why would I do it during I the quarantine? Start, I might start doing I more. I just blame start, my, the reaction to it on the quarantine. You said I might start working on my act again. Okay. <laughs> um, but of course, summer uh, is right summer. around the corner. Oh, and, summer! Uh, you working on that beach bod? Oh yeah, I gotta get my I gotta get my dad bod in biz. You know, sure. I'm like dad bod dot biz. <clears throat> dad bod dot biz. You, you acquired that, right? Yes, I did through Squarespace. Yep. <laughs> It is the best way to get everything. And here's, I got Squarespace, and all I am on there is got my dad bod wearing Bonobo's pants. <laughs> They're made of paper, and who cares? They arrive in the mail. <laughs> Can you try them on in a store? No, you can't. <laughs> Are there stores? Yes. Why? <laughs> Uh, you know they won't sell you pants if you go into the Bonobo store. I was in there recently, and uh, they, they ship it to you. I believe but yeah. that's ludicrous. I don't. I, uh, I. I think people feel more comfortable trying something on. So when they, I tr- want to walk out with it. I know. I know you do. I want to work out with it. I don't want a guy to be like, great, they look great. We'll have them sent to you. Of course, you can pay $50 to have them expedited shipping and be there in a week. That makes no sense. I don't, but I I believe if they were just, uh, and you know what that also means? Believe you me, they've been a sponsor here, although uh, not recently. That also means every pair of pants and shorts and everything in a bonobo store has been tried on so many times. So many times times that they're. Because they're filthy, because they're not getting sold. Although every 
thing in any store has been tried on. No. Clothing store, don't you think? I don't think so. I you mean, th- those, thing, those items are sold. Well, they're if not, I try not on everything a, is sold. If I try on something that how I How many like, people do you think have been, uh, uh, how many ghosts have been in, I mean, people who have not bought them? What? So, uh, product ghosts. <laughs> Product ghosts? <laughs> yeah. People who like try that you something introduce on. introduce that as a term as if it was an actual term <laughs> sure. in, in retail, and it's not. So people who try on something product and then they ghosts. disappear and they don't buy it. So you think product ghosts are haunting our, our shops? Are, yes. I mean, those pants you have on right now, probably eight guys were in it. Excuse me. <laughs> I, I asked each and every one of them. Probably five of them when you were in it. <laughs> Jump on in, guys. Um, you ask specifically, get me a freshie? I always try and try on pants that look, or, or yeah. That look, but you don't actually you ascertain. Can't, you can't know, but I mean, especially jeans. Can you, can can you go pre- into a, say, a gap or something like that and say, like, can you get me something off the rack that was just shipped here? Like something right out of the box? I will oftentimes if I find, like, say, it just happened recently. I was in a store and I tried on a jacket and I sure. liked the jacket. Well, you're a jacket kind of guy, so that makes sense to me. But I asked them, I want to buy this jacket. Can, do you have a new one in stock? A new, a, a, like a brand new, one. like one that's not been sitting here. It's for not a while. on the floor. And what did they say to you? They said yes, and they went back. They brought out one wrapped in plastic, and I bought that. Wow! Kaboom! That, everything should be wrapped in plastic. Agree. And if there are uh, product ghosts, I wish you were wrapped in plastic right now. <laughs> yeah, but that's just a kinky kind of thing. Oh, that but that's like, just because yes. I like you all wrapped up, baby. But I think everything should be like if. Here's the problem is the fact that we we let people try on clothes. That's the whole Huge flaw mistake. in the system. Huge mistake. What was the first store to do that? Huge mistake. People, every clothing item should be in plastic. You should get a vague sense of what it looks like. And then you should just purchase it sight unseen and you cannot be able to return it. Uh, although you can't. No, they should have like paper versions of everything that you can go in yes. and try on Disposable, and throw away. Yeah, Disposable, yeah. And you can look at it and yeah. go, oh, this looks good on me. I like the cut. <laughs> and then you you crumple it up. You toss it yeah. over your shoulder. Hopefully a waste try basket on. is right behind you. Disposable try on clothes. Exactly. Great. And they look, they're exactly cut. Exactly. Make, them, make them out of plastic. Send them straight to the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> This is a good store. We we need to be starting a brick and mortar here. Here's the thing. In these end times, we need to be starting retail (laughs) stores. Do you think brick and mortar, by the way, do you think Rick and Morty is based on the term brick and mortar? Yes. That my understanding is that my is, understanding yes, is, is that, that it was that Justin and Dan were t- sitting around and they wanted to start a show called Brick and Mortar, right? Uh, and then they realized it was a little bit like, wh- is the world ready for yeah. a store? Uh, I mean, a show about stores, <laughs> a show just about stores. Yep. It would be about stores. Yep. But they're not anthropomorphic stores. They just literally they are just like, stores. like uh, security footage of buildings that yes. are just sitting there. But they do go on adventures. <laughs> sure, of course. <laughs> It's still hard sci-fi. Yeah. But instead, they just changed. They were like, look, let's take off the B, (laughs) and let's take off that S, T, and add an M and a Y to it. Um, Well, that's great. Oh, thanks, pal. (laughs) (laughs) That's some good stuff. Jesus Christ. Uh, It's great to see you. The uh, uh, bro down, ho down uh, continues apace. J-Dog, we can't can't continue without uh, giving everyone an update into your love life. And uh, you've been uh, primarily a a lonely soul. Sure. Who uh, is is resigned himself to roam the earth unencumbered with companionship. Um, But where are we now? I have an update. <clears throat> I this am. This is huge. As of this moment, what is it? June something? June 11th. It is June 11th. I'm here to report I am still single. Still single. Okay. Hopelessly oh. so. <laughs> wow. I want to say I have transitioned into being hopelessly now single. Now it's dire. It is, quote, not cute anymore. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> Unquote. <laughs> I've, I've, I've settled into the part where it's like sad. <laughs> And this is not uh, of your own choosing, although no, uh, no. I carry uh, listen, I carry an engagement ring in my pocket at all times <laughs> because you know what you I never don't, know. I don't want to waste an opportunity. Strike. I don't want to waste an opportunity. I am proposing. How many times have you proposed? Over Seventeen you? times. Okay, see, this might be part of the yeah. problem. Why you're still single? All to the same woman whose Uh-oh. name again I don't know. She just <laughs> seemed cool at the coffee shop, and right. I just kept going for Wait, it. Does she work there, or she's just there? she just was getting her coffee? Okay, so seventeen times. You 
you've been able to run into her at the coffee shop? No, no, no. 17 times within the hour and a half Uh-oh. from which I saw her in the coffee shop. And, and, <laughs> and I, the police and arrived? And I kept following her. And, and I was escorted from the premises of her workplace. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait, you were at her workplace too? Yeah. And I followed her from the coffee oh shop to God. her workplace, which was a children's hospital. Oh, dear. Yeah. This has led to a lot of problems. <laughs> was it Megan Mullally? Huh? <laughs> yes. It was Megan Mullally from the, <laughs> On the TV set of show Children's Hospital. Children's hospital. <laughs> Um, yeah. well, I'm sorry to hear that. You know what? I'm out yep. there. I'm out there, you know, just you trying to be a, a single man in the world, not on social media, so people can't slide into my DMs, yeah. ac- apparently. They can't slide into your BMs. Uh, they can't, anybody can slide into my, B- my BMs. <laughs> you know what? You'll slide on my BMs because I drop those <laughs> turns on, on the floor. floor. <laughs> <laughs> That's another problem with you is you don't have a bathroom. It's not that you... Want to, but you I, just don't have a bathroom in your house. Well, that's okay. So here's the thing: I do have a bathroom. I just don't like to use it. <laughs> oh wait, okay. Yeah, because it's downstairs, and uh, mostly I'm just yeah. like, you know what? I I'm don't want to do. I'm, I'm an upstairs, upstairs guy. I'm an upstairs boy. And I'm <laughs> upstairs boy. <laughs> We've been living in that. Uh, um. Anyway, so I will just, you know, I'll just drop. So this on. is your improv song style. I'll just. We've been living <laughs> in that. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't. I. I started and then I was like, oh, re- why I re- am I bothering? I remember. I just remembered. I hate singing. <laughs> um, Anyone singing or just you singing? Anyone singing, but myself you, singing, I don't like in particular. So you don't like music. I don't like. Uh, you like chamber music where no one's singing. Yes, I like just classical. I like very delicate chamber music, <laughs> a string quartet. A while, harpsichord. You love to listen to it whilst you duty upon the floor. Yes, whilst I turd in the corner <laughs> of my living room. <laughs> well, Jason, you're a disturbed, sick fuck. Wait, oh, we haven't gotten an update on your love life. What's going on with you? <laughs> everything's fine. Yeah, everything's good. Everything's Everything, uh, all good. Great. Still uh, moving forward um, and uh, progressing nicely. Terrific. Don't you worry about me. Um, give everyone out there who can't see you uh, an update on your beard level because it seems to me like we're about, uh, we're like in-betweeners. It's, it's, I just was looking at it and thinking I should probably trim it now that it's getting hot. Um, mm-hmm. It is not certainly not as big as it's ever been. But it's No, not, I've seen it's it not, way bigger. It's not trimmed. It's, do you it's do a, a beard unruly. reveal as well? Yes. Every every spring. When you come to a double date, or not a double date, a blind date. Nope, Maybe it's a double, a double date. date. <laughs> a double blind date. You only double blind date. I only double blind date because I need... I need. So the other gentleman as well is, is yep, blind as and well? He is blind. He is blind on the... He's also on a blind date. It's right. the only way that we can the be only sure way you can just that the, relax. The, the experiment is valid right. is to be on a double blind date. But do you come in like some sort of a... Like you have a sheet of paper below yep. the nose yes. or a burqa or some, some yep, sort of thing? Yep, a sheet of paper under which is a burqa. <laughs> right. Right. So you're like a reverse Batman yes. in a way. I will, you're basically disguising the beard to to see if they like you for you. In a few weeks, I will reveal you know my beard, uh, the final beard of, of right. summer. So this is like a reality show. Yep. <laughs> you're revealing the final beard. That's it. That's where we're at. You're also a reverse Batman where you kill people's parents. Yes. I, can, I, am, I am the reverse Batman in that I'm trying to create Batman. <laughs> right. I'm like out there you're just- out there just murdering people. And I'm going. murdering people in front of their child and then I'm saying, fine. Find me. <laughs> it's the long con. Find me. I started doing this 20 years. years ago. Oh, wow. Nobody has found me yet. It's like planting a tree. You find know? me. Bring it on. Planting a tree without ever knowing if you're going to be able to sit in the shade. Oh, my God. What, a, what a beautiful idea. Mm. What a beautiful sentiment that is. Um, if on Monday's episode we were balls deep in June, yep. now we've stuck the balls directly inside the vagina in June. Because really? we're we're at just the very end of the in? month. <laughs> we're just cramming those balls right on in there. We are indeed because just uh, shoving them in. It feels nice to sit down for a minute. Oh and just, yeah. You know, we're taping this on the weekend, by the way. Oh, and, and we're uh, all wearing we're all wearing our weekend wear mm-hmm. and kicking back in hammocks. It's hard to beat the heat, but Jason, how do you beat the heat? Follow up: How do you beat your meat? <laughs> <laughs> I may be only interested in the latter. I'm going to be honest. I do them both by going to the movies. <laughs> um, Jay, you uh, obviously you're here in the summer in L.A. You're you're a New York boy, or at least you spent several t- uh, years, as I call them, rotations around the sun. Uh, of course, uh, in uh, New York. And uh, are there any differences? <laughs> Wait, what are we doing now? <laughs> differences between L.A. and New York. I did think to myself the other day. I was like, "Oh, it's it's already er, uh, uh, it's already August. Oh, great, fall's gonna be right now. Like we're almost in the fall." And I was like, "Oh no, 
fall in in LA isn't for months more. It's going to be a hundred degrees for yeah. two more months. Oh yeah, We're... versus in New York right now, I would be like, this is it. This is the the dog days of summer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, We're and ready it, to be done. And it started to be two hundred degrees in February. I mean, it just when does it end with this? I get it. Um, We're you, all burning to death. We are. And plus, like, the whole state is essentially on fire. That's true. You know, there was a big fire right by my house uh, recently. Really? Yeah. How'd uh, it go? Uh, was it cool? They, well, was the fire cool to you guys? It, it was a little weird because I wanted to go home and save my uh, dog. Of yeah. course, not my foot, but my actual dog. Yeah. And uh, the police wouldn't let me into the neighborhood. And oh, I was man. like, he's dead. He's going to die. Really? Uh, you just, like... You threw yourself around the around the street, like careening, like a like a like a real weirdo. <laughs> careening like a real weirdo. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I finally went the back way, if you know what I mean. I had anal you sex went- with my dog. <laughs> 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 really? What? That is, I'm not sure the legality of that Im- admission, but like, hey, that's, there, that's the cons- statute of limitations is probably up by now. It was a week ago. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. There, the dog statute of limitations is like dog years, right? Yeah. Yep. It's, it's, it's much shorter, but to them feels, <laughs> feels in- a lo- infinitely, infinitely long, infinitely long. <laughs> which, yeah, also, I- which also is very sad because for your dog, it felt like you were fucking it in the butt for like <laughs> six weeks. Ah, <laughs> uh, boy, it's That's already a, uh, gone off the rails and not in the retiring the train way. Oh. Uh. Um, What's retiring the train? Oh, that's the good way of going off the rails. Where oh, it's like, thank you for your service, train. Oh, I see. Reti- Let's take see. you off the rails. I thought we were. I thought we were retiring the band train. Oh, that is something that I'm very interested <laughs> in. Oh, really? I'm and surprised. May, may have already happened. I'm surprised. Being such a Smash Mouth fan as hey, you are, fuck you. That you have a By problem way, with train. Smash Mouth has liked several tweets. Uh, oh, of, yeah. of of people writing uh, how they agree that uh, Smash Mouth is good. Oh, so. Smash Mouth is liking tweets that says Smash Mouth is good. <laughs> yep. Oh, They're shocked. not liking the ones. That- shock. I'm so shocked. <laughs> what do you What do you think about the summertime? It's too hot. Mm. Too hot. I don't mm. like how hot it gets. You're not a heat person. Not a heat person. But I will say, having lived in New York a very long time, I I really I I like the heat. Get it I like, together. Get I it like together. What do you got? Here Come on. more. In Form New those York, thoughts. I was just, I was, I was saying. As much as I hate how hot it is, I'm glad that it is not humid. That's all. Okay. Now, when it gets hot, Ugh. do you lift up your arms and do you like wave your your hand back and forth underneath it in order to to fan your armpits? Yep. <laughs> okay. Yep. Because who doesn't? Okay. Just what, what you just did. You even did it to show me. Uh huh. And it looks idiotic. <laughs> it does. But every, I noticed last time I was in New York, everyone walking down the street is doing that. Nope. No. <laughs> you notice nobody doing that. I think That's you not like a New York pers- stereotype. You were the only person doing that. All right. Ay ay ay. Oi, the heat. And how long ago was that? Feels like it was a couple of years ago. Mm, so it's it's been it's a couple of years. Been, it's been a while. <laughs> Um, <laughs> this, of course, is the first Monday of Octi Doggy. Uh, we're living in a post Joker society now. Uh, we've come out the other side, and uh, everything we viewed as sane is now insane, I guess. But oh, yeah, it's the end of days. <laughs> we, who knows? I mean, to empathize with the clown prince of crime? I don't, but we all did it this weekend. Yeah, he represents us all. We are all Joker. <laughs> I think you'll play the Joker. I, I think everyone should have a crack at it. Everyone should play Hamlet, and everyone should play the Joker. Two of our greatest roles. Oh, I would love it. My, here's what I will the say. The Melancholy Dane. Here's what I will say right now. Here is and a, Hamlet. <laughs> a pl- a, a, something that I will promise on this episode of Comedy Bang Bang. Okay. I will play Hamlet. As the Joker. As the Joker. I will do a production of Hamlet, Shakespeare in the Pork, that is <laughs> me dressed as the Joker. Alas, poor Riddler. Etc. We barely knew you. <laughs> yeah, is that how that goes? Yeah. I know the first half of any Shakespeare quote. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> to be or line. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's like a very famous line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Don't know the second half. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your actual laugh? <laughs> Halloween's over, my friend. Halloween on man. Oh dear. 
Uh, Trick or treat, young man. It is a uh, it's a nice November afternoon oh, and uh, delightful. It is delightful. You know what? I know that you were sort of sarcastic, but it actually is delightful. It is delightful. I'm not. There. I'm, I'm. There's no sarcasm I here. I swear to God, you're being sarcastic not right now. All. But I am trying to say that it actually is delightful. I right assure now. you, with no sarcasm, it is delightful. I just want to strip any irony out of this conversation right now and just tell you that I technically and realistically feel that it is delightful. I got into an argument with a guy in a bar recently who just started shouting, I guess I don't get your irony, man. <laughs> what? And I was like, I don't know what that even means. Was it Batman? It was. It was Batman. <laughs> Fuck, that guy is such a dick. Well, we're deep in uh, Navi Doggy, so that's yeah. something. You know what I mean? Yeah, sure, sure. Novi Daddy. Novi Daddy. Ooh, Novi Daddy. Ooh, Novi Daddy. Do it to me, Novi Daddy. Ooh, Novi Daddy. Is this what people like when yeah. they listen to this show? Yeah. Oh, and that's the thing. If you're tuning in, get ready for baby talk. <laughs> oh, Ooh, Novi Daddy. I don't know, sexy daddy. Oh, do I deserve three spankings <laughs> or four? A, I need a boom boom in my diaper. <laughs> You you need a boom boom? No, or you I made, made a boom boom. Oh, I need, okay. to I need a boom boom in my diaper, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. I don't oh, know what I mean. We're though. just living that hashtag dipe life. Dipe life, baby. Dipe life. Oh, man. We're just pooping at pee and at will. <laughs> So we're no longer talking about sex, you and me. We're talking about nope, pooping we're just, and pee. We're just <laughs> we've moved on. Again. We have matured. Oh, we've, we've we, like a human who comes to Earth and ages rapidly. We have moved straight from <laughs> childhood human baby who talk, comes to Earth and an ages alien from... rather. I mean, an alien. <laughs> uh, we have we've aged through the entire process. In a way, if you were an alien and you saw the lifespan of humans, you may think a human comes to Earth and ages rapidly. In a way, sure. if, if they have lifespans of. Several hundred years. I wonder if everything lives about the same amount of time or if or if there are such things as eternals. What do you think? Like celestial beings? Sure. Um, yeah, meaning, I wonder the if... The old gods? Life conditions, nothing, you know, fancy schmancy or magical, but if life conditions on other planets... Oh. Uh, Just mean those the lengthen, people that live there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Their physiology, Can perhaps? Can I ask honest question? Sure. Honest question. Sure. And then I'll answer your question. Okay. Do you believe there are... There is intelligent life in on other planets. It's tough to say uh, if if you truly are kind of an atheist in a way. I would think that you would think there probably would be, but that you know, just uh, the 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 whole thing about it is the the conditions of this Earth and its proximity to the sun. Uh, have have flourished, and there's water sure. on this planet. Yep. So uh, that accident, if it is an accident, truly, maybe has occurred in the infinite reaches of space. It would seem as though it would happen right. again. But it's so far away that we'll maybe never see that. I think in all likelihood. Unless, uh, I don't know, suspended animation, is that actually a thing? Could it what happen? What do you mean? Uh, putting yourself on a spacecraft, going into suspended oh, you mean, animation, you mean so for that us to find it. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, I or for them that. to find us. Well, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I more think like even with well, maybe people that take. I, 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 I don't know that there is. I, I, I don't, you don't think there is because I you think, believe there is one true God who has created us and look, no, looks down upon us like a human zoo. <laughs> Human zoo. <laughs> Human zoo. Human zoo. Hey, Nong zoo. Uh, hey, Nong zoo. Um, yeah, no, I don't know. You I think God's a creepy little perv watching us. Okay, so this is this is where you're coming from. I think this you just invented that. I I think there is a God. I think he can't watch us all simultaneously because he doesn't have magic powers. But he likes to pick one of us and just perv out. So that's why he created all of us because like he there's like, so many of us. He can finally he, find what he's into. It's with like one it's like us. having a lot of cable channels. He's yeah, just exactly. flipping through people to be like boring, boring, <laughs> boring, boring. boring. Okay, I'll watch this for a couple minutes. <laughs> right. uh, oh, okay. What is this? Oh, they're doing another bang bang. <laughs> Uh, okay. Yeah, but oh, I'll watch this on. for an hour and yeah. 20. <laughs> I'm in, baby. I'm God and I'm in. I'm God and I'm in. And I, and by the way, I'm God and I watch them record it. I don't listen to the <laughs> nope, podcast. Don't listen to it because I want to see them do it. And then like later in the week, God can be like, oh, I missed them record the episode. I guess I'll watch some dildo listen to it just so I can <laughs> right. process it. Yeah, he can't actually listen to podcasts himself. He, no. He doesn't have a Zoom. He, he, he doesn't have a celestial Zoom. God don't have no Zoom. Oh, boy. In my theology. <laughs> yeah. Are you a 
do you have any sort of spiritual side to you, Jason? I uh, do not. I am an atheist. You are. I believe and, and in not zero. agnostic. You you believe conclusively there is no God. Well, I can I, I don't have conclusive proof of anything. Like, mm-hmm. but I that would be weird if you did. It would be, and I wasn't <laughs> sharing it. I'm also 300 years old. What? You're an eternal. I'm an ancient. <laughs> I'm one of the elders. Um. No, I, I, you know, I don't, I, I think there is nothing. I think, um, I don't think there is a God. Well, what a cheery sentiment for a Hooray! Monday to be released. First thing when people are driving to yeah, work. Yeah, there's nothing. You're doing it all for nothing. It's all pointless what, what you're are, doing. What you're doing is for nothing. You earn no credits for nowhere. Mm. We're getting towards the end of the year, Jason, uh, and we're getting towards. How did, did you make a resolution this past year? I don't remember. That's the thing. I don't remember the resolutions yep. a, a week after I made them. Yeah. I'm like, ah, I decided to do something, didn't I? Did Maybe you make this one? year make a resolution to remember your resolution. Shut the fuck up. Interesting. <laughs> Maybe you've never heard the show before. Maybe you just recently got into it. Maybe you have, uh, maybe it's your first day as a human being. Maybe you're a little baby. Maybe you are an alien coming down to this earth, learning about what it is to be an earthling from this podcast. And, and maybe, you know, this is a great place to start. By, by the way, you get it, finally. Yeah, because this is the show where we talk to interesting people. Yep. And uh, that's a lot of what being a human being is. It's oh, just yeah. finding interest in other people. Uh, the curiosity of the human experience. Sure, it may kill cats, but humans, we love it. Uh, well, by the way, mm. please. Aliens. Please what? <laughs> please come to Earth and kill our cats. <laughs> please, get God. Decimate. I'm, a, I'm desperately allergic to cats. Please kill them all. Let's get rid of them, but I would love for somebody to blame who is not a human being. <laughs> That's right. Because if you're a human being and you're going around killing cats, you may be a serial killer. Cat genocide perpetrated by aliens. I would love that. And then we kill the aliens See, ourselves because no one cares if we kill had the aliens. It right. Alf had it right. <laughs> Alf I, re- had it right. <laughs> I now realize we're just doing the we're plot We're just to pitching Alf. Alf. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, do you hope your work will live on after your death? Oh, are we talking about my legacy? Yes, of course oh, are we, we are. Talking about we're our finally legacies? there. We're finally oh, there talking about God. each other's oh, wait, legacies. So you are, in fact, wrapping up the show. Is that because you're talking <laughs> about legacy? I can only assume it's on your mind. And oh, do you right. and, and 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 not to turn your question back on you, but do you feel as though this is a lasting legacy that will live on in a way that you are happy to be representing you into the future? I mean, I always thought that maybe I'd be known for a TV show or a movie or something like that, but uh, podcasts are fine. <laughs> fascinating. <laughs> Isn't it so fascinating? Like, like why why minimize a truly, uh, 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 like, extraordinary accomplishment? Well, it, because it feels a little like Fibber McGee and Molly or something like that. Sure. That, that it's going to get, you know, I'm a dinosaur going to be eclipsed yes. by whatever the new medium is. You know, like VR is going to come around and suddenly it's be like, oh, remember when we listened to podcasts? <laughs> now we're like God staring at people while they record them. I guess so. I get that. <laughs> it is interesting because I feel like, uh, and not to be corny or whatever, but like, I will say the people have corn dog, corn dog over here. By yeah, the way, cor- corn dog, all right. The old. original corn dog, corn dog, <laughs> Jason Manzuka. Yeah, um, I feel like people have such um, uh, intimate relationships with podcasts yes, and with fuck them. with us as the people who <laughs> talk to them in their ears, right? That I would argue you probably have had more of an effect on more people personally than if you'd created a great TV show. Uh, probably, you know, what with uh, screens becoming smaller and audiences dividing Shrinking, up. Shrinking, you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, at these days, a hit TV show gets a 1.1. What are we doing? Well, that's not a hit TV show. <laughs> well, okay, a 2.0. <laughs> A oh, 1.1, that, that show is not a hit. Well, it's not, but I mean, it stays on the air. No, Come on. Anyway. Yeah, we're, 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 we both listen, work in the in I just the got the numbers. <laughs> we're going to go through, we're going to go each each how show. The, how are the numbers for this show, by not, the way? Not good. Oh, shit. Not good. You may know. Weirdly, you, your yes. podcast numbers are mixed in with the TV ratings. Oh, Nielsen, fuck. Nielsen why did I choose to do of, that? All of TV and then Comedy Bang Bang. Why did I do that? Oh, my God. Uh, you may know Jason from, by the way, if this is your first time listening, from the movies the house How which by the way people are yes. first time listeners I don't know, probably every episode there's uh, I mean, a couple I, hundred I'm so curious how did they come to it now who cares what, what, I love it but, but by the way I get that you're curious but who cares uh, like but, but by the way like recommend it like if you like it new person if you like it yeah you this it may forward. be a fine episode uh, with which to start and who knows maybe this is a classic episode that people are looking back on in the entire run of five six hundred episodes perhaps. saying this is the best episode ever or perhaps there yes there are people who are like oh 
you got to check out Comedy Bang Bang. Here's the episode Here's to listen the episode to. to. Listen Here's to. the great jumping on point. This is it. So I want to make sure that we set the table. Uh, I want to set the table. And when you go out to dinner. Yes, sir. You like a nice set table, right? I, you know, I don't mind. You know, I don't mind if it's like a, a, like a beautifully set table. Do you like to go to a Dick's Last Resort where there's like just paper I, towels on the ground I don't, and sawdust? Okay, paper towels on the ground? Yeah, Dick's Last Resort. I've never been there. Oh, okay. Uh, the, what is it? Well, there's a restaurant in San Diego. I don't know whether it's a chain but that's the only one I've ever been to. I, I thought at one point in my life, oh, that might be fun to go there. Boy, was I mistaken. Really? Um, it's, I think there's sawdust on the ground, but also it's just like, basically they give you rolls of paper towels because because their food is so messy and then Ew. you're encouraged to why just throw it down so on the messy? floor. It's like a cream corn emporium. Like, why is their food so messy? <laughs> I uh, mainly because maybe you're supposed to eat it with your hands. It's oh, like it's chicken one of those? wings, oh, 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 burger I see. I see. type it. things. Yeah, yeah. It's not like food that's actually like laying waste as you eat it. Got it. Okay. <laughs> it's not like All organic right. food gross. that's shitting as you eat it. Whoa! There's an idea. Food that shits. <laughs> food that shits. Food that for shits, you. Right. Food that shits for you, so food, you don't okay, shit. So here's the thing. So that what what happens is right before you eat it, the food shits out the part that you're <laughs> that you're gonna shit out. Yes. So you only. Only get the nutrients you only get and the all nutrients. the good stuff. Well, we talked about this years ago with Rob Delaney on the program that uh, babies, when they're first what born. What a catastrophe. Because he's on a show, Catastrophe. Uh, and also, it was a bad episode. But um, the uh, babies, when they're first born, they don't shit because they are only eating what they need. Oh, interesting. And and waste shit uh, we are, we grow up shitting because we're eating too much and we're not eating just our basic nutrients. So you're advocating that we get back to a diet where we eat only what we need and thus don't shit. Exactly. So you're, you're, tr you're at war with shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I hate it. But food that shits, that would be great because food a, that shits a, for burger, you. a burger would like, basically they'd have a scan. They'd have like a laser scan that would go bzz, bzz, and, and scan you. Okay. Determine oh, the laser scan scans me. Yes. Determines exactly- Who is they? The burgers, okay. the, the organic burgers, the shit. They scan you. They look at you. They determine exactly what nutrients you need. I don't know if I want to need. eat something that is a laser. You it. have to be naked. Okay. I mean, I know <laughs> it's I'm like you on, stand on a scale. Now I'm back on board. <laughs> <laughs> You're naked. It scans your body. Do all restaurants have like a, a naked scale area? Oh, of course. Yeah. Cool. And they also have like Lorenzo Llamas with a laser pointer <laughs> pointing at your body. Topical reference. <laughs> We're old. Um, and uh, then Lorenzo it, Llamas. It, it, you know, Shay Llamas from the Bachelorette's uh, sure. father. Yeah. <laughs> um, Fernando Llamas' son. <laughs> sure, of course. <laughs> what a legacy, that family. Oh. Um, it scans you to, to determine exactly what nutrients you, you need. You pick it up by the bun, but and then it goes, it just goes. <laughs> And shits out everything you don't need. Okay, but the you in shit form. But what you eat is still a burger. It's still what? Yeah, it's still whatever. Because I is. would think in in this diet you'd have to just basically eat pills. Well, that's the, the uh, give me I've, that pill. Uh, give me that pill. I want that pill. <laughs> I want that pill. That's what I it feel. Was. I feel like that. Uh, uh, the pill that you eat to stay alive, where all food is just a pill that tastes like food. And I it's think, what you need. And it's what you need. Yeah. I think it's coming. I just don't think it's a tiny pill. Oh, it's pill. coming I, as well as shitting? <laughs> what so if your so you're, you're positing a world. And shit in, at the same in which, time. Yes. Just in, both ends. <laughs> <laughs> that was Ooh, a little higher pitch, too. Del delicious. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, it's, I think it's down the line. I just think it's going to be as big as like a, a roasted ham or something. And the you're gonna, pill is. And you're going to slice it like it's a ham. Ham. Okay. Yeah. And okay. So you you're, you're going to put it in the microwave. I was with you up until the ham pill. <laughs> Do you not eat ham? No, I, I eat ham, but I just don't think there's going to be a pill that's the size of a ham that yeah. you slice. Well, that's what it, it's going to have all the nutrients you meet, you need, and then you're going to do like do thin belly slices. Do you think that's because humanity needs to cut its food, even if it's a pill? I think that it's so interesting. Is that interesting what God because you, intended or you, the aliens want to watch? You look at evolution mm. and, and you see the how. The movie? Yes, the Ivan exactly. Movie? Yes, it's wonderful. <laughs> Duchovny. So funny. Orlando. <laughs> Julianne Moore. <laughs> the funniest actress of all time. Look, I love her. <laughs> Wouldn't say she's a comic great <laughs> but would love to have her on the show uh, but I, <laughs> I talk think, about it I think evolution you roll know, by roll <laughs> <laughs> how funny do you think you were in this one <laughs> what do you think was funny about it <laughs> tell me about safe how funny was this <laughs> I think in evolution 
apes grew the opposable thumb so they could they could hold utensils. Okay. And so that they could cut their own food. Because who, you ever, uh, you don't have a knife and so you just like stab something with a fork and you try to tear it with your with your, uh, with your choppers. Like, yeah. yeah. With the old choppers. Yeah. You know, the choppers. Oh yeah. I'm familiar with your choppers, you know? And yeah. it's like, you're, you're like, man, I wish there was a knife around here. Well, yeah. <laughs> Boy, we've really run out of things to say. <laughs> Boy, I wish there was a knife around here. Uh, the end. The end. Ba, ba, da, ba, 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 ba. Credits. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang is going Why off the air. Why did you tell me this episode was the best episode of the show? <laughs> they, they ran out of steam real quick. Real quick. They started really intensely, very big picture, aliens, God, <laughs> and ended up with like a ham-sized pill that you cut and not and having a knife. knives exist, <laughs> Ed. Uh, wait, we're going to- Ed gonna, who? Uh, Ed, Ed TV. What do you wish you could change about yourself? Hmm. I wish I could procrastinate less. Yeah. Genuine, genuine, uh, uh, Is that gen- in your work? Real. Is that in your yeah. relationships? No, my work. In, or, yeah, in, you no, know, in, like, things that are, I guess it ends up being evidenced in work more than anywhere else, but, like, things that I perceive as, I don't want to do them. Work, like homework, basically. Yes. I think that that's the uh, uh, problem with the life to... in, in the arts yep. is that we, we get into these things where work is so fun that we go, well, we only want to do the fun part of it. Yes. And the not fun part of it is very real. And our lizard brains are just constantly saying like, no, 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 just do the but fun things. Go thing. do the those fun, fun thing. things more. Yeah. The fun things are fun. Yeah. Um, you have not. Is there w- something you would you would change? But is there something you would uh, like to resolve to change <sighs> here on this podcast that we will hold each other accountable for? How I about wish, that? I wish I had a smaller penis. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just too. It's rough. Yeah, everyone wanting it. Yep. <laughs> it's the perfect size. I'm not saying it's too big. Sure, sure. It's just the perfect size. Yeah. <laughs> so rather than have it be perfect, you'd prefer it be smaller. I prefer it just to be smaller. Yeah. I don't want it to be too big. No, 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 no. That would be uncomfortable. Yeah, I, I, I get what you mean. I get what you mean. You know, <laughs> yeah. mine is just too big. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and uh, I wish it could be perfect size. Right. Yeah. You know, I would not want smaller. Were well, you saying too big? You're talking four or five inches, right? Yeah. <laughs> yep. It's huge. And that's comedians like, are talking about their dicks. Finally, yeah, we did. Everybody's it. got a dick. Do you? Uh, Except for women. <laughs> okay. Good observation. Yeah, I guess you know, I just wanted to make sure people knew that I knew that women didn't have dicks. Do you ever wish that you could be a musician? Yes. What would you play? Do you play anything? I play drums. You, you do play drums? I do play drums. I had no idea. Is that right? Yes. No, I do play drums. I mean, that's funny. I thought you were asking that because really? I would like to be. That you have is a set? Like, in that way that, yes. In that you way. Have a kit? That, I do. In that way that I feel like all comedians want to be musicians and all musicians want to be comedians. Right. Um, yes. Like I grew up playing in bands and like, yeah, oh, I, oh my God. Well, there's a musicality to your comedy. Thank you. Uh, it is. It, <laughs> It is uh, interesting that comedians want to be musicians, I think primarily because you go see bands, and man, they don't have to work very hard. No. You know what I mean? You know, it's like two two it's, hours on stage. Well, it's, it's two hours on stage, but all they're doing is like going, you know? And who are you going to see? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just curious, who was that? I'm going to see Alexander's Ragtime Good Time Band. Okay, cool. <laughs> And the corn dog, corn dogs. <laughs> um, they don't have to do good stage patter. They can say anything and people will laugh. You ever notice that at a concert? Oh, yeah, because people are awkward. I mean, the the, the audience is, like, nervous for the talking portion. Yes, because and, and all they have to do is say something like, uh, this one's dedicated to my buddy uh, that I grew up with. It's called, hey, fuck you. They also, they, ha, I ha, think ha. musicians need to stop doing this thing where, like, people will start, like yelling out stuff while they're in between songs kind of tuning or whatever. Yeah. And the person will be kind of tuning and then absentmindedly kind of like, and then somebody will be like, bah, 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 and they'll be like, wait, what? Yeah. And then now we have to like be quiet. For, for the person in the so that, front row? So that the, some, they can be like, wait, what? What? Oh. Oh, 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 yeah, no, we're not gonna, we're not gonna do that. I remember when I saw Radiohead and they did that. And I was like, why on earth would you be indulging this? I think concerts, everyone should be silent. I think there should be no reaction from fans. Whoa. At all. And I think, I don't like that. And I think people should play the music, put down their instruments after every song, and then stare at the crowd for a good two, three minutes. Okay. I'm on board for the staring at the end. (laughs) Right. Everything else I don't like. Uh, I would not. Can you imagine going to a show and having there be no laughter? 
Yeah, I can actually. <laughs> As a matter of fact, so you yeah, guys, you guys stopped doing live shows, huh? <laughs> um, uh, uh, I, I I find audiences to be so fascinating. I saw the war on drugs at the Greek last week, uh, or uh, quite a while, a while ago. ago, actually. Now, yes, sorry, um, and it was. I I, spent, I wanted to go to that show. Why didn't you invite me? It was great. Who'd you go with? Um, I had eleven extra tickets that I just did not use, and I went <laughs> alone. I just wanted to really I stretch sat out in a row. I alone, lay down across weeping. every seat. <laughs> Um, but I had as much fun watching the audience as watching the show because the audience was like all bros just like freaking out over how much like the guy was shredding on stage. And Ugh. it was the mellowest of shredding. I saw The National, a few who were guests on this very program, of course. Uh, mm-hmm. And uh, I may or may not have talked about it on the show that they were on. <laughs> okay. Um, but uh, I saw them uh, a while ago. And uh, two things. There were two women taking duck-faced selfies yeah. in the very front row with the band as the background Ugh. throughout throughout the last five songs. Really? Like, they, they didn't do it because for... Because they couldn't get it right? Yeah, they couldn't constantly, get the like, right? like, taking a, a flash photo, by the way, of the band with them, like, doing, du- like, doing the peace sign and Ugh. doing duck-faced selfies and then looking at it and going, oh, no, 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 let's do it again. Constantly flashing in Matt's eyes. So that was one thing. Mm, but then there was a dude. I don't like it. There was a dude who had the longest ponytail. And the National are not uh, a dance band, certainly. No. But he was out there acting like it was the Red Hot Chili Peppers going. So bow, that, bow, bow. that is a dance band in your mind, Red Hots. <laughs> well, I mean, they have a funky bass. Yeah. <laughs> But he w- he was out there whipping his ponytail around. I just want to let the listeners know that Scott has now done a bass line and a guitar line. <laughs> with his <laughs> knife. So let's Put make those, those together, songs, everybody. And there is a really good song in there. <laughs> yeah, there is. He was whipping his ponytail around and then doing doing funk dances. It was very weird. To the national? To the national. To the national languid rock and roll? To the point where I started taking video of him because I just wanted to, <laughs> to prove that I could do it. But then I felt bad because everyone behind me, and believe me, when I go see a concert, there's a not, lot of people behind me. Sure, sure. Why not just r- turn around? Point it at yourself, do a duck face, and get him in the background because oh, that's apparently allowable. J Dog, I wish you were there with me. I had so many extra tickets. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Oh, too bad. Uh, what do is you, yes? I, I was going to say, did you ever wish you were a musician? Did you play an instrument? No. I play. Yeah, I played guitar. I played in oh, bands. Okay. Actually, there was a point where I decided to give up. How do we not know this? And why don't we start a comedy bang bang rock and roll? Oh band? my god. What are we doing uh, with our lives we if we Paul don't start Rust, a band? Paul Rust to play the bass? He's already in a band. Oh, He's got a baby. He's, fine. you know. All right, fine. Shoot him down. Uh, there's got to be someone else who plays bass. Brian Husky. Brian Husky plays, plays bass? Plays bass very well. He was in a band called Bicycle Face that was like a touring band. I did not know that. Yes. This is incredible. Oh, yeah. Uh, I played Largo on my last gig ever, and I broke two strings in the opening song. Really? And I was like, fuck, what am I even what, doing? What what old Largo, I assume? Yeah, Fairfax old, Largo? Yeah. Um, what was the band? Uh, Lave Los Manos was our name. Who else was in it? Uh, my friend Doug Bins, who is currently in North Korea. Oh, no. The band uh, North Korea? Uh, yeah, he's in North Korea. That's the one to be in, right? Or South Korea. South- no, he's in South Korea. Sorry. Wait, do you really not know the Koreas? <laughs> I got, look, I'm concentrating on facts right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, why is he in South Korea? Uh, he uh, uh, went to work there. Cool. And, and that's uh, what broke up the band, so you decided to become a comedian? No, I broke two, two strings, and that broke up the band. Got it. Um, no, but I was doing comedy at the same time. Because you were shredding so hard? <laughs> I guess. What kind of music? Uh, like pop, uh, poppy, Elvis costello Graham Parker type stuff, but with, like acu- with acoustic guitars. Uh-huh. Harmonies. Mm-hmm. Just like, you and Doug Bin? Me and Doug Bins were the Bins. two regulars, and then we would have a rotating cast of people playing drums or playing Love keyboards, it. saxophone, stuff like Love that. Love it. Yeah. I feel like we could get a comedy bang bang rock and roll band. We could. We we should we anyone we who's, should. anyone who has ever been on the show before and that includes musicians. John Gamberling was a lead singer in a band. Whoa. And his band had a song on a soundtrack for some movie. What? I remember that being a like thing. Like Drop Dead Gorgeous or something? It was like it was like a thousand years ago. I don't know why I'm thinking of that movie. I don't know why you did either. <laughs> Denise Richards? Yeah. 
<laughs> Why? How did you get Drop Dead Gorgeous? Though? I was thinking of soundtracks, and that one popped in my mind because What's I own the number it for one some soundtrack. Reason. You own the soundtrack to Drop Dead Gorgeous. There must be. I there was a time in my life when I would go to record stores, and if something was like five dollars or less, you just and it had one it. song that I liked, I would get it. Yeah. Huh? Was that time last week? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, are you okay? That's how I laugh now. Oh, that's you like great. It? I love it. <laughs> By the way, you should do that. <laughs> I do should. that. You should start doing that in other shows just to see that. <laughs> Have you heard Scott's laugh has changed? He's re- really changed. I love it. Yeah. Oh, I'm on board. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We should start a band, though. What would we, what would we be called? CBB All-Stars is definitely there based on Ringo's. Uh, mm. What is Ringo's band? All star band. Yeah, I believe Ringo it's called star, Ringo's All Star. All star, all star with two R's. I, I assume so. One would have to assume. Um, it's like him. It's Joe Walsh, his brother in law, Joe Walsh. How, Howard Jones, I believe, was in it at some no. point. Yeah, I, I think. No one ever is to blame Howard Jones. Yeah, I believe so. Oh, I used to love that song. That's like a song from high school dances or junior high school dances, maybe. Yeah, for me, high school. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and wowie, that song what? was just sad to me. Do you remember the first song that you ever slow danced to? With I don't. You don't. I do. What? Time After Time. Cindy Lauper. That's a good one. Oh, such good memories. That's a, that song is continues to be heartbreaking to me. It's a wonderful song made even better every time I hear it. I think back to my junior high uh, auditorium yeah. and that first dance and uh, that I ever slow danced to, and I didn't know how to act. Totally. And uh, so- uh, who did, Do you remember who you danced with? I do, yes. Yeah. I don't want to say her no, name. that's okay. Uh, to protect- the uh, integrity of was it a teacher? Our relationship, yes. <laughs> was it? it was was Mr. it a teacher? Mr. Browningfield? <laughs> <laughs> he just he decided to let it all out at that dance and say, oh, "This is what I'm about." <laughs> <laughs> And he chose you. That's exciting. I do have to say, and I believe I may have talked about this on programs before that uh, we had a weird high school where uh, teachers ended up in relationships with students. And there was one uh, that's Teachers in, plural? Yes. There's one, there, there's one that was in the news that was my junior high science teacher who then became a high school science teacher, and we didn't know why. And we found out it was because he got into a relationship with a junior high student and then followed her to the high school so he could keep an eye on her. What? Yeah. Really weird. A junior high school student is like 12 or 13 years old, yes. right? Yes. Pretty bad. So, He's arrested, thank goodness. Oh, okay. I was going to ask if they were still together. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, who knows, like, though? Yeah, that know. is awful. It's really bad. It's like, it, keep an eye. Oh, it, it makes you think like that it. if you have children, uh, and I pray that you do, Jason. So do I. I want to see little ones of you I do, too. Around. Listen. The Bambinos. I, I would love it. I would love it. Let's have children on the exact same day. By the way, nothing would make me happier than for us to have children at the same time so that they could be best friends. Let's make sure that we have uh, sex with our respective partners on the same night in Let's the same call. room. Let's call each other in the same room, I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll not know which baby is ours. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What are you and suggesting? And they'll come out and we'll be like, I don't know, I'll take this one. Oh, so you're saying we both have sex with each of our respective significant yes, others. Yes, just to make sure to up the chances. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Just like. Sure. Sure, should we just We'll get... each take a pop in each other. Ew. Ew. Oh, that is gross. It is gross, but wouldn't it be great to have kids on the exact same day? I think it would be terrific. I yeah, just that, said well, that. That would be, that would, that what is, is the delight. dream because someone also, is going through exactly what you're going through on the on exact same day. On a daily basis. On a day, but you, you, we could call each other and go, oh my God. Get uh, ready. Uh, stopped crying at night yep. today. I just How, got a full it, night's sleep. I assume you did too. <laughs> of course I did. Yep. They were born on the exact same day. Because they're on the exact day. same schedule. <laughs> That would be so good. I guess you know we would what? Have to- I don't understand why more people don't just meet all the other parents that have kids born on the same day and make those people your friends. Exactly. Because you'd be going through the exact same stuff. Would you do that locally or would you do it globally or uh, think globally, act locally? Okay, that would be good. There's got to be when you're in the hospital. Yeah. Uh, and and your partner is about to have a baby, you must chum it up with some of the other people in the oh, hospital, right? I'm assuming hospital waiting rooms are chum city. <laughs> chum and city. Like, and like, I'm talking about like, like, sharks like bloody chum. meat, like bloody meat in the uh-huh. water. Just like, who wants a baby? You yeah. want a baby? <laughs> <laughs> I want a baby. <laughs> We're going to need a bigger boat. Listen, guys, what we need is to us, for us, to I need to find the woman. Yes. And you, and so that's you, key for you. That's I huge. have the woman. 
You have the woman. I'm just waiting on you, buddy. So, and I appreciate your patience. I really do. I'm, <laughs> and I've I'm, always said, that's what me and Cool Up are waiting yeah, for. Yeah, you have. You've always said that in writing. Um, when you write me your letters. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Long hands, beautiful, oh, beautiful letters. Oh, to you, I'm telling you, Jason. we have to publish those letters. <laughs> oh, Griffin they're and, like the Groucho Griffin letters. Griffin and Sabine le- letters. <laughs> Oh, we're having fun. We're having fun. We're just pals, guys. That would be great, though. I mean, can you imagine just taking our kids Welcome to- Welcome to Just to, Pals Radio. Just Pals, dripping milk. Uh, can you imagine taking our kids to kindergarten on the very first day and then imagine, watching them go off into kindergarten and then turning, turning to them, each other yeah. and crying and, yeah. and like having a uh, sharing a hug and being like, buddy, only you know what I'm going through yeah. right now. Yeah, high-fiving each other. High-fiving each because other. Because we taught them how to do that on the exact same day. Or imagine them going to junior high and meeting a teacher. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh boy, I don't like this part. It really it. makes you, but that's where I was going. It really makes you think about like, well, why, and, why let your kid do anything? Oh yeah, why, why, why well, let him I, out of your sight? It does make me understand, like conceptually, why we've got a generation of like pampered, helicopter pampered helicopter parents. parents. Yeah, well, the parents aren't pampered. No, pampered kids. I would love to pamper some parents out there, by pam- the way. Oh, Welcome to pampered has- parents. Hashtag Driven diaper milk. life. <laughs> Hashtag corn dog, pampers, corn dog. Pampers are a diaper. So we're living <laughs> pampered so parents. Double meaning here. Diaper life. Uh, <laughs> like chum in the water. <laughs> We've got a lot of like catchphrases in, the waiting room. in this episode. <laughs> vying for title. <laughs> vying for t-shirts. Uh, is that a shirt? Yeah. By the way, is that a shirt? Shirts available in the store right <laughs> is now. Is that right? Yes, Shame right. on you. <laughs> Shame on you. <laughs> Is that a shirt? <laughs> it is not. Where have you been? What's the most exotic locale you've ever been? That I've in, ever been? In which you've in, ever been? Um, uh, I, uh, exotic? I went to Bora Bora once on a vacation. No. That was beautiful. Where is that even? It's like, in The middle know, of the ocean or yeah, something? It's, a, it's like a tiny island in the middle of the ocean. Great. Great. And beautiful. how was it? Oh, very relaxing. Did you sun your buns? I sunned them buns. <laughs> Let me check out those buns. Let me see. Uh, check out these buns. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I just had to take my diaper off and then- uh, <laughs> See some of those pampered sorry. parents. Yeah. Uh, I call soft, your buns pampered parents, uh, yeah, by the way. soft little tushy. Um, anyway, uh, I went anyway. to Bora Bora, but I thought, you know, I've, I've traveled around, but I let's would travel, like- Let's travel. Tell you what. Where you should and we I go? Travel, Where should we go? We, we should travel the world, meaning six of the seven continents. Great. We should travel the world and uh, we should uh, have sex with our respective partners in hotel rooms around the world. Okay. Hoping for that seed to flower uh, on the exact same day. And Why six of seven? Uh, I don't want to go to Antarctica. Oh, probably. I would. You would? Really? Yep. Like Metallica? Wait, where have you not been? I've, uh, not- I've never been to Africa. Uh, I've never... No, I have been to Asia, so I get... Uh, uh, you got I've no. Well, I've, I've been, been to, to Central Australia. Central America, not South America. Got so. it. Got it. Got it. Uh, so I guess those those are the three that I've never been in. Okay. What about you? I think I think I'm similar, although I've never been to Australia. Yeah. Uh, got to go to Australia, buddy. Yeah. yeah um, we should just travel around the world together. Let's 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 do. Uh, Speaking uh, of procrastination, let's tour our rock and roll band. <laughs> let's tour go. our rock and roll band all over the world. All over the world. Uh, playing to no one, playing to silence, hopefully. I feel and then like, we'll stare at them. I feel like if we were to try and mount a tour, comedy bank podcast fans mm-hmm. would come to see that just to be like, just to be like, this is, we got to see what this is. <laughs> we just got to check it out. How dare even they? For five minutes. How dare How they? How are they even charging $5 for this? <laughs> I can't believe they encouraged us to bring things to throw at them. <laughs> we're going to mount a tour as we mount our oh, respective yeah. partners. And then finally hope that happens. Tour babies. Tour babies. Tour babies. I would love to have a tour baby with you. I would you. love to have a tour baby with you. That's, that, well, that is our band, I'm tour being babies. honest, we should have children at, on the same day. I would, and I know this started as I, a bit, I need you, but I would like to now I would really say love it. I would love to have children because at a lot the of our, same a lot exact our, time. A lot of our friends are having babies. Sure, and or have having, had. And they're having them a year before we ever will, two yeah. years before we ever will. And they're having these experiences and we're losing them all. Yep. We don't see them as often. No. 
And so it would be great to do it with someone right around the same time. I think it would be amazing. I need you to get on it, buddy. I'm working on it. I'm working real hard. Well, what are you doing? What are your nothing, steps? Nothing. I'm procrastinating. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. See, I got to not procrastinate. I got, listen. Who, who procrastinates when it comes to sex? That's the fun thing. No, the, it's, not, it's not the sex. It's finding the person to like to have a baby with. Who cares? Just have a baby with anyone. Oh, that's okay. And now that's an interesting move. Seriously. Maybe just forego, forego the, the relationship. Of a relationship. Part of it. Who cares? Have it with anyone. You think I should? Okay, so that's interesting. So now, so I, you think I should just start raw dogging ladies until I have a baby? <laughs> yes, of course. Okay. Uh, with their permission, of course. Consensual raw you dogging. Get down on one knee and say, "May I raw dog you?" I, yes. <laughs> with the express intent to have a child. <laughs> And We're, oh, maybe I should start asking ladies like, you know, like not just like, hey, are you still out? Are you up? What up? What's going on? I should be like, where are you at on your cycle? <laughs> exactly. Are, hey, are you, you on? You want to get a drink? Where are you at in your cycle? <laughs> Have you peed on a stick that says if you're oven or not? <laughs> Can I take that basil temp, babe? <laughs> it's interesting that women are oven and they have babies in the oven. Yeah. Oven in that oven, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. That, I got that. That's not bad. Oven in the oven. Loving in that oven? Hashtag diaper life. Hashtag pampered parents. <laughs> horn dog, horn dog. I don't know that we've gotten there yet. Yep. I'm not sure. We'll swing back around to oh, it I'm at some point during the it. episode. All right. We need to take a break. Uh, when you we, need to take a break. Yes, I do need to take a break. I just This has been too exciting for me. I um, would just like to say I would keep going, but Scott's making us take a break. I uh, Hey, man. Hey, Nong, man. <laughs> you said that as if we've never said it before. Hey, as if you're the alien. Nong. Come Coming down Man. to earth. Oh, uh, what do you mean? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. I, I, Jason got what do you mean? very frightened right now. <laughs> what do you mean? I, I'm Jason. And that's what it's all about. You know, sometimes if a big Hollywood star drops out, uh, you get, uh, you know, someone on the, I, here's would the you say thing. you're on the C list or the D list? Here, uh, me? Yeah. I don't know. G list probably. Where am G I G spot list. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just like uh, put your fingers in, but like angle them up. Okay, a little. we're going to take a break. You know what I'm saying? And when we come back, we'll have more comedy bang bang after this. The G spot. Comedy bang bang, we're back here. We have Jason Manzukas, and he's sipping from uh, what looks to be some sort of a pot of, is it uh, Java or is it uh, hydrogen mixed with a little bit of oxygen? <laughs> oh, boy. You are just. Going for it today. That is coffee. I have coffee in my coffee mug, Scott. You have coffee in your coffee mug? Yes, sir. Very nice. Very nice. About I made it at home. Approximately how much coffee do you drink, uh, fluid ounces wise, per annum? <laughs> I'm not answering that. <laughs> You're not? Okay. No. I would have engaged. With I, w- a, I wish I that you had those types normal, of statistics at the ready. But about my coffee intake, that's but you fun. have to make it absurd. That's at fun. a certain point, I just can't abide. All right. During the break, we were talking about uh, babies and, and uh, whether they do shit or not. And uh, we're talking about uh, dogs. They certainly do. And yeah. uh, we have to pick it up. And uh, isn't that weird? If you were an alien coming down to Earth and you were looking at, at humans, you would be like, Oh, wow, these dogs have all the power. They're making humans pick up their own shit. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Does that, but in every other way, I don't think, I think you'd pretty quickly be like, uh, I don't think these It'd dogs. Be a, it's a mixed message. You have to agree for the aliens. You know what? We're, we're given mixed messages. That is for sure. Yeah. And they, the aliens would have every right in couples counseling to bring it up and be like, I just don't know what you <laughs> They'd want. They'd be like, I don't know who I'm supposed to come down and say, take me to your leader to. The yeah. dogs? The humans? What, what do I do? I get it. And they I'd would just rather fly talk away. To, by the way, I'd rather talk to those dogs right now than the leader. <laughs> don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking uh, tang, baby. Ah, uh, dripping milk. Uh, corn dog, corn dog. Hashtag <laughs> diap life. Living that hashtag diap life. Do you feel as though um, when you get to a thousand episodes, you will just, uh, that's it? Is that your goal? I don't know. Your you know, stated that's goal is get to a thousand. Get, a thousand yes. episodes in a movie. Because because right? honestly, like a thousand, that's great for a baseball player. Why wouldn't I want to achieve that? Sure. Because you love baseball. <laughs> Everybody yeah. knows you love baseball. Look, if you're batting a thousand, you're the best baseball player who ever lived. What's interesting by the is end of the season, this started as a baseball podcast. <laughs> it really right? did. Yeah. In fact, let's get to it. Yeah. Who do you like this year? Oh uh, man, you know I'm thinking these guys out there are, are hitting some I'm, balls. Yeah, I think the prawns are going to go all the way. Oh really? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know. The, I feel the like, little prawns—they're hitting big. I feel like the cardboard boxes are looking great this year. <laughs> 
<laughs> CBs. Is it still banned from look from from watching um, <laughs> the, the team that that uh, CBB uh, bankrolls. Long way to get there, but worth it. No, what what, oh, what exactly guys, did you ask me? Guys, what is happening? <laughs> he took a huge sip of coffee oh, right after I, I that. I was like, I am not ready for this <laughs> huge show. Huge sip of Jesus juice. Yipes. Yikes. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Yes. Three, two, two one. one. Um, I want to introduce myself. My name is Scott Ackerman. I'm the host of Comedy Bang Bang. And uh, you may recognize his raspy, almost cancer-ridden <laughs> vocal style. <laughs> Uh, he is the star of such films as The Dictator and uh, The House, and not much. Not other much than else. That. Not much else. Just That's those two. Those are my only two credits on IMDb. Com- coming up dry. Yeah. Other than that. Yep. Yep. I do believe you had a movie recently called ha- Where in the World? No, what is it called? Where in the World is Carmen San Diego? <laughs> you Wait. might not. You might know me as one of the founding members of Rockapella. <laughs> You have talked about it so many times on the show, and yet for the life of me, I couldn't tell you it what the name of this movie is. Heartbreaking uh, that you it's can't remember my is that career. What it's we are friends. Uh, it is called the Long Dumb Road. The Long Dumb Road. It of is course. available now on Blu-ray. That's right. That's right. Uh, so get out there, get yourself a but Blu-ray also, player. But also, don't get it on Blu-ray if you don't want. Just rent it off of iTunes. Rent it, buy it, rent, whatever you, you like know, to do. Get get the get the girl or guy that you enjoy kissing on. Put yeah. the movie on, and I guarantee you will get turned the fuck yeah. on put some it's, peanut butter on your penis and whatever why? comes over oh hey that's a fun night how do you mean just whatever comes be it the your loved one be it your uh, an animal whatever you want just like that, no you don't do you think that's okay do you, are you i think that's okay because look do you think are you of the opinion that if the animal is choosing to eat the peanut butter that's the animal's choice <laughs> that is yes exactly that is, that is consent oh, right there boy. <laughs> I can't see. The we are is, barely minutes into this. The podcast. thing is, is you have to slather it on in oh, front of them, oh, so that it's God. like there's no trick involved. See, this sounds like. But if you want this, this peanut butter, like it's from experience. <laughs> oh, uh, R.I.P. Rocky. R.I.P. Yes, <laughs> my dear Rocky. Uh, 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 Jason, do you have any pets? Have you ever had any pets? I had a dog named Turkey. Turkey the dog. That's confusing. Um, uh, I agree. I inherited the name, but you know what? I love you. It. Inherited it from uh, your. Father? I, no. Uh, yeah. Well, no. It was Turkey's. Turkey's. Your father. father's name was Turkey. My father's so name you was called Turkey, your dog which was Turkey. very awkward for a Greek man. <laughs> very uh, difficult. Uh, um, social commentary. I had a I had a dog named Turkey. Uh, she was a pit beagle mix. Uh, she was the cutest and mm. the best. Uh, and then she died in my arms, heartbreakingly. In uh, your arms. In my what arms. did you do? Did you crush her? What? Uh, how did this? Yeah, happen? I Lenny from I, of mice and mend her. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna <laughs> of mice and mend you. <laughs> That's okay. you Listen up, Turkey. Slathered your arms in peanut butter. I, uh, she was making too much noise when, mili- when when militants were coming by, and I said, "Shut that dog up!" And someone strangled it, just like militants. That, That's just what like you th- that mash episode. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, I thought sorry. you were talking about uh, of mice and men. No, I'm talking. I, I jumped to another like unfortunate yes. killing of an innocent. Got it. it was a baby. Exactly. There Thank we go. You. Um, I was thinking of of mice and men, where they instead she gives sustenance to the baby from her supple teat. Not to uh, spoil the end of of mice and men for no, not of mice and men. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the other Steinbeck. Oh, um, what's the one where she whips her titty out? Grapes of wrath. Are you okay? Uh, Welcome back to Scott Arkerman's book club. <laughs> All I know is, is if there's a titty you in, just in a book. You just wanted to say supple teat, which I, I have. did find erotic. Grapes of Wrath. A lot of people right now are, you know, because people listen to these podcasts when they're commuting, when they're doing stuff, yeah. when they're laundry, when they're, you know, running around, doing errands. Right now, every single one of them is jerking off. That's right. They have a Everybody big. Everybody is like, if they're there are driving, pile-ups. If, they have, if they're driving, they have a big boner and it's acting like the club. Yeah. <laughs> essentially, in their they, steering they, they wheel. They can't turn their wheel because their boner is hitting this windshield <laughs> because of your description of the supple teeth. That's right. It, I, I tell you, what a surprise ending. To shocker. It's shocker. It's Shyamalan-esque. And, uh, it very much so. I could not believe when I read when I turned that page, I, th- here's how I remember it in my mind. So the description is, it's at the bottom of the page. She whipped out her, and then you had to turn the page, yep. and then the very top word is tit. Is that what it is? I'm pretty sure that's how Steinbeck described it. But that's how it, that's the so impact. So you added the word supple. <laughs> right. And teat. But that is the impact it had on me where I went, whoa, she got her titty out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
I remember it slightly differently. I remember yeah. reading, like, uh, recognizing that uh, something as a metaphor, be, recognizing that something needed to be done. She she pulled out her, and you turned the page. Sweet, sweet sweater me. <laughs> oh dear. I by the way, that I, gets an oh dear. I apologize to any listener sweet, of this show who sweet does not listen. Sweater me. Although I suppose way, when you see Jason sure Manzukis is on the show, uh, yeah, that's true. Sweet sweater me, and then an sweet, arrow. Sweet sweater me. I guess it wouldn't be pointing down because no, the words like would the be words on the would, actual. I think, be the outline of the boobs. Yeah, got it. Sweet, sweet sweater me. So the S- sweet, sweet, and then underneath sweater me. Ah, right. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I mean, like we can. I don't know. We can workshop this. Yeah, let's get some ladies in here and I think, start putting I think some it's designs very on. Cool them. for a couple of cool dudes <laughs> to decide how to make shirts that talk about ladies' boobies. <laughs> I apologize any, to any of our listeners, but uh, when Jason Manzukis is on the show, it's we gonna get are blue. Talking tits. <laughs> talking tang. We're, we're talking tang. We're talking milk. tits. We are dripping that milk. <laughs> glug yes, glug sir. glug. <laughs> Vitamin D. <laughs> This shit's not pasteurized straight from the tap. What if the singer Vitamin C said to the world in a big press conference, I'm changing my name to Vitamin D and it's all about my boobs now. What do you think? I don't mind it. I mean, here's the, yeah, here's what I'm now realizing though. Vitamin D could also be dick. You know, like you need, you need a little vitamin D. (laughs) That's not a bad pickup line right? for you, by the way. You really? You think I could walk up to somebody in a bar and be Just like, cold. Hey, I'm sorry. Have you seen a nutritionist lately? Because I'm pretty sure you're short of a little vitamin D. <laughs> zip, zip, thwap. Thwap. <laughs> arrested. Zip, zip, thwap. Hey, that's a t-shirt. Zip, zip thwap, thwap, arrested. <laughs> Handcuffs. <laughs> zip, thap. <laughs> You're uh, saying fap like it's a Spider-Man sound effect. Thwip. Thwip would be, yeah. Yes. Zip, thwip. Th- zip, thwip. <laughs> so that this is a spider. This is totally Marvel. Is, hit us up. This is this a totally is a, separate Spider-Man T-shirt we want. Well, here's the thing: Zip, we've never seen whip. We've never seen Spider-Man pull his dick out. <laughs> we've ne- my not assumption in any is, of the movies. My assumption any is any of the cartoons. It's zip, thwip. He hits his dick with some web juice, right? <laughs> to make to so stretch can, it out, so that he can pull his dick <laughs> without having to use his hands. Yes, exactly. So he doesn't, doesn't want to his, wash his hands afterwards. Yeah, or before. You know what? Yeah. Here's the thing: Why aren't we talking about people? Here's the reality and this is not a joke anymore why aren't we teaching people to wash their hands before Before they they touch their dick yes exactly I wash my hands before and after because I'm out there in the world I'm out in these streets touching shit uh, shaking hands what do I do shaking hands meeting the people next thing I know I'm just like touching on my dick like yeah and then I wash afterwards as if my dick's the dirty thing no guess what your hands are the dirty thing all you filthy monsters are the dirty things guess what I don't if 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 every hand I touched I was like oh you know what you should touch my dick (laughs) It's almost like you're getting a hand job from every single person that you've met. Well, I'm, now I'm listening. <laughs> um, and that to me is that to, we everybody should be washing their hands all the time. How often? And the, I know you're a bit a bit of a. Uh, 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 well, uh, I'm curious you, where this is going. Uh, Legend? Uh, ooh, no, <laughs> definitely do a 180 hunk? from that. I think the word you're looking <laughs> no, for no, is sir. hunk. Uh, 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 all I can think of is chrono, but what is the the person who uh, is all hypochondriac? Thank you. Yay. I, uh, yes. What, no, a, lot I of listeners, what a lot of listeners don't know is I uh, think in Latin. That is my original language. I always have to translate everything into English. Oh, man, that's English. so cool. Yeah. That's so cool of so you. You're a bit of a hypochondriac. How often? do you wash your hands every single day? I wash my hands, I don't know, but of a lot. So I much so that know. my hands are raw. Uh, yeah. Like a raw and like... Uh, like Eddie Murphy chapped. over there. They are. They, my hands are wearing tiny, um, a tiny leather red suit. leather jumpsuits <laughs> and le- yellow leather shoes. And saying some unfortunate leather, words yellow, over leather, and over Red leather, again. yellow leather. Red, red leather. leather. We should have done our warm-ups before yeah. we did this show. <laughs> What if you were in a Broadway show and that's all you did before every performance? You were in Hamilton and everyone's passing by your, your dressing room and you're just going, fuck, fuck. <laughs> yeah, they would think you were an insane person. Yeah, but I mean, if you're delivering the goods on that stage. And then you're out there, Alexander Hamilton. <laughs> I presume that's how the show goes. Okay. I saw it once. Yeah, of course. Yeah. We all did. Alexander Hamilton. Oh, man. Lin-Manuel Miranda is listening to this and he's I like, know he come is. on, Scott. Four and three and two and one Whoa. when Alexander Hamilton is on grabbing his gun. I don't know. Something like that. I can, anyone Are can, you rewriting Hamilton? Anyone can write Hamilton. This wow. is my point. <laughs> wow. I bet, Lynn, I, please call in. I bet you that I could write Hamilton 
in like one day. It took him like years. I bet I could write it in one day. You think it you could be write good. Hamilton in one day, or you yeah. think you could write a similar um, a similar music? Give me the exact same plot points. Which no, let's he give took you, from a book. I was anyway. going to say, let's give you another historical figure, and the challenge will be: okay. can you write a different Hamilton, George Hamilton? <laughs> Yeah, George Hamilton. <laughs> Love it for spites, yep. George Hamilton. Yep, let's do it. <laughs> sure. We'll make a Hamilton musical. It'll be about George Hamilton. It'll be rap. By the way, that's not this the is worst not a, idea. It's not the worst idea I've ever it's heard. The, like, there's a version of you that spends the next year doing this. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Libretto by. Finally, Hamilton comes to Netflix, <laughs> and it's just a George Hamilton musical. Is he still with us, George Hamilton? Of course he is. Of course. Of Why course wouldn't he be? Of course he is. I used to get George Hamilton and Robert Wagner confused. Used at us when I was oh, young. Oh, yeah, you can't do that. No. They're both very similarly. Well, uh, I, I don't know if Robert Wagner is tan. He's not as tan, but they have a similar, similar look. Similar vibe, like, yeah. definitely. Robert Wagner, of course, from heart to heart. Heart to heart, yeah. Hey, yeah. is that your tie, Max? And or did I believe you throw up on your shirt? Part of the Natalie Wood murder conspiracy. I believe so. I think Christopher Walken uh, allegedly. Uh, slayed her, but... Uh, oh, is that right? I believe... Didn't I didn't he, listen to that podcast. Didn't he toss her over the boat? Something uh, like that, yeah. And then but, Phil uh, Collins wrote the song about it. Yes, that's right. <laughs> and then he flew to Live Aid Wait, to I Philadelphia know, was, from you, It sounded like you were bringing up Christopher Walken because you wanted to set up your perfect Walken impression. Oh, here we go. You... <laughs> So good. You. That's all I do. So good. I, I can do any person like, saying the word it, you. It really is like. Name there a celebrity. Is, in term, there is Walken. Yeah. There is Jay Moore's Walken. <laughs> there is KP's Walken. Kevin Pollock's Walken. And then yeah. there's yours. And then there's it. There are four Walkens. There are four Walkens. You. Four Walkens walk into a bar. <laughs> four Walkens walk in to a bar. Oh, boy. That's not a bad idea for a show, too. Guys, I could spend the next year writing that. This is all we're doing. Right here today, we are making up your next year work, worth of work. <laughs> I need something. I need an idea. I'm out. Oh. Jason, it's Cody. always it's always so good to see Cody. you. You're uh, one of our, our, our favorite guests. And uh, who knew that would happen the first time we ever talked to you? John Wick 3. please. Chapter 3. Parabellum. Parabellum. If that is the only credit people remember is my 90 seconds of screen time in John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum. By the way, thrilled. I hope that when you die, and I know you will die. Oh, please. That <laughs> I only hope that it's after you. <laughs> that by the time you die, headstones have video uh, technology. They have that now here in town. Really? Where you Where, can like, put like basically, play? yeah, you can put basically an iPad screen. So I hope you die right now. <laughs> okay, interesting. <laughs> but I just want your 90 seconds of Parabellum to be on a loop. Oh, yeah. So if you went to my gravesite, you would see TikTok, Mr. Wick, TikTok. <laughs> yes. And it's just me going TikTok, TikTok <laughs> on my own grave. <laughs> on your own grave. <laughs> like, what a, what a chilling thing to see. I, what if they put it up on TikTok? Oh, wow. TikTok, TikTok. Are you, wait. Are you the TikTok By man the way, from TikTok? By the way, if they were smart, they would integrate this. <laughs> oh, my God. The TikTok man is now from the from app TikTok. From TikTok and your grave. Conti that actually brings up an important point. If you want to see the continuing adventures of the TikTok man, <laughs> tune in on TikTok to the TikTok man chronicles. <laughs> you need a, your own spinoff. One of our oldest guests uh, uh, What in a thrill. Age. <laughs> what a thrill to be here. How dare you? Uh, as you are older than me by barely months, I believe. <laughs> yeah, I, I think... Uh, 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 yeah, we. Uh, I mean, our we could be related. We are. As far as yeah, you know. How so? Well, I. Well, you know, I. I was born in seventy, but I believe I was conceived into sixty nine. So, <laughs> hello. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? How could you be conceived in a 69? I don't know. You know, stuff gets squirted out. It gets all but spread it around. But it doesn't get spread in the right place. Like, a, you can, if, if someone, does. if your father and mother were 69ing, picture it. Oh, shit. <laughs> picture your father and your mother just going to town 69 style. I'm going to picture my father and your mother. Is Great. that okay? Okay. <laughs> and this is what I'm talking about. Yeah. We could and, be related. And she, and, and it just wouldn't work because the sperm would not fertilize the egg in your mother mother's mouth. Well, maybe if the dad was, look, I don't want to get into You the, don't? You don't want to go down the <laughs> rabbit hole of how this works? It's not that kind of a show. It's very early it to be very saying much that, kind that of it's a show. not that kind of a show. I, uh, I'm not that kind of performer. I'm telling you, this show is going to be like this until I get married. <laughs> this show has to find me a wife. Otherwise, I, this is what the show is. I Once you do get married, please come back on the show and we'll talk about your wife's boobs like this. By the way, done! <laughs> Easy breezy! Can this be a conversation? Cover girl that I have with your wife before like 
you are about Wait, you to, want me to bring her in to talk to her about I don't about want you to bring her in. Oh. I want to be there when you propose so that you can oh. say, will you marry me? And by the way, here's one other caveat. Sure. And I step in. In, a, tuxi- in a tuxedo myself. I presume you'll be in a tuxedo. No, I'm going like to be bachelor. nude. <laughs> okay. The minute, the, here's the I'll thing. I'll be in nature's tuxedo when I, myself. When we'll I, both be nude. Exactly. When I propose to the woman that I marry, I want to be unencumbered by clothing. <laughs> you want If a boner happens during it, I you want, want to be able to I want her easy to know, access. I want her to know this is what you're signing up for for life. She won't have seen it at that point. Not at all. Okay. Because we'll have just met. <laughs> Look, it's not that kind of show, but I do want to I, I want you to what say What kind of show is it? I cannot tell. <laughs> I want to be there to say to your your betrothed. Yes. Uh may we talk about your boobs. Oh yeah, no, no, all the time. I, and absolutely. if not, then Jason will step aside, and you will marry her, <laughs> sure. and then I will then, marry Cool Up, get the show, oh, and no. just talk about her boobs the how whole time. Dare how dare you? Works? How dare you? You even mention her boobs. <laughs> I don't want to hear her boobs coming out of your mouth or into your mouth. <laughs> oh boy, you, that's you. You did that. You just said all that. You put it. You put. It's not that kind of show. I don't. I don't like the influence that you have upon me here. You know what? I like it. I like that, you know, I get, I force you down into the You are gutter, dragging me down, down into the in, gutter like, where I am. Like the clown from It. Oh, yeah. You, you are the clown from It. Imagine Tim this. Tim Curry. <laughs> the OG. And then the who was it? Bill, whatever his name yeah, is? Yeah, Skarsgård. Skarsgård. I, w- I think It, and It 2, It Chapter 2 is coming mm-hmm. out very soon. Uh, I think it would would have been such a better movie. Forget all the clown makeup. Just It's You. Just me, yeah, yeah. Just you, and you're uh, and you're like. Can Come you on imagine down here. if you were walking down the street and you saw me poking out of day? a storm drain? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, that would be pretty fucking wild. It would be wild. That would be I, a very I, uncomfortable scenario. And I don't think you're like luring anyone down to eat anyone. No, you're just like I just want to hang. <laughs> yeah. Hey, want to come watch Game of Thrones? <laughs> you want to have a throne and bone? Yeah, classic throne and bone. <laughs> a throne and bone. Explain what a, a classic throne and, throne and, bone. and bone is when you invite somebody over to watch Game of Thrones. You watch it, and you then it's you, so hot and heavy, and then you get to the bones. And you roll the bones. <laughs> there hasn't been that much uh, uh, sexual activity on the. Well, I guess there no, was. Braun had a th- had a four way. I don't know who that was interrupted uh, uh, when Bra- Kyburn. Braun is a character on the show. Braun is a character on the show. Is it spelled H- B R A W N? No, I believe it's B R O N. Okay, this is although I haven't read this it. This is as bad as Luke Skywalker and and you know all these terrible terrible Han what's great, Solo. What's great about Game of Thrones is that there will be all of these deeply uniquely named people, you know, Brienne and Tormund and all these wonderfully named people. But then there will be like Kevin. There is a character. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like, so weird the, when Kevin comes on. In the Lannister line, there is it's Tyrion, so Tywin, Cersei, Kevin. Kevin. And it's that's so a real name. And he pops up and people are like, Kevin, just get out of here. And no, and then remember when they're like, oh, we need to talk about Kevin. Oh, hey Jonathan Wick is what's his actual last name? Jonathan. It, the the title of this yes movie is Jonathan Stephen Wick, <laughs> Part Three. Part Three. Parabolum. <laughs> <laughs> you play the TikTok man, and the what TikTok is your line man. of dialogue? And TikTok, Mister Wick. Are you? Do you just basically show up to tell Keanu Reeves he's got to hurry? Is I, that all I'm, your entire you know, character I, I, is? I'm not allowed to say whether that is true or not. That is very exciting. Oh In, yes, uh, cinema project. Uh, I guess you call it a movie. It, uh, I call it a cinema project. I call it a CP. <laughs> Piece of content. You know, if you're going to look at my CV, you're going to see a lot of CPs. <laughs> That's right. The homeless man who... Oh, the TikTok man. TikTok man. Yeah, yes, man. that's he's right. He's dressed as a homeless man. He's played the he's TikTok man homeless. and the Dink Dink man. Yes. In two separate projects. Oh, man. The Dink Dink man the Dink is Dink man. like probably one of my greatest characters. <laughs> it really is. I think eventually everyone will play the Dink Dink man as well. I got we all did. If you don't know what we're talking from about. From your in, lips to God's ears. In Chicago, and you can listen to uh, our recent uh, trip to Chicago. Uh, in the Chi sti- Town, st- uh, yes, of course, the Windy City, the Big Apple, uh, city in the Stitcher of Premium, brotherly love. That's right, of course, brothers love each other. City in that of town. big shoulders, si- the, the city- Peach State, the city where people fall down. The Big Apple. I'm just doing. I'm yeah. just doing towns. Um, and uh, he did the town in Chicago. We uh, certainly were there, and you can listen to that show uh, in Stitcher Premium. But, uh, we you had port- a beautiful night We had a beautiful Chicago night, theater. and you portrayed the Dink Dink Man, so uh, that, oh, yes. that's something that people can listen to. You, we, everybody portrayed the Dink Dink Man. <laughs> yes, I, we all did. <laughs> it was like a, it was a, a, a production in which everybody got to play <laughs> Everyone the got to rotate man. and play the Dink Dink Man at various times. How, how was it doing that? Keanu, nice dude? Lovely. Very Lo- nice. Lovely guy. I've met 
Adam constantly wants. covered in um, smooches, blood, and rain, and like it just a. I cannot imagine what a task it is to make these movies because right. they are brutal. Because he doesn't arrive to the set covered in blood, right? He does. He does. He arrives okay. to the set well, every then, day then absolutely covered in blood. <laughs> they wash they had that, to write they a movie wash around that blood it. off. They wash that blood off. <laughs> and then they, because it's horse blood. When he arrives, it's oh, horse blood. Oh, yeah, you can tell. Yeah, you can tell. He yeah, does. horse blood. They wash it's that right off. They, throw the, to they it. throw the fake blood right on him and bing, bang, boom, <laughs> we're shooting movies. Um, it must be so fun. I don't know if you get to uh, do anything that they do in that movie or whether you just like grab him and go, hey, man. You, you, you hey, gotta, man. hey man, you hey gotta man, hurry. We gotta get out of here, right? <laughs> hey, here, are, here are my we lines. We gotta go. Here are my lines. TikTok, Mr. Wick. Hey man, we gotta get out of here. You gonna finish that pizza? That's a line I have in the movie. Do you turn to the camera at the very end after he shot everyone and just say, I could get used to this? <laughs> yep. Does it happen three times in the. In the uh, yep, rule of threes. Rule of threes. Yeah. yeah. What yeah. are the other first, two the times? The first two are I, I look in the camera and I say, Oh, I can't get used to this. Oh, this, so the and last the one's third a fun time, twist. The last one, the, the stay all. But, oh, I should say this. Stay all the way through the credits. Yes. Okay, I'm not and saying... Even, even after even the lights after come the lights up, come up and the movie and screen like goes dark. Probably 15, 20 now, minutes. Now listen, uh, in when the- ushers come in and say, you have to leave the theater, <laughs> the scene has begun. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, they're they, in on are, it. it. This is, is like an improv anywhere. It is a last. It is a live post credit scene. Wow. In every theater, and you do it live. I am in you, every you're theater. Traveling post-crap. around. I'm running. Wow. Around. I, my schedule. Your schedule Scott, is outrageous. Incredible. I'm popping in to do post credit scenes all over the country. Wow. So just stay right in your stay seats. Stay right where you are. If in they fact, try and come in and try kick to you grab out, grab you to take you. It's part of the you thing. You just say, "I am an American. <laughs> I have." Measles, I'm at the yeah. movies. The, <laughs> the special code word is get the fuck off me. Get the fuck By off the way, me. You say, I have measles. This is America. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll and a world of post-credit scenes will open up to you that really are very necessary oh, to, to the movie. I really I just saw that article that someone had an outbreak of the measles. Some a, a person with the measles Went was to see at a movie. Avengers I Endgame. Mean, look, you get the is measles. Is that a marketing campaign against Avengers, do you think? <laughs> It could be. If you get the measles, though, what better way to just spend three hours and try to plow through it? Guys, if you have measles, do not go to the movies. <laughs> do not go, in fact, anywhere. Oh, God. Other than uh, hospital. the hospital. Right. I mean, like, maybe? Jason, you're a hypochondriac. I don't and like it. You're a you're a hyper hypochondriac. I am, like, I am on this measles thing. This yeah. is stressing me out. You, yeah, I, as far as I can tell, you have, like, some sort of alert system to, yes. like... Yes, uh, well, that alert system is a friend of mine. And all we do is send each other articles about the measles outbreak and, this and is a, the Ebola outbreak. This is a similarly hypochondriac friend? Yes, or, it is. Okay. <laughs> yes, and, it is. It is someone I know or just Yes, some, it is. Oh, dear. It is somebody you know. I can't think of anyone who uh, has... It's, it's not somebody you know well. It's not somebody you know All right, sure. But it's somebody okay. you... It's Maybe I do know them well. You know. And, and, oh, I don't want to get into this. That's not... It's Maybe not, I'm a really good friend and just... Yeah, absolutely. They've never talked it's about it with you because... It's a very, very deep friend of yours. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know what? I can have my own friends. I don't like I it. I can have my I, own friend. Please register all of your friends with me, oh, if you would. Please you stop trying to do that friend database where you get everybody to register their friends. I, it's look, very uncomfortable. The problem was is I call also, it Friendster. <laughs> and that was already taken uh, and apparently did not take off. And then I bought Friendster for really? $80 million. By the way, solid buy. Three months ago, though. Yep. That's a good buy, though. You know what you got <laughs> to do. It's a real good buy. Start to making my money. TV shows. Yeah, you gotta boy. Got to get back TV to it. Shows. Man, remember those good I did. years? Hey, you know what? I just sold that pitch. Ooh. Psh, oh, wait, wait. Did your Siri just go off? Siri? What's going on? Sorry. So what I'm, is... Wh- I'm playing with my phone and I hit a button. Aren't you supposed to say Siri before no, it goes off? No, you know off? what? It's set up and right now. And what did it say? Did it say, should I start making TV shows? It says, should I start making TV shows, which is what they're doing now. <laughs> Look, they may as well. That's Apple what I TV, bet Apple is doing that. Tim Apple announced that he's... <laughs> just let Siri come up with it all. That he's going to let AI just start making all their TV shows. Oh, I... I... Terrible, terrible stuff. Please turn your phone off. Stop playing with it because Sorry. we... Uh, this is very We can't important. have this, this kind of foolishness. This is significant. Okay, I need you to be focused. I need you to be all in. I'm I need in, you to baby. push your chips I'm to in. the center here, of the I'm table. Here talk, I'm here bringing classic Ackerman Manzoukas Bring the heat. To the table. I know that... We've talked about boobs. <laughs> We've the talked... End. <laughs> <laughs> We've talked about boning. Oh, man. What else do you have? Why aren't there comedy bang-bang shirts that have boobs on them? <laughs> 
I mean, why are there shirts that in has general a graphic, that have boobs that has on a them. graphic of boobs on it, dripping milk? Look, we for already my have show, the big dog shirt for my show, which is the grossest shirt we've By ever the way, sold. I have I, ordered one. I am excited to wear my big it. dog shirt. I don't. I don't know. I look. I would feel embarrassed woof, woof, to have that out. Eat shit. <laughs> woof woof spelled wrong. I would have that embarrassed to have that out in the world, out in the universe. I, Drip, I th- the dripping milk t- t-shirt. Yeah, you're I, a coward. I am. You're a coward. I'm a little fraidy cat. What do you think? You think it's it's like I think someone will see it, get the wrong idea, and go, "Oh God, that's what comedy." The wrong guy idea. About. What about what kind of show this is? <laughs> <laughs> the wrong idea about what dripping milk is. Now, here's the question. What yeah. I would love is if the T-shirt can actually lactate. There's something. Now, that's, now, that's okay. Right? It has, like, little pocket packs. Like, like, little things that you can, like, or you uh, like a little bulb that you can, yeah. like, uh, with your hand. Or maybe it's, it's like uh, when you get shot in a movie. Like, uh, you know when you were filming all the fight scenes in John Wick 3? A June squib? You know, in John Wick 3, when yeah. you were firing all the guns at everyone yeah, yeah. and... Uh, no, no, no. The... I don't do guns. My guy's all cross- crossbow. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, shit! Um, yeah, so a little squibs that just like, you know, from far away re- via remote control, you can just go... Just like <laughs> milk explosion. <laughs> the... Just, just so your, you your could... Because it would be wet. great when you saw someone clock the t-shirt yeah. and give a look at it. Like, what the fuck? Then you could be like, boom. And boom. it just and like, you... just milks. And before that, you go, hey, my eyes are up here. And then they look up at your eyes, and go, "I'm sorry." And then you go, Pfft. "If I could get any, um, if I could get any plastic surgery, yeah, here's the only not if I could. Here's the only plastic surgery may I'm I, willing may I to get. Say why you should get some here's, plastic surgery? <laughs> here's the plastic surgery I'm willing to get, and okay. I will get it. Okay, maybe I've, maybe this is illustrates how long too long that I've been in Hollywood. Okay, okay, yeah, because I'm now thinking of getting plastic sure, surgery. Sure, of course, we all and have I'm it. Like, okay, okay, maybe that's a thing. Maybe that will help. Maybe whatever. If you ever I, see any movie. 100% of the actors have plastic surgery. Absolutely. And we will too. Uh, we're just shopping for it right now. We're yes. just like, you know. Very, I'm going to have. And if there are any plastic surgeons who want to advertise on the show, code Bang Bang oh. gets you 10% off at checkout. Oh, yeah. And 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 it's 10% off each boob. <laughs> Yeah, right. If you're putting yeah. boobs in, here's 10, what I 10% would do. on. They yeah. add 10% oh, to the, yeah. to oh, the that's weight the of them. thing. With, with your comedy bang bang code, you get every Extra. C becomes a D, every D <laughs> yes. becomes a double D. Even if you don't yes, want it you and you just want the cup, C. Add a cup size. Yeah. We're going to plus that cup. Anyway, the plastic surgery I would get would be to have milk ducts put into <laughs> my breasts so that my nips became functional yeah. nips that could feed a baby. That would be fun. And just a baby? You don't want your partner nope. or nope. I'm just here a baby. to feed a baby. Just I'm a here baby. to bond with a then, child. Then let me tell you, we wouldn't need to Why have you, women involved. Voice? We wouldn't need to have women involved when Wait, we give who's them birth. This guy? We could just adopt all the babies. Wait, Carrie, is this Bruce and breastfeeding them. Hey, <laughs> Carl, come on, baby. <laughs> is that chubby shaker? <laughs> And here's the thing. I would like in the last half hour uh-huh. for something really important to happen. <laughs> like I deliver bad news to you or so, something? I don't, or? I don't know. Like I just feel like. Like really, I get a cancer diagnosis? Like right when we're the craziest is right. when things need to get real. Why don't they call uh, uh, glasses, you know, eyeglasses, uh, double monocles? Um, double mons. Dub mons. Dub mons. <laughs> Don't stare at me, Jason. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a mean? problem. We're what gonna have mean? a problem if you act I like this. I just didn't want to stop okay. your flow. <laughs> I didn't want to stop your flow. You went from double monocles oh, to dub mons, to mons and, and then, then you got Jamaican X who, and dub mons. Who was doing brap braps right beforehand? I you could have gotten it. right in there. I didn't do it on air. Um, but it, my question is, I just mm. didn't want to interrupt the flow. I didn't okay. know whether you were gonna go straight into. We're, uh, you and I have an issue if you're gonna act like this. Okay, <laughs> you know, we're cutting we, you off friend, on this show, friend. We will. never never have an issue. Really? We will never have an issue. Okay. Anyway, welcome back to the show. <laughs> wow. Did w- Welcome back to the... Did you cut that out? <laughs> was, that a, was that an edit point? Yeah. How dare you? Doing a lot of edit points just in case anything happens to that Joker movie. There was a previous edit point. Oh, smart. Yeah, smart. Just stuff, in case. Stuff is up. Stuff is up, stuff man. Is, stuff is definitely Some, up. I've said that so many times over the past few weeks. Stuff is up. Yeah, and stuff is your dick. You're always talking about your dick. <laughs> all right, all Isn't right. Isn't it that kind of show? <laughs> it's not that kind of show. Oh, okay. Um, Jason, you are. Uh, you did the How Did This Get Made tour, uh, 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 and now you're off to shoot John Wick 4? What's going on? No, I'm going to shoot. I'm going to London to shoot a movie called Infinite with Mark Wahlberg. Really? Action, sci-fi, 
comedy. No, it's not a comedy. Not Just a kidding. comedy. Oh, okay. It's but it will be whenever movie. you're on the on screen Absolutely. because you can't help but add a little uh, 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 jovial mirth yeah, to the why proceedings. Why not? Why not? Sure. Come on. Uh, this is your first uh, film with uh, Marky Mark? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. It is. And, Do you and get good vibes from him? I haven't met him yet. I have mm -hmm. no idea. I'm that's curious. Call, I mean, we're both. callback to his uh, hit song, Good Vibrations. <laughs> oh, I think you're mistaking him for... Um, the Beach Boys. <laughs> okay, yeah, it may be. <laughs> was it's, it a cover? It's easy to get those two confused. Was it a cover? <laughs> the Beach Boys and, of course, you know Marky Mark's most famous song, Kokomo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would love it if right now he just released an album of Beach Boys covers. I would. With honestly, Stamos on drums. <laughs> honestly, that would turn him around for me. It would be amazing. Yeah. It would be a, turn him be, around where I'd be like, I'm no longer I'm, interested. I'm only <laughs> looking. I'm interested in looking at your tush, not your face. <laughs> um, the, and the, it's called Infinite. Yeah. And uh, can you spoil anything I about can't. the plot? Okay. Oh, here, yeah, I can spoil a couple of things about the plot. Um, it is a movie in which oh, um, a film. Uh, it is. It is a. It is a feature. Film. Yeah. Okay? About how long? How many reels? It is. Oh, it is seven reels. Seven long. reels. Yes. Oh wow. Okay. Two seven hours and ten minutes. Reels long. Uh, and it is me. I'm a sentient dog man. Mm. Uh, my best friend is a talking parrot, and okay. we are um, the best friends of Mark Wahlberg's character. Okay. Um, and he's you know out in the world just like doing infinite stuff. Just doing shit. Just, just doing, doing stuff, errands. But he never stops. That's the infinity oh, of okay. the title. You know, he just never stops doing stuff with his best friends. Okay. Does he? Ever sleep dog. or he does not sleep. He does not sleep. That's the sci-fi. Oh, that's the sci-fi part. Yep. There's no in sleep a few, in, a in a world in which society there is no, no sleep. Right? Okay. Do people choose not to sleep, or is this some sort? You of... You don't have to. We don't have to it. We don't oh. need sleep anymore. I would. I would like that actually. Yeah. Sleep is such a waste of time. As I much agree. as I like doing it, it's like. Come on, there's so much more I could do with my life if I didn't so sleep many those more hours. 13, 14 hours a day. So many hours. I mean, I agree. I'm sleeping 18, 19 hours 19 a day. 19 hours, 20, 21 you sometimes? You know, the older I get, the more sleep I get, you know? Sure. like, And that's or the more sleep I need. And that's like, I can't now function without 14 solid hours. I, 28 hours a day or else yeah. I, I just can't do anything. Yeah, no, and, the, and everybody says, oh, you know what? If you get really overextended, just sleep for two months straight. And two then months straight, the yeah. Next Year will be fine. You're a bear, by the way. <laughs> what do you mean? You, uh, like a, a hair suit gay man? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I was gonna say. I mean, I get. I don't know if I am. I think they're meant mostly larger. You know what I mean? Yeah. You uh, you have I'm, a, a, I'm, a tiny I've got petite the beard. Frame. I've got the beard. Yeah. I think I think gay bear, is more of a bear, bear from the neck up. From yes. the neck down twink? <laughs> yep. <laughs> but you know that classic archetype. Bear up top, twink in the back. <laughs> I think this may be a shirt. By the way, hey, that is not? a shirt. <laughs> why not? Um, <laughs> now, every, every time you're on the show, I field a lot of social media requests to hook various people up with you. Please I don't. I am not I'm I certainly who? never comply. Unless it's unless it's like people I'm interested in being hooked up with. How like do I know celebs? this kind of thing? Oh no no famous celebs. No famous celebs. No not even like, like no cool musicians. No G list, no X list, no no, no celebs at all. Oh nuts. A G, no. G X list? <laughs> Can you imagine uh, self identifying as an X list celebrity? Oh I wonder if porn stars do or or sex oh, workers. Well that so. because because that's they are in the triple X business. Right. Yeah. yeah. I can see that. That, I, guess. I can see that, but as far as Y list, yeah, like a P list. Although yeah. I mean, uh, somebody, you know, somebody's probably on that P list yeah, with that P well. tape. Uh, yeah, uh, what about Donald Trump with that P tape? Well, you, you know, right. I mean, you what ever about, see that thing? Oh that, yeah, that came out, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's a blockbuster. <laughs> it's hard to remember these. Go days. down to your blockbuster. It's there. <laughs> it's there. Uh, and uh, you, so you're not going to be on the show for a while now. This is your last appearance. Is that right? I don't know. I mean, we'll see. I feel like perhaps you, there you might is get a fired possibility. day one or something. I could, a for sure could get fired day one. Can I talk to you, Jason? Uh, after my first That's my line. Mark. Uh, can I? Can I have a conversation with you, Jason? <laughs> and then he's just like, "You're out of here. <laughs> this is not working out." Um, <laughs> that would be amazing. Um, no, I mean, I'm, I mean, we'll see. Maybe, maybe I'll be able to. You know what? I'd love to do a call in. Uh, I'd love to call in. Yeah, be you on the call phone. Hanks? I don't know about that. Uh, <laughs> wow, <laughs> brutal. 
<laughs> cool, man. Maybe for the for the uh, 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 holiday show. That's what I'm assuming. Yeah, you know, because right. you, you're going to be uh, you're, you're oh, not no, going to be, be on for the, back for the holiday. Oh, okay. oh no, no, okay. no, I'm sorry, I'll be back for the holiday okay, show. Okay, great. Oh, yeah. All right, great. No, I don't want to well, overestimate how long I'll be gone. I'll be back right. and I'll be back soon. Well, let's enough. enjoy you while we have you. Uh, anything else? Uh, how are you, friend? How's how, your How's your life going? I'm great. What's going don't worry on? about me. Uh, uh, I <laughs> I worry about you. I was at the Joker several times, and I so smart. Yeah. And you're one of the Just incels. My mind one of the incels it. that people are nervous about uh, <laughs> yes. watching the Joker, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Ooh, where are these incels? <laughs> oh, they're out there. Is there an incel next to me? <laughs> Ooh, better be on my toes while I watch the Joker movie. I like that you're just out there trying to figure out who's an incel. Yeah, that's all I do. I just go out there and spot the incel. Uh, what are you taking any? Uh, do you need to batten down the hatches here at yep. home? What do you do? I'm batting like down to, the hatches. What do you do I've to prepare for I've got the rigging all tied up. I put the sails the in. in the rigging. Um, um, no. what, do you, what do you do? Like, do you? Is there something you? Uh, first of all, is there? Are, is there something you take along with you in order to make your uh, stay more comfortable in a foreign land? or And is there something you need to do here at home to make sure that uh, everything goes all right? Oh, well, you know, of course, uh, at home, I light my house on fire when sure. I leave. Um, sure. It's an insurance scam, uh, basically. Listen, you go, I, you're getting cast in this movie. I wasn't here. You know, I light a right. small fire that will really ignite later. You do have to take out, I mean, the movie takes out insurance on your life, I think. Anytime I'm, you're casting a movie, you yes. should set yourself on fire. I could set myself on fire. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, as a real political statement. Yeah, sure. Um, with it, what's it, going on in the world with you the know, Joker and all here's that. Here's the thing. We are on fire. This country is currently yes. on fire. They say, they call it a dumpster fire or a, a garbage can fire. Yeah. Uh, certainly not the a trash, fireplace fire. Trash receptacle trash fire. Trash receptacle fire. Uh, yeah. The circular file fire. A dump fire. Sure. They call it all these things. Yeah. Um, and so is there is there anything that you take along with you? Do you have a special pillow? Do you? I do. I am bringing my pillow. You are. What's the pillow because like? I'm going to be living because I'm going to be living someplace for like a period of time that is longer than just like a week or two. I'm bringing my my I because I got fully obsessed with like I don't sleep well. The older I get, the harder it was to, harder it was to yeah, sleep. Yeah, we've talked about this. We've covered this we, on the show. Yeah, on this show. Yeah, on really? this very episode. <laughs> really? <laughs> Mere moments ago. Yikes. <laughs> Um, so I sleep on a side sleeping pillow, which means it you has sleep a on cutout, top of a pillow, which means it has a cutout on it. Yeah. On top like of a coffin, a pillow do you coffin. Like don't you, you, you don't think you like, sleep on a do, pillow? Is there a lid that you close on top of yourself? How, you say what? <laughs> I sleep blank. Uh, do you sleep on a pillow? I mean, a mattress technically is a giant pillow. So you don't sleep on a pillow. How do you, <laughs> how do you use a pillow? <laughs> What are you talking about right now? What do you, uh, do you feel like you've caught me in some sort of a lie? I said I sleep on a pillow, and you acted as if I was sleeping on a coffin. I you, put my head I, on a pillow at night. Do oh, you know? oh, your head. No, you. When when I hear I sleep on a pillow, that to me implies your entire body is on a pillow. Not that yeah, I rest my head upon a pillow. Was would maybe be it? a more clear way. Was this worth I it? I truly you, was confused You must by have this. understood that I, I did meant not, my head goes on the pillow. No, I did not because a, a human being and not some lunatic who just watched the Joker movie would say, I rest my head upon a pillow. Not I sleep. A, a human being would say, I rest my head upon a pillow? <laughs> yes. I'm sorry, are you a storybook <laughs> asshole? No, I, I'm trying to answer your goddamn I pillow question. I sleep on a pillow is so... It's so vague as to... Wow, okay, I'm a boarding. Sleep on a pillow. I don't, I'm not, you know what? I'm not telling you about my pillow anymore. <laughs> is this, I was trying to answer your pillow question. You've, you've sidetracked me into nonsense. I feel like you were trying to say you sleep in a pillow coffin. Why? And, because... Why would I say that? Be I don't pillow, know what kind of weirdo you are. How about this? What's a pillow coffin? A pillow coffin is a is a body length pillow. Does it exist? It, it, perhaps. A pillow. Okay, so you thought by saying I sleep on a pillow, you invented a pillow coffin, perhaps existing, and that I sleep in that. You rather body talk about that pillow than me just explain the pillow thing and we can move on. I, this is what you want to talk about for I, the episode. Feel free to explain this Let's pillow get thing. Into, no. Let's talk about your dumbass pillow. That I don't want to. You asked about the pillow. I tried to answer. Yeah, let's talk about it. You no, have a, don't care about it. You, I it, hate the pillow. Is it? Does it have a scoop out for your neck? I already told you it did. That's literally. <laughs> I was the not thing. paying attention. I know because you were trying to busily sidetrack me. Into I wasn't trying to sidetrack you pillow. at all because you I truly on, thought you sleep your you entire body. Your, that on is a what the words you chose no, imply. It's not. 
You need to choose your words more more carefully. In fact, I will not. You need you to should. choose your words more carefully, sir. Oh, really? How Here are some you. words for you. Go for Go it. Go fuck <laughs> yourself. How dare you, sir? How dare you, Take sir? those words to the motherfucking bank with you I'm, out there to Lloyd's of London I or wherever the like fuck you're banking, the audience exchanging to your in. dollars please, for pounds. Please, comedy Get bang bang fans. Get the fuck out of the United States of America wow. where Bill people that wall. use Bill the that wall. Oh, Build not, that wall. No. I'm just saying, if yeah, the audience saying? understood what I was talking about, tweet I don't think at they did. Scott and say- Tweet at Jason. No, you, join social media for this. Scott, tweet at me. Jo this is Feel free to tweet at me. why you need to join social That's media. Why, the because beauty people is, need to tell you you're wrong. You're going to hear about this, and I never will. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know I know you have a burner moment. account that you're checking all the time, but it's by that, the But nobody can get at me. They can bother you and be like, Scott, you're out there, you're out why there searching not listen for your to your guests, Scott, instead of just sidetracking them? You're on one of these Russian troll accounts with zero followers. Oh, please. You think I would use the Russians for my troll account? <laughs> How dare you? Who I am, are you using? Oh, everything I do comes from Cote d'Ivoire. <laughs> <laughs> so this pillow is uh It's very comfortable. comfortable. Yeah. I can imagine. Yeah. Yeah. I have a body pillow that I wrap around. Yeah. Yeah. Like a coffin? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Do you put it between your legs? Legs, yeah. yeah. It's for the knees. Yep, I get it. Yeah, I believe... Because uh, you got those old man weak knees. Something like... Uh, someone like Dennis Quaid or, or Mark TQ. Herman or someone once said... Mark uh, Herman? I remember... Harmon. Okay, I'm pretty sure you said Mark <laughs> I Herman. don't believe I said Mark Herman. <laughs> uh, I would like that if NCIS just subtly started trolling <laughs> just, him. By, just by calling changed him Mark his Herman. name in the credits. Just Mark Herman. It will Herman. never stop Who would ever blowing notice? my mind that Mark Herman is married to... Um, Angie Dickinson? Pam Dauber... No, Pam, oh. right from Mork and Mindy. Mindy I have no Mork idea at this point. I, I thought like, it was Angie Dickinson, but no, I... No, it's the... I wait, wait, Angie, Angie Dickinson, Dickinson? Who am I thinking of? Angie Harmon. Angie Dickinson is an amazing <laughs> pull. Mark Harmon marries Angie Dickinson. <laughs> that would be incredible That would be an, an awesome I would coupling. love that. Well, that's like when... Um, that's like when John Corbett was date is dating Bo Derek. I'm like, oh yeah, this is a wild combination. <laughs> it's crazy. Of, of, the age difference. I guess Republicans because they're I, both oh, Republicans. That must be it. Uh, I would like it though. I, I wonder how many people actually watch the title sequence of of NCIS. Who would notice? Like if you've watched that show for 14 oh, they years, just subtly, subtly just changed Herman it to Mark Herman. <laughs> like how many people would say, then, well, that's weird. Or would they like contact the CBS? Halloween or, episode, they just put in like Herman's Hermits. <laughs> right. And people are just like, I, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> but who is paying rapt attention to season 23 oh, of way, NCIS where they would go, everybody I think they over changed 60. his name to Herman. <laughs> everybody over 60 who doesn't know how to fast forward. There's the got to be people who are into it. Like who, I don't know what the theme song is. Could you even hum? the NCIS couldn't tell you I, I have I've, no idea I don't think I've ever seen NCIS can there be that much naval crime in the world <laughs> yeah especially right? at the stakes in, at which internal, they investigate internal naval yeah. crime, right because they don't forgive me but they I, don't I, they don't they, they're not called upon to investigate crimes outside no the Navy, outside no right? their jurisdiction resides completely within the so uh, do they branch use, of the armed forces that, okay, that so, fights at sea so this is important to me then yeah when when they are on that show does that show a lot use the word the brig <laughs> they must is the brig like a frequent thing they talk get I, him to the brig I he's in the brig to, yeah that's weird it is strange yeah <laughs> i think and, they should read name the brig what, just jail. what do they call the hospital as well they call that uh, uh on a ship oh i don't know D uh, you hear it on uh star trek all the time oh like, i don't let's yeah, get I don't them watch. up to uh the uh, the the zim zam room <laughs> do they call it what if they just started calling it the zim zam room <laughs> oh, that God. would more people would notice get that. him to the zim zam stat <laughs> people would probably just go that must be a term i don't know or and then it would just somehow get to get to like like the or is the operating room mm -hmm. get him to the zzr we gotta get him in the zzr people would just uh, uh, accept it i think i feel like the first time people would be like what it's i mean brig i mean is it any different than a nonsense word yeah. than the brig is brig short for something like brigade Brigadoon. or brigadoon or something like that? Mm, probably Brigadoon. Yeah, so yeah. maybe people used to put them in a prison that was itself. Uh, only there every seven exactly. years. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. When you die, yeah. would you do you want to be buried? I want to be cremated, I believe, because I when I every, every time I go to a, 
a great, I guess they call them graveyard or funeral home or whatever. I just think it's Ooh, graveyard such a, and funeral home, not synonymous. Those would be two different places. Yeah. What, what's the difference between them? A graveyard? <laughs> what? And a funeral home? Well, meaning like I mean, a, like let's just, I mean a forest let's dial lawn. in. Let's dial in first on yard versus home. <laughs> I mean a forest lawn type of place, which you can't just call it a graveyard. It's a can cemetery. You? It's a cemetery. That's the word I was looking for. Oh, so you were so, looking for cemetery and instead found funeral home. Yeah, you where know. you go to the wake. Yes, yes, yeah. But the forest lawn, the cemetery sure. has a funeral home. At Got it. it. So okay. that's where the confusion lied. I Let's see. not get into another uh, uh, argument that I'm going to win. Okay, because the, the viewers. Body. Let's not pillow this. The viewers have spoken. <laughs> Let's not pillow coffin this. <laughs> that the pillow coffin argument was decidedly in my favor. Uh, but uh, uh, I I look at those as a just a colossal waste of space i agree oh no same with me burn me up burn me like, up burn me up burn Let's me up a, scotty burn me up <laughs> burn <laughs> up, <laughs> baby just to burn me down do you hope that also that um, video screen will have the last uh, <laughs> credits from something about mary is that what it is? yes um i no, for real burn me up get rid of me like i don't want to be in yeah. the earth i don't, I don't even want, want people i don't want to be in an urn that people have to look at i don't want people to feel like well if i want to um reconnect with my old friend jason who's passed away i gotta, I gotta go, go to a place, to a place no. where his body is currently decomposing Ugh. in the ground Ugh. no thank you burn me up let me be in everyone's memories yeah. like a little bit here's what i want i want a final how did this get made show and i want a little bit of my ashes <laughs> to be sprinkled in every audience member's mouth what do you want to ha do, you, do you just want paul and june to be doing that or do you want your replacement to be hosting that one no well? i mean like they can use my replacement okay so there no mourning period like the next episode you have a replacement yeah that's fine <laughs> That's fine. I think that's appropriate. <laughs> I think it's probably fine. Uh, I want to be burned with you. So whoever way, dies first, great. just hold on to the other one. Yes. Well, I'm not going to be burned with you. But here's what hey. I will promise you. I will wait until I'm ready to go. I will keep you on ice, Casey Kasem style. <laughs> okay, thank you. Above ground, ready to rock and roll. When you and say Casey Kasem style, do you mean his dog being on ice? or No, what? I mean his family didn't. Oh, that's um, right. Didn't bury didn't him. Bury, for, they for, kept his his wife kept his new wife kept shuffling him around. Not Gene Kasem, certainly. Her, his corpse shuffling his corpse around the world so his children couldn't get a hold of it. Doing the Kasem shuffle and process it, <laughs> and he still recorded every week's episode of the Top Forty. <laughs> it's incredible his commitment. <laughs> um, speaking of the Top Forty, I wanted to bring this up because uh, we, you and I were in uh, a conversation with a friend of ours before the show, and uh, he said his first CD that he bought was "Please Hammer Don't Hurt Him." Uh huh. <laughs> Who is the pussy who, I'm not talking about our friend, but who is the pussy who's saying that? You know, what part of Hammer's crew? Oh, 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 he's saying, please, Hammer, don't hurt him. Yeah. yeah who yeah. is this guy? And, and. Please, Hammer. Don't hurt him. Please, Hammer. <laughs> Wait, are you saying you want to be that guy? Because this seems like an audition. <laughs> it kind of is, yeah. I'd like to see that Do you story. think that's the meant to be the delivery of please, Hammer, don't hurt him? Please, Hammer, don't hurt him. So this guy's crying. He's got a family. <laughs> he, he's got kids. He's got a parent. My, my assumption is please, Hammer, don't hurt him is a reference to like, don't kill the audience too much by being so amazing. No, Hammer. that's what this guy thinks too. Oh, so he's just <laughs> weeping. <laughs> Yeah. Begging on his knees, yeah. like John Turturro in Miller's <laughs> Crossing. Have Look into heart. your heart. Look, Look into, into your, your heart. heart. I'll suck your dick. <laughs> That's not part of the movie, but interesting. That's part of Menace to Society. Um, anyway, I just wanted to bring that up. Any thoughts? <laughs> We've talked about the guy, the wipeout guy. So it, it was in the same kind of uh, uh, sure. uh, universe. I get it, yeah. You um, know the wipeout guy. We've talked about it many times. What's the guy, the guy laughing in the song "Wipeout" when at, at the surfers, the one is like, <laughs> "Wipe out!" He's laughing at the surfers. That's wiping how the song out. starts. Do it. I, uh, oh, you're you're trying to get me to do the drums? <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> I'm not gonna fall into your trap. <laughs> um, you ever want to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Do I? No, yeah. I think it's Inducted. a corrupt. I Inducted. think it's a corrupt organization. Okay. Absolutely not. So, so uh, I know Jan Wenner would never let me in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I know you haven't recorded anything <laughs> at this point. Jan has if, told me. Jan Wenner told me personally. He's not Jason, in charge anymore. Jason, if you even try and make a rock and roll record, really? I know it will be Hall of Fame worthy. So don't you even dare. Do you think anyone would take it seriously if you or I made a record, like a serious record? 
Like, who are the comedians who have made serious music? Well, Tim Heidecker's put out a number of good, uh, actual, yeah. like, real music Yeah, records. they're real music. You know, like, they're, I think so, he's also put out records yeah. that I think are overtly comedic, yeah. but I also think he's made... His last record, we talked to, uh, uh, with him on yeah. the show about that. John Lejoie has made a number of, like, real records As now. You know, I did not yeah. know that. Um, Your cast made on uh, On The, the League. League. I'm trying to think of other comedians, comedic musicians, yeah. uh, who've made not joke records. I think uh, albums. I think that musicians can be comedians. I think musicians. John Mayer. <laughs> is oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Example. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. They can make the transition I don't very think, easily. I don't think they can make. <laughs> this is an interesting question. Uh, Mike Mitchell on Doughboys has, has I've offered him $10,000 if he can write and, and get a song on Billboard's Top 100. <laughs> on Top 100? <laughs> yeah. This was something he well, said he could do. He, he said he could he if he put he his mind to it? He said he could do it, and I offered him, I think, $5,000 to do it and an extra five if he gets in the top 10. Do you remember, Kevin? Uh, okay, was so that it? an yeah. extra five. Be, so five if he's in the top 100. Another five of it's something like that. Five. I can't. I'm not going to remember. Somebody else will will remember exactly the specifics. Specifics, but I think you and I could put together a band, and I think we could do it. I think we would have to do it uh, anonymously, where we got other people to play us in the band or something like that. You oh, know? you mean uh, like for the video? Yeah, you know, I know the, the Alarm did that several years past their prime. They put out such a a song that they knew would be good if people didn't know it was from the Alarm. So they called Why? it because everybody has preconceived notions yeah. of the Alarm. Yeah, exactly. So they <laughs> I have them, an update. They don't. <laughs> they, but they call themselves the Poppy Fields. They got uh, younger people to be in the oh, video, and it, okay. it and it was a hit. And then they revealed it. No, we're the Alarm. <laughs> Who, what, because I think the mistake we, like, I think the the move would be to actually engage very real musicians to help us. Sure. Not like other, other comedians. Than us, you mean? <laughs> not other comedians who can play music, in other yes. words. No, you know we got to get the best studio musicians. I want this to be like a Steely I Dan want, like, album. John Bryan producing. Uh -huh. I, oh, yeah. Oh, I wanted it to be a Steely. I want it, like, yeah, give me Steve Gadd on drums. I want it to be like Jim a Keltner. Call 20 Jim Keltner. Mil $20 million budget. Will somebody call Jim Keltner? Someone call Kelts. Got it, got Guys, gotta call Keltner. That's a t-shirt. <laughs> Better call Keltner. Um, I think that we could do it. This reminds me a little bit of our, our good friend Harris Whittles, who uh, was never impressed when he would see a juggler. He'd always go, well, I could have done that if I had practiced as much as he did. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. just like, yeah, I guess that's Well, a it good really point. is. Where do you want to put your effort? That's how I also yeah, he's feel like, about- no, I decide to do other things. That's how I also feel about close-up magic I'm, or yeah. any magic. Yeah. I'm we, like, yeah, okay, we, but to what end? Yeah, we could have done this. Yes, anybody can. It's yeah. just putting in the time. Yeah, and we have other better stuff to do. Yeah, podcasts. Yes. We put in the podcast we hours. We are the close-up magicians of podcasts. We, are the po we put in the podcast hours. We did the 10,000 hours. You don't get to be America's podcast without putting in you don't the get effort. To be America's favorite podcast co-host, Jason Manzukas, without putting in the so wait, hours. you're glomming on to being America's favorite podcast co-host because yes. your own podcast can't get America's podcast? I'm just saying, I am America's favorite podcast co-host. Okay, I'll give it to you. Because I am a co-host in multiple instances on multiple shows, and America has deemed those to be the best. Are, are, do you never guest on shows? You're just a co-host. Uh, I'm Yeah, oh, no, no, I guest on shows, yeah. Okay. Like when I did the Doughboys, I was a guest. Stop bringing up the Doughboys. They're not America's <laughs> podcast. I just was thinking about him. No, no, no. They, well, they might look like America's <laughs> podcast because they are overweight and physical disasters. <laughs> Come on. They are Come on. imploding Come due, on. due to the... Is, Nick is fine. Well, Nick, have you seen Nick lately? Oh, I, guess, I guess I haven't. <laughs> get a get an eyeball on Nick Weiger lately. Jeez Louise. I, I, I'm kidding, Weiger. You look great. I had many eyeballs on him. I in only the say that Bang because Bang, he uh, says writing, it on the podcast. The writing room. I would uh, never. I would never. I would never. No, I know that you're not a guy to make fun of people's weight on this episode. You have another episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, you look great. <laughs> okay, I'll take your word for it. Uh, the end. The end. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> Credits. <laughs> Shutting it down. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, man.